Yeah, indeed, Harry, indeed. And we just had some Sesame Street. We just had some Big Bird and some uh, Kakapo, some documentary stuff. So I'm going to go for a bit of a bird theme this week. Um, but yeah, guys, so I've done, I've tried, I've tried to start with Kairos like twice off stream and it's worked both times. I'm bad news because I sent him my first attempt the other day. Um, but like, yeah, so, you know, it's like, you know, it'll be all right on the night. Hopefully uh, it will go the same way on stream and not fail. Um, but like, yeah. So, uh, we're playing as Kairos Fate Weaver. So, Kairos Fate Weaver, you, you know all this. Always, also known as the Oracle of Teen, she's the wisest of the Lords of Change. Um, let's make myself a little bit less uh, taken over the screen. Um, there we go. Uh, cast into the Well of Eternity by Teen, she emerged with two heads. The left scries the past, while the right can perceive what is yet to be. And so he has infallible knowledge of past and future, but is blind to what occurs in the present. Um, so yeah, we get faction effects, so this is for every every army um, and the whole campaign. So enemy reinforcement time prediction accuracy plus 100%. Battle reinforcement time reduced and hero action success chance all characters increased. And lord effects, he gets to um, unlock certain spells uh, from other laws of magic. Uh, other heroes have less chance of doing stuff to him. Uh, so minus 50% chance, that's really nice. Oh, dude, no, I don't know Battle Sea. No, I don't. No, I don't. It's all right. It's okay. I don't want any help because I've uh, I've got a very unique strategy. Um, so that I've been testing. Like I say, if it works, if it works, um, I tried it the other day and I kind of yeah, I didn't. Um, uh, it was successful, but like I didn't get where I wanted to be in the time frame. Like, but like I'll explain that as we go along. Um, so ambush defense chance plus 50%. Okay, so those pesky rats are gonna, well, any rats that we come near hopefully won't be able to attack me. So yeah, let's go for it, guys. And uh, watch this, uh, watch, I'll let you watch this without my uh, ugly mug in the way. So there we go, I'll get away, just in case you haven't seen the start. It's Seench, the great architect, the changer of ways, the god of magic, mischief, and manipulation. Kairos is his oracle, able to see past and future, but blind to the present. Urson's death howl has stranded Kairos on the mortal plane, in the midst of a grand scheme, an incursion into Cathay. But there is a greater boon awaiting in the Chaos Realms if he can bypass the Maelstrom. I travel to reach Fate Weaver at the Silvered Tower, hoping to be retained before he teleports to a staging post in the east. He will know of my coming. Silvered Tower, refuge of Kairos Fate Weaver, the most powerful of all demon sorcerers. I found the Great Conjurer searching for a spell to pass through the Maelstrom, but his scribe scoured every book in vain. I told him of Urson, held captive in the Forge of Souls, but he dismissed my wisdom. We already know of Belakor's plot, for I see the past, and I see the future. But you are blind to the present. You did not see the Maelstrom, nor can you decipher a path through it. The Tome of Fate holds the answer, the spell we search for. Kill him, brother. Take it. Only I can use it. The tome is bound to my soul. We can unpick it. No, let him serve us. For one drop of good blood, I have foreseen it. Peck out the eyes of Ursa. Use their power to view the present. The sight of a god. The past, present, and future. Oh, will be ours to see. Our goal is the eyes of the God Bear. For a God's sight has the power to see all. Alrighty, guys. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go in here. Let's throw ourselves in. Look, Malbob. Like Spongebob over here. I've seen that guy before. Tell us what you believe to know. Born of the deceiver. 
At once, great oracle. Soon her way to bypass the maelstrom and enter the realm of chaos will present itself. That you already know, I'm sure. But to the present, there is much we can do to ensure Let's our think about are Malbob. Optimal. We've got to keep Malbob alive. He's our friend. We have come to the Volary. But a better hey, state hey, cramp, by the way. Cathay's invasion is to our north. Taking it by force would be a waste. Instead, use your Tsinchian cunning to coax the inhabitants of Bloodwind Keep to our cause. Right, is there somewhere I can sit? Not everyone needs such well, my arm doesn't look like it's phasing out of reality. The settlements further along should easily fall into your talons through no, physical... No, unless I go right. like this, unless I go hench, like, you know, and like, just there, to, to play the entire game. I don't Bastion know. Of Cathay. By your design, oh, underlings of the Changer have I'll already taken the there, Snake Gate so it's less obvious. and infiltrated the Dragon Empire. Take advantage. It can wide Sangu. Well, we're gonna have like God Sangu. Basically, we have we have God Sangu occasionally. You know, like we have God Sangu like every now and then. But right now, we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be we're gonna be subtle corner Sangu. Um, but that. Okay, right, guys. Right, let's do it. So I like so like I say, there's a disclaimer here. Um, I've tried a strategy like a few times that I was trying the other day talking to Ironbad. And um, it sort of worked to varying degrees, but then yesterday it worked perfectly. It worked absolutely perfectly. So I need to... Yeah, okay. Well, all shall we become clear, let's say. Um, but first things first, we're going to do this first fight. So yeah, here we go. Tell me, guys, what's your uh, what's your favourite bird? As we're as we're playing a guy that looks like a bird, what's your favourite bird in the world? The bird is the word today. Um, it can be a fictional bird, I guess. Like you know, you can pick a fictional bird or you can pick a species of bird. Um, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's uh, let's fight this. Yeah. New campaign, Satsi. We finished Nurgle. Bald eagle. Yeah. Bald eagles are cool. You know what I don't like? I don't like vultures very much. I think vultures are pretty uh, pretty. Pretty horrendous looking. Your favourite bird is Kairos. I mean, you have played it for about twelve streams or something, so like, yeah, you must, you must, you must like Kairos. What happened to Kislev? Kislev is just on Saturdays. It's like Kislev Saturdays every week. Uh, when I bring out my, uh, you know, my religious zealot, uh, one day a week. Okay, cool. Right, so yeah, here we are. Glorious. What a map. This is cool. It's like, is the sky moving? Kind of is moving, yeah, some of them are static, but like, I, I think the moving skyboxes are amazing, like, they really are. Um, okay, let's go. Right, so, if anyone hasn't seen a Teenchian army before, we've got a Soul Grinder of Teach, who's uh, looking a bit beaky and a lot, a lot healthier than our Nurgle Soul Grinders. We've got some Furies, yeah, you know, they're just the Furies. Um, we have got a Flamer on a disc being pulled by two... Screamers, uh, which is a burning chariot, so and he does a really strong flame attack, uh, but he doesn't have a lot of ammunition. How much ammo has he got? Actually, nine ammunition. Yeah, okay. So you've got to you've got to be careful with it. And we've got our pink horrors and our blue horrors. My biggest disappointment when I first heard about Teach was that like a pink horror doesn't split into two blue horrors, but that would have been a nightmare for balancing if it did, because that's what used to happen on tabletop. Um. So yeah, but I can see why they didn't do that. And then we have uh, the bird himself. So yeah, cool. Right, so let's uh, let's give this a whirl. You can't wait to play Kairos on Immortal Empires or on my co-op campaign. Going to make other players rage quit. <laughs> I'm sure you will. Right, what have we got? So I might need that. Uh, I might need the Furies. I definitely will need the Soul Grinder. Uh, right, let's go for this. So we'll just do this. We'll just, what shall we do? What have we got? We've got some spears. Okay, so we'll just fight this first battle and then let's see about the rest. Probably have to fight every battle like Nurgle, but... What's the difference between pink and blue? Pink have got better stats all round, and they can shoot further, and they've got higher missile damage. Um, and then there's Exalted Pink, who are better again. Blue are kind of like um, they shoot their missiles, but if they end up in melee, then they're, they're you know they're okay. They're the best you've got until you get like Forsaken in terms of any kind of dedicated melee troop. Um, and we've got barriers, so you see, so like as long as nothing gets through my barrier, then I'm not actually going to take any HP damage. Um, and we can just fly around, and then the barrier does recharge. 
so the barrier will recharge in time. Um, so you can kind of go in and put your troops into combat and then back off before the barriers go. But that said, the barriers on like the blue horrors, like it's not it's not very high. It will uh, will get knocked off quite quickly. So yeah, right. Let's get um, you to come up, and let's get you to potentially go and shoot at the flamer. The flame chariot seems to do very well against single entity monsters and uh, just against single characters on the ground. It's good against everything, but particularly um, it seems pretty good against uh, characters if you want to just knock them down quickly. Right, let's go and make sure those missiles don't think about coming back. Um, right, that unit's also nearly gone. Right, okay, fine. So yeah, let's just try and go and get them. Yeah, you see this flame, so it's really good, like you said. I mean, like, look at that, look at the damage it did. It took off, like, nearly a third of that unit's HP. Um, but in particular, it's decent against single entities, especially large single entities, so that more of the fire will hit. Um, it's really good against Mao Ying when she's in dragon form, like I found uh, I found in my testing. Are there magic stat buffs that we don't see, or does all magic do the same damage unless the characters have their own buffs for it? So yeah, so there is there is like kind of a spell amplification thing, but otherwise um, the spell will do the base effects unless there is like a lord effect that says like um, something along the lines of amplifying magic. Um, but with um, Cafe. I'm no, I'm no expert on Cafe at all. I've not really played them, but like I know that they and some other fact. I think they have, uh, yeah, they have like um, Wujing compasses and like various things that can like actually increase the amount of uh, damage that a spell does. So pink horrors, as you can see, they've got range 130. Blue horrors have got range 90, and there's quite considerable. These do like almost a third more damage on top. Well, literally bang on a third more damage than these guys. Um, yeah, so this is cool. Right, we'll probably just speed this up, but then they'll all start firing in a sec, and uh, yeah, that guy's not having a good time. He's getting his uh, getting his uh, hair roasted. And then our ability for like, so what we get, so for Tinch, the Eye of Tinch, the more magic we spend, then we get this ability, like Arcane Surge. Um, oh, gone into melee. That was a very that was that was a liberty. And there we go, we've won. Okay, all right, fine. So that's good. That's a good start. Blue has more models, less ammo, and half the cost. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ammunition four. Okay. Um, and you're absolutely right. Yeah, 80 to 160. So these guys have got, in melee, they've got 22, 26, 28. That's the pink ones. And these guys have got 20, 22, 24. So yeah, they're like, they're like your chaff, if you like. Um, okay, cool. I think she's very cool, yeah. Uh, I think she's very cool. I was doing I was doing a really fiddly siege yesterday with quite a small team army. Like when I was testing out how I was going to start this, and boy oh boy, though it was a uh, it's a pain getting blue horrors to fire in narrow streets, especially when you've got multiple units of them. But like, yeah, they're cool. Uh, they're cool. So right, what do we want? We want um, hmm, money's good. I'm actually going to take Winds of Magic Power Reserve. Okay, so he's done. We've got these grimoires. That's cool. We needed that. Summon now, demons to we need to recruit. <clears throat> hmm. Okay, right, yeah. Okay, I'm going to build... Uh, so, anybody has any questions about what we're doing, then let me know. Every Chaos Faction starts off with an identity. I think it's identical. Course of the Covenant, um, which gives you, like, allegiance points. Extra diplomacy with demons and control. So, that's quite a ways off. Uh, so for now, we just want to sit here and get extra grimoires and extra research rate from that. Right, now. Now. How are we doing this? The most important thing is I know where to stand to recruit. Um, so about here should be fine. Because I nailed this yesterday. Like I say, it will be alright on the night. Like, it, it did. It worked fine off stream. So if it doesn't work on stream, then, uh, then that's just... Uh, yeah, it's just going to be a pain in the butt, but let's see. Right, and we want, before we actually recruit any more horrors down the line, I want to get this done. Then we need Arcane Surge. Do I do it the other way around? I'm just thinking whether I really benefited from what, from, yeah, actually we might do it the other way around. It doesn't really matter if our horrors get like one extra rank. Um, way of Deception is also good. So the skill tree kind of branches off from this central point. Um, grimoires are uh, our kind of currency, as you see at the top. Um, 
So I'll show you the other campaign mechanics now, as I understand them. Uh, but you guys may well uh, be able to contribute, uh, particularly like I'm bad in Battle Sea because you've played Siege probably a lot more than me. Um, so yeah, going back to... Sorry guys, I'm, I'm off my game. Where are we? Going back to the skill tree. So we've got Winds of Magic, Power Reserve increasing here. We've got Recruitment Cost Reduction for Spawn. Growth, Income from Sacking and Looting, that would be quite nice. Um, and then recruit rank boost for blue horrors and pink horrors and this one is cooldown for lore of the ancient metal so I'm going to get that first because magic is going to be a big big part of this campaign you see that some of these texts require you to spend grimoires to actually uh, research them and then so unique com campaign stuff so one of these is winds of magic manipulation so we can actually turn the winds of magic in a region up or down around a cent or around you know to a to a degree <laughs> Like, if it's calm, you can turn it up two notches, and if it's blowing, you can turn it up or down two notches and so on. So we can turn it down, or it can stay there. That's as high as we can get it. So we'll keep it where it is at the moment. Um, so yeah, so that's cool. And the other big campaign mechanic is uh, the changing of the ways. So we can we have to unlock these various different things through research. Um, but we can basically just screw with people, um, it seems, for our own benefit. So the, the one that we start with is transfer settlement. So transfer a settlement from one faction to another. The cost for doing so depends on the faction you're doing it on and like, yeah, your relationship with them <clears throat> and their relationship with others and whether you're at war with them and all of that kind of stuff. I don't think you can transfer a settlement from someone you're at war with to yourself. Or can you? I think I did the other day. Yeah, you can. You can. You must be able to because when I first tried it, I think I gave this to myself. Um, or I gave it to some... No, I didn't give it to myself. No, that's right. I gave it to these guys. So, yeah. So, actually, I think that is true. I don't think you can give a settlement from someone you're at war with to yourself. Um, so, yeah. So, I just gave... Because I start at war with this siege faction here. and I th No, sorry. This corn faction here. And I think I gave their settlement to uh, Flaming Scribes, which was uh, fun. So, yeah. You can't transfer between factions at war. So we are next to these Chaos Warrior, this Chaos Warrior faction here. Cathay, there's a big faction here. I think this guy, these guys here, they own both gates and they've got this settlement here. That's who we just fought. Snake Gate is ruined and then the other two gates here are in control. Yeah, they're controlled by that faction we just fought. And then we've got Miao Ying down here. And then, yeah, all goodies. And then we're actually in a defensive alliance with this guy um, who has already broken through into Cathay. Um, so yeah, Temtras. So yeah, cool, right, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to get non-aggression and military access with this dude. Uh, I'm going to get him to pay me one gold. Big spenders, guys. Right, here we go. Okay, anyway, so yeah, so we're, we're friendly enough with him now. Um, he is not our concern, particularly. All right, cool, so we can move on. Am I trying to use Marauders as frontline for the gate battles? I'm not trying. You'll see. You'll everything will be complete. Like like I say, I've tried this a couple of times. And um, While so solely on. right now we need. Oh, we have just enough grimoires. Okay, I'm pr pretty much sure that's game. So that you do. Uh, but yeah. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna use changing of the ways to transfer this to me. Mhm. Mm okay. There we go. That recruits as a pink horror. Right, he's gonna come straight here. He can't. Re he can't get into my army before I run. <laughs> so this worked perfectly last night, like I said. Um, but there's a lot of there's a bit of RNG involved. Right now, we are making a run inside Cafe by the shortest route. Um, so he's gonna take his own route. We'll meet him there. Um, we are we are running inside. And what we can also do, what's the benefit of me having this? 50 income. A bit of growth. Because what I'm going to do eventually is I'm going to sell this back to him. Um, just for an extra, like, 1,000 gold. We're going to try and hang on to the Volary, I think. Yeah, and I think I do. Can, I can get rid of this. Uh, recruitment's done. We're not going to build anything there. So we're going to try and hang on to the Volary if we can. Because I don't think you can sell your faction capital. Like, I tried selling it to him and it just wouldn't... It didn't give me the option. Um... So yes, yeah, so we're ignoring all of this, so we can whiz through a couple of turns now because there's not much else going on apart from moving. I think he will come and raise that, but it doesn't seem guaranteed. Hey, Burly Tactical! Wow, Burly Tactical, thank you very much for the raid, dudes. 
Hey Kailash, how's it going? How's it going guys? What have you been doing today? What have you been doing? And I hope you all had good weekends. Yeah, welcome guys. Thanks for the shout out there, uh, Harry. Yeah, guys, go and check out Burley Tactical. Um, like, great to see you again. Yeah, raid time, what have you been doing? How's it all going? And yeah, welcome raiders. Um, my name is Super Sangu. We are just starting a fresh Siege campaign today. Uh, so we're on turn two. And uh, literally just about to hit end turn. Oh, you started up cafe. Nice, nice. Which lords? Oh, I love these early turns. Like, you just whiz through, don't you? Right, so... Yeah, so I'm, I'm only hanging on to Bloodwing Keep purely for the extra growth it gives me at the moment. Um, to try and get the Volaria. So what we are going to do, though, is we are going to build this. Just to maximise our chances of hanging on to the Volaria while we're off doing other things. So... And we also can't just run into Cafe this way. Like, we might need to take a slightly wide tour because what we actually want to do is head down towards there. So if this works, then it's all going to be fine. Make sure he's still got his path on the go because he's important. Yeah, he has. Cool. Right, let's go again. You started on Mommy and now you're here to see... Uh, and now you're here to see me, uh, me uh, victimise Mommy. So, enemy faction encountered the northern provinces. Aha. Where Mum and dad fighting. Again, I know. But yeah, guys. Um, yeah, like, so, like, welcome raiders again. So, like, I, I'm Super Sangu. I predominantly stream Total War Warhammer. We just completed a legendary Nurgle campaign on Friday. Uh, it was a bit of a fraught affair. It was kind of tough in places. Right, so. You can go first. There shouldn't be anything to see here because they should still be there. So, we are like, right, so basically, effectively, like, this this relies on knowing that they can, can't attack further than that point, and we're going to just, like, Benny Hill over here towards uh, towards this guy. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, so we're running down here. There shouldn't be anything there. If there is, then I failed. Um, so, yeah, so... She seems to follow quite a set pattern of things she does in the early turns, which is why this has worked when I've tested it off stream. So, involving settling the gate and a couple of other things. He's a bit of a wet lettuce, though. Like, he doesn't seem to do anything. Yeah, and I can't give him a target yet, can I? I can take a mission, though. Hmm. We're going to defeat her eventually, aren't we? But I think we're going to try and fight this guy first. So, let's take that mission there. Yeah, and they're probably building an outpost in, uh, in my settlement. But they don't have a major settlement, do they? No. And it doesn't really matter anyway. So, yeah. Okay. So, he's going to meet us there. We're going to have to take a slightly more convoluted route to go and take Nangao on turn six. So, yeah. Okay. Right. Nothing else to do. I was just thinking then. I'm not sure about when to get rid of Bloodwing Keep. I suppose there's no reason I can't hold it until the Corn Army come over because they'll bypass the Volary and besiege Bloodwing Keep. So when that happens, or if we just get too poor, we're going to sell it to him. Um, so we've literally stolen his settlement, and now we're going to sell it back to him. And this settlement's still existing. It's weird. This hasn't happened in the other two tests I've done of this. Like, normally it just gets raised. So anyway, um, we can carry on, right? So let's uh, let's continue. So right, here she comes. She's coming to settle the gate. Who is that? Why is there a big angry bird coming into my territory, she's saying? And we're going to... Oh, is that right? Is it a rebellion and not the Chaos Warriors? Right, so she's going to be slightly busy because there's some little Chaos armies coming. Right, so we need to not fluff this. Uh, that's also... Oh, no, no, no. Temptrash should be able to handle that. That's okay. I thought they'd taken him out. I thought they'd, like, sacked his settlement and killed him. Because he's not that important to our, to our campaign, but, like, I'd like to maybe try and... Uh, yeah, confederating down the line. So I don't know exactly where I stood yesterday, but I think if we go somewhere like this... In fact, I know exactly where I stood because it was here because I was like hovering over this going, oh, why does that look weird? Um, so, right, 31%, 27%, 24%, 27%. Right, okay. So this is where the RNG comes in because if she detects us, then this is going to fail and it's not going to happen on turn six. Me. So we are going to hide here, go into ambush... Um, right, how far can he get? Yeah, okay, so he's going to come and... This is the other RNG part. Like, if he gets wounded, like, we're in trouble. 
Oh shit, that's... Oh, there's another element here that that wasn't here. Oh, okay, yeah, I know that you run into him. Alright, let's assault the garrison. We succeeded, nice. Okay, I hope that caravan doesn't detect me. I hope it, like, teleports rather than, like, making a straight beeline through me or something. So this is, like, the crucial turn, if you like. Um, because she should go and settle Snake Gate. That shouldn't be there. I haven't seen this yet. Um, they will defend too. Yeah, of course, but I'm hoping they leave. I'm hoping, like, they are just popping up for a turn and then they're out of here. Everything always fails on stream, doesn't it? When you try things off stream. Right, um, we're going to get... We're not going to be using him for magic, so it doesn't really matter what he has. He can get training first. Um, and, yeah, just keep an eye up here. Corn, don't... I haven't seen Corn show up this early. He likes me. So, yeah, so like I say, it's it's all about whether she detects me now or she just goes to settle the snake gate straight away. So... Okay, she's gone for snake gate. All right, so we might have done it. So we want to pull the garrison out. So we're going to attack that army right there. And it means I'm going to put him back in the army because he's a little pew pew sniper boy, isn't he? So we're going to have to come. So what's the straight, what's the straight line? So we're going to come to like there. Over land. So she's, uh, yeah, she's uh, otherwise engaged. Never mind the big bird that you saw a few turns ago come into your territory. Let's go and settle the gate instead. And that's it right now. So that's the first six turns done. So now we fight with this army. So we've got to go up against the garrison and we've got to go up against this. Iron Hell Gunners, man. Like, why can't they just recruit peasant archers? Like, they're so much easier to deal with. Anyway, though, it's fine. And then the garrison will be coming in as reinforcements. So we got some... There's some dangerous units in here. There's some Celestial Dragon Guard, Celestial Dragon Crossbows. Their one mobile unit is the Peasant Horseman. And then we're going to have two characters to contend with. So yeah, right, let's give this a whirl. This, it's, the good thing to see, though, is that this is identical to how I did it last night. So like nothing changed. But there is still that chance that they can detect you. Um... <clears throat> yeah it's good i think i'm gonna make it into a little youtube video but only a quickie not like a detailed one just like kind of a two minute job um because i did it the first time i tried it and i shared it with iron bad like i ended up like playing cat and mouse with meow ying because she detected me the first time so i didn't take nangal till turn 19 because i was like having to hide from her she was like chasing me across northern cafe um Okay, yeah, so it's really important, right? So there's a few things we need to do. Initially, like, we're going to set an ambush, basically, with the main army. Um, they're not going to come into play until later on. We are just going to be using the Soul Grinder, mainly the Soul Grinder, um, and, uh, and Kairos. And we're going to get the Soul Grinder to go and shoot from across here. Uh, <clears throat> so I can't hide the flyers, of course. So, like, they're all just going to chill down here. We're going to turn off ammo for everybody because it's really important that um, we don't give the game away because sometimes the horsemen will charge straight down here and like yeah that nearly happened to me last night when I tried it so yeah really is all about how the wins we got 55 win okay 55 power reserve I think I had higher yesterday I think we had 75 last night so there's a bit of yeah so that that could uh, hamper things a little bit but we'll see <clears throat> If you rush them before reinforcements, would said reinforcements die? Oh, okay, so if I kill them, if I were to kill this army, I think, um... I think they still... I don't know, but I think they still show up. But it makes sense to me that that would happen. Um... Yes. If they force march, they do. That's amazing. That's good to know. Right, so we're going to bring this up here. We're really trying to focus on damaging the Iron Hell Gunners because that's a unit that can do serious damage and like melt through our shield really quickly. So yeah, so let's see. So they can only see my flyers, my soul grinder, and me, as in me, as in I'm the big bird. Um, right, let's try and uh, we get them moving because if they're moving, they can't fire. Well, can't fire on the go. Uh, and if we can find value like that, then like yeah, that's also good. So yeah, let's come over here. Um, can juke a little bit just to try and like limit our barrier going down. 
so yeah, this is a uh, it's a bit hair raising because when the, when the reinforcements come on, like they are going to be pretty much equal strength to us, and they do have some tough units, like I say. So, right, you can shoot at the peasant archers for now. It is for Shameful display. Oh, what's going on there? Oh, please walk into each other. That would be so good. But like, no. Okay. All right, that's actually not bad. It's going to clip that unit as well. Um, it's those bloody iron hail gunners. Like, we need to get rid of them. That's like the most dangerous missile unit, like that we that we're going to face in this fight. When we spent enough magic, we will get arcane surge. Um, right, I think it's going to be better if he comes down here to try and fire through the trees there. Um, also got to be really conservative with the burning chariot of chaos's ammo um, until later on. Alright, so what's going on? I think the Iron Hell Gunners are in the... Oh no, they're here. No, Peasant Archers. Oh, what? Another unit of Peasant Archers. Okay. Alright, fine. When we spend this spell, we're going to get magic back. Right, let's uh, let's do that through there, because there's quite a lot there. And it's going to hit them at the back as well, so that's nice. Right, okay, cool. Right, how close are you? Keep shooting there for a second. Right, enemy reinforcements approaching. So what will happen is they'll send the peasant horsemen down here, like super fast right pull back chill out a second because we have we have uh, in total seven missile units to try and deal with hmm if they're isolating those iron hell gunners over there i might get my harpies sorry chaos furies they are harpies they're basically harpies aren't they uh to go and see if we can because that's a character yeah okay i did this slightly differently to how i did it yesterday um, I'm going to get the, um, actually no, 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 because if I pull too much stuff over here, they're going to see my army. Um, so what we need to do actually is try and bring them across here um, and try and bring you across here as well. But if that's an opportunity right there, see the, hor yeah, the, but the horsemen are coming in hot, but I might have time to go and get them. I think we're just going to go and get them. And hopefully the general will just ignore them. What's going on here? Um, well, what can we do? We can do that. That's all right. That's going to get some value. Right, come here. General is trying to come in there. Uh, right, you come down here. There's the peasant horseman. So, right. Okay, I mean, this is this is all great. Right, what the hell is that? Is that a spell? Oh, no, it's just a buff on them. Right, they're broken. Okay, cool. Right, come back over here. We need them not to see my forest troops yet. What the hell was that? Was that a bound comet? And we actually dodged it. Haha, -ha, that's funny. Right, shoot at those peasant archers there. Get away. Have a little rest as well. Because, like, if they're running around all the time, they are going to get tired. Right, so we want to lure the peasant horsemen into the corner. Um, right, you need to not be firing. Oh, no, no, no don't do that. Um, right, get them to come down here. Hmm. <clears throat> Pyrus might have time to go and cast another spell. We'll see, maybe on that unit of peasant archers there. Okay, right, so we need to lure them down here though, this is the main thing. Um, right, let's do... Yeah, let's do that. Okay, right, come away. Come on, little horseman. The water's hot, get into the water. Come on, get into the pool, guys. Come down here. Attracted by the lore of the Soul Grinder, the peasant horsemen ran to their doom, or at least they will if they actually run to their doom. Um, oh, come a bit quicker, come on. Like, don't do this to me. Okay, here they are. Right, okay, they're kind of going fast now. Alright, let's just swarm them. <clears throat> there's one unit of um, there's one unit of uh, spears here that we might need to deal with. Um... Kairos supplies the terror, so like they'll probably terror out quite quickly in a second. So, yeah, we can charge in there. We're just trying to stay out of combat with any infantry. We are taking a bit of fire as well. Okay, so they've terror outed. That's a start at least. Um, what's the range on this? Because that's glorious, isn't it? Especially if I wait for them to run through as well. Come on, come through. Come on, go for it. Run, run, quick, quick, quick. Okay, let's do that. Uh, right, Harpies there, Barrier needs to replenish, and we've also got, like, as you can see, in fact, go over here, yeah, go back. 
Um, Soul Grinder, come back as well because you're in the spears. So, right, I can run up here, but I can't get cut off by that rock. Yeah, the horsemen are coming back. Yeah, see, we're going to get wedged in the corner if I'm not careful. And the Soul Grinder barrier is nearly down. Okay, I uh, might just do a little volley there of these guys. Right, I think we will come around this way. We're not ready to pop the army out yet. So my Furies... Yeah, the Soul Grinder barrier is going to be going to replenish as well. Right, so we kind of need to go up there, but like quickly, so quickly that we don't pop there. Um, yeah, give the game away just yet. Soul Grinder, you're having a bit of trouble, aren't you? But you're probably okay. Uh, Kairos Fate Weaver, what have we got there? Let's just do that. On the way past, it's a bit of a drive-by flaming. Why don't you do that as well? Go on, shoot those Jade Warrior crossbows. Just a, just a quickie. Oh, you can do a quickie down there as well. Who told you to fire a will? No one told you to fire a will, that's who. Right, barrier on this is really low, so you have to be super careful with it. But what we can do now is, like, regen our barriers over here um, and just get the heck away. <clears throat> and like I say, we've just got... Hopefully, they're not close enough. They won't be close enough at any point to uh, to actually detect the army just yet. Um, right, Kairos, no rest for you, though, unfortunately. You've got work to do. So get the... Um, hmm... Get Soul Grinder up to about here. Yes. So we've got like half a unit of... Uh, is that Jade Warrior Cross? No, we got the Peasant Archers from before and we've also got some Celestial Dragon Crossbows and stuff to handle. Um, I don't know how well this will do against them. Let's just try like a dedicated little... Yeah, that's actually quite nice. If they detect my army, we have to just come out and fight now. Uh, but I, I think we're okay. And these guys, their barriers are back up to full. So is the Burning Chariot. The Soul Grinder is as well. So yeah, it's all going well. So we can we can cast a few more spells. Uh, we're nearly through our power reserve. But yeah. Where did the horsemen go? I know there's a few of them left. Yeah, they are there. Okay. Alrighty, okay. So how much is this? Six wins. I don't really want to have to get too close. Yeah, this is okay. Alright. Probably be micro in the soul grinder. Um, let's put that through there. <clears throat> so we're trying to focus on the missiles, but the main. Um, hmm, where's the celestial dragon? There's some celestial dragon warriors somewhere, and there's one unit of jade warriors with halberds who like it would be good to uh, to deal with. Um, anyway, though, yeah, come back. Right, what are you shooting at? Have you just used up your ammo? Yes, you have. Okay, fine. Um, right, come back over here then. All right, we might go for some drive-bys then with the uh, with the chariot now. It is for sea. What does this do? Does this actually give me? What does this do? Okay, so there's no power to recharge, but so we get two more casts, basically. Right, Jade Warriors are helpers. Yeah, okay, that's a fine target. Good if I'd done it down the line of the unit. Oh my god, that's not a good amount of fire that we want to be handling, but put that through there. I think we can probably just win this now if we bring them out, you know. Um, but the beauty of this is if the missiles stay here while the army starts seeing my army here, then uh, we'll be able to use the harpies to kill some of those missiles. Um, so yeah, let's do it. All right, let's get blue horrors, ink horrors, little dudes... Everybody firing at will, just because I know I'll forget to micro some of them, probably. Right, what are you doing? Okay, Kairos' barrier is nearly down, so I should have been a bit more cautious there, but fine. <clears throat> we went there. Right, final cast. If we can get a good one on some missiles, some of them probably will turn around, though. Yeah, and some of them are shooting at the, uh, the chariot as well. Let's wait on the final cast. Yeah, let's wait on the final cast a moment. We shoot from in the trees. No reason we can't. We move back ever so slightly. 
Yeah, so there's actually like a character at the back, so like just swarming these missiles with the harpies probably isn't an option just yet, but I will come closer with them. Um, and the soul grinder's probably going to have to tank. Yeah, let's bring him down. Let Kairos' barrier go back up. Okay, yeah, so they can see us now. Uh, right, where are they? Celestial Dragon Guard, there they are, okay. So, like, that's probably the most dangerous unit. And then we've got the horses. I don't think that that, that amount of horsemen is going to do a lot, but, like, yeah. He can tank a bit. Kairos may have to tank something as well. So, yeah, if you come to about... Yeah, deal with the horses, actually. You want to name an, an agent hero I'm Bad's future? I can do that. Right, you're going to come along and you're going to... What I'm going to do is I'm going to get the Pink Horrors to focus the Celestial Dragon Guards. You are probably going to go down anyway. Who told you to fire at will? There's so many weird, caggy things going on with actions at the moment. Oh right, yeah, you can just tank there. Uh, Kairos is getting shot again. That's okay, because his barrier's back up. Right, so let's, uh, just because, yeah, let's do that there. That's our final cast. Oh, see how quickly this gets shot? Like, get away. Okay, that's the one fuck up of the battle. Um, oh, please get away. Please get away. Just come over here. Come and be safe. Okay, you fucking hell. Okay, the chariot did survive, but that was like the only cock up I've made, I think, like this entire battle. Um, like, yeah, because he's really dangerously low now, and we need him for like the next fights and stuff. Um, but yeah, never mind. Yes. FYI, Keith the Demon Jr. has been immortalized for any future campaigns where he can make his reprise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Je oh, Jesus. Um, I love Keith. We might have a Keith the Demon in this, but in this campaign as well. Right, you come back as well. I'd love to, dude. Yeah, I'd love to if you'll have me back. Of course, like, I love helping you out, so. Alright, what's going on in here? We might need to give this guy a break in a second, this little dude, because he's not exactly supposed to be tanking. Um, let's get the Soul Grinder once its barriers back up to just go into the middle now. Got Jade Warriors. Yeah, Jade Warrior Halberd, so that unit's quite dangerous. And then we've simply got. Oh, no. Oh, that's my second fuck up. I forgot about them. But what we can do is we can just swarm the Jade Warrior crossbows here and hope, hopefully that'll be okay. In fact, no, what am I doing? Just let the barriers go back up first. So your barrier is, is kind of up. Yeah, okay, I'll just get him in here. Kairos needs a rest. The Harpies need a rest. But then the Harpies will go for this Jade Warrior unit here, or they might even just come in the back now. And if they've used up their ammo then they simply have to go into melee and tank. Um, we're tanking there, their barriers are up. Arpy's barriers needs to recover. They do have a few missiles left, you'll see, like, this isn't um, just a done deal right right yet. Just, just now. I need to try and get this guy out. If we can, if we can pull him back through, like, our troops here, that would be good, because he's, uh... Yeah, he's taking quite a lot of damage. Right, their barriers are up, so I think I will get them to go swarm that. Fuck off. This give me any? Does this give me anything now? I don't think it does, does it? No. Okay. All right, fine. We've got quite a lot of units routing. Um, I wonder if I can just get some uh, some blue horrors to just go generally just go up here. Right, his his barrier's back up, so he's fine. So any remaining missiles, I think if we just shoot at a uh, character there, but right, you can actually chase them off. That's fine. Um, you, we can just come and get in here, can't we? And then we've simply got some characters who have decided to, uh, yeah, to come and get into combat. Um, right, Pink Horrors, you nearly used your ammo. You may as well shoot up there at the Celestial Dragon Crossbows. Characters in there is not, hmm, it's not brilliant, but Soul Grinder can go and fight in there. Should have dealt with those guys. Yeah, we have. Okay, so. They were in the garrison, weren't they? Yeah, let's stay on them with one unit and then bring the other one down here. Kairos, Kairos while his, ba yeah, his barrier's not up, I was going to say while his barrier's up, he can just like swoopity swoop and just do some cycle charging and stuff. Um, 
Yeah, and if we shoot at that character, that's also nice. There we go, that's army losses, we've done it. Okay, great. Right, fantastic, okay, brilliant. So, oh no, I lost the chariot. <laughs> we didn't need the chariot that much. It's, it's also really expensive. You know, we can get like four units of blue horrors for the cost of that chariot. So actually, all right, so not perfect, but pretty good. I'd give myself like an 8.5 out of 10. Um, yeah, hey Raven, how you doing? Planeshin is in the campaign, indeed it is. Um, yeah, they, they're somewhere in cafe here. So right, we need to run off as much as we can and we need to just finish off. Yeah, like any of these units that we can finish off, we need to. Um, Pink Horrors, just go and run over here. You guys, one of you stay on there, that's cool. Yeah, the chariot, the chariot is good, but like it has its uses for sure. But like anyway, I thought that I'd saved him, but something must have got close enough to finish him off. Like, but yeah, anyway, like I say, it costs 475 gold. I can literally get four blue horrors for that cost. In fact, I can get even more if they're cheap in Kairos' army. Yeah, really only 51 gold. Anyway, what's that? That's a character, okay. Um, no one else go that way. The Harpies could maybe, sorry, the uh, Chaos Furies could maybe go that way. Or we could get them to come over, get one of them to come over here, yeah. So Jade Warrior Halberds here. Yeah, there's a few units. In fact, if we can get the Chaos Furies, which unit was it? Not that one. We can finish off like the Celestial, any Celestial, anything with Celestial or Jade at the start of its name. Oh, that one's gone already. Kill these Jade Warrior Halberds if we can. Like you chase down here. And kill those Celestial Dragon Crossbows. It's also good. Kairos is uh, trying his best to be a melee fighter, but he's just not very good. And the Soul Grinder is also not doing anything. Let's get a few things to rush up here, then let's speed it up. This is our turn, so it doesn't matter if we kill the characters. Like, they're not just going to get instantly get, like, a high health, you know, a full health general again. Yeah, that was cool. Beautiful, beautiful day to a massacre, massacre cafe on turn six. Pretty much. Meow Ying is going to phone home later. Phone home later with her dra dragon phone, and no one's going to answer. Or if someone answers, it's going to be like a cackling bird. So, uh, what is that? Is that the soul grinder? Yeah. Okay. All right. It's uh, that guy. He's actually done a really good job getting that guy low. And then Kairos, meanwhile, has been fighting this dude or trying to for about five minutes. Come on, come and show, come and show how it's done. I can actually attack the little dude. Going off my slow reflexes. Oh, I'm going to punt this guy down the hill. Aha! We there we go. Okay. Oh, what is this got guy plot? This guy's got plot armor. I swear. I know that when we knock him over, we're less likely to do damage. But like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, he's dead. Okay, great. So we lost the chariot, yeah. Okay, so ideally, we didn't need to lose the chariot. That was like a lapse of micro there. Um, but like, ideally, you don't lose anything. Uh, Kailash, thanks for the lurk as well. Just spotted that. Thanks for lurking. Right, what do we want? We want replenishment. Not, we haven't taken much damage. Yeah, we'll take some replenishment. But he's going to run off into the corner here. Now, you're going to take Nangao. Says decisive victory. I think it probably would be okay to auto resolve. We might take more damage actually fighting it because of towers and stuff. Yeah, we'll, we'll auto resolve this. And we don't want to damage it. And there we go. The turn six, Nangao. There you go. You saw it here first, kids. So, like, I'm going to make it into a YouTube video, I think. So, now we've got a very confused Miao Ying who's lost her capital. But she can still recruit from the Snake Gate. So, it's not over yet. It's not like she's deleted. Um, what to tell them to do? I don't know. Because I can give them... 
See, they could go over there, but then they'll take territory I want. Um, we could just tell them to like go and throw themselves at the snake gate just to, uh, yeah, to try and weaken her slash distract her. Um, because we need to do... Right, so the reason I kept the Fury recruitment back home is that we can get one, two. We want a third Fury. Two of you. And then another two of you. And we should be able to afford all of that. If these are so... Yeah, so 100. Yeah, we're fine. We'll definitely be able to afford all of that. Um, so I am going to take... What am I going to take? I'm going to take Root Marcher. Second point into Pink Fire. Fires of Change. And then... I think reducing the cooldown on changing of the ways. All of this is really great, though. Like, we're going to need to rely a lot on ambushes. We are, like, deep in enemy territory, essentially. Um, changing of the ways. Cost reduction is also good. I think we'll go for the cooldown on it first. What would be my favourite faction so far? Bisto, dude, welcome. How are you? My favourite faction so far would be Nurgle. Like, no, I completed a legendary Nurgle campaign on um, Friday. And, like, I had a blast. Like, yeah, it's uh, I really enjoyed Nurgle. I uh, really, really... Um, but yeah, Bisto, how's it going? So, there we go. So now we need to get... We need to kill her. Somehow do something about Snake Gate. And then we're almost taking Yao Ying's start position now. So we're going to have to deal with, with these guys to take a province here. And the further we go down, like, obviously we're just auto at war with, like, any other Cafeo factions that we meet. Like, we're already at war with them. So it could be quite a spicy campaign, but I think it's quite a nice place to start. And if we take out the gates, like obviously those chaos armies that spawn in the start are just going to be coming in and actually helping us properly rather than just suiciding on the gates. So, and then back here, I'll try and hang on to the Volary. This day's been here for 30 minutes. Oh, dude, you know I'm dopey. Come on. Um, I, need a, I, need a, uh, I need a pager, like a doctor in the 90s, like on ER or something. So, so people can page me and say, hey. But yeah, Bisto, great to see you. Um, yeah, so we're going to try and hang on to this. I don't know if that's going to be... We can do it for the whole campaign, but I don't okay. think we're going to hang on to Bloodwind Keep. As soon as any threat appears towards Bloodwind Keep, we're just going to sell it to this guy. Um, and then now, we... You know, the future is unforeseen. Our, our, our legendary lord might know what the future looks like, but I don't know exactly how she's going to behave now. I think it's a lot more erroneous from here on out because, you know, she may go towards him. She may just sit there and turtle and, you know, mope because we've taken her capital. I don't know. Uh, Nangal, right. So, what do I want here? So we don't need military recruitment. We could just build that because that gets me grimoires. Can't get anything advanced. Can't get, um, yeah, can't get anything there. Or we simply rush growth. Growth and barrier replenishment. We probably are going to be fighting a lot here, you know. Yeah, let's build that. Um, that seems cool. Did you name I'm Bad's hero yet? No, I get there eventually. So, I have um, I I don't. Yeah, I have a. I think you're the same. I think I have ADHD as well. So if I like get distracted, I I don't remember like what I was doing before. So what was it supposed to be called? I'm Bad's future. Okay, we'll do that. There we go. Okay, I remembered. So our starting army is going to be this. It's a bit basic. We've lost our chariot. Hey, Nox. Thank you very much for the follow. You're following number 503. Thank you very much. Yeah, great to have you here. Welcome, welcome. Uh, it's a good time to join as well, so we've only just started this campaign. You better not kill me off like further reading did. Well, you'll get a um, you'll you'll get an I'm bad here future too. You know, like I do tend to bring them back. Um, yeah, we'll start going down there. Kyros not oh, Kyros got four levels from that, didn't he? We've already done it. We are sitting here anyway. Can I do this? No, you have to be an enemy. You have to be in. Why can't I do that? Because an army must be selected. Okay, so what if I select an army? Yeah, I think you have to be in enemy territory to do this. I'm bad or battle, see? 
I do remember, yeah, I do remember all the question marks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I, I remember doing that, and I couldn't think of a name, so I just put, like, all the question marks, and it was quite funny. With a space in there as well. You can't, can't forget the space. Yeah, I could do this, but I don't think I can, like I, like I said. Um, so, yeah, I think we're ready to move on, then. Um, so, we can just have a quick look at diplomacy. War unceasing. So... So the next little trick we've got up our sleeves to try and hamper Cathay is trade a Cathayan settlement to Exiles of Corn. We're going to try and bring Scarbrand into into Cathay just to help us out. Um, so, but I can't do it for like how many turns? It's quite. It's six turns at least. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. So yeah. So like. So that's the next little thing. We're just going to teleport Scarbrand in here and just get him to you know literally fuck shit up for us. Um, just to, just to help me out. If I need it. If I need it. What's a special building at Nangao called for Chaos? Uh, what do we have? What do we have? Do we get anything? Um, as Cafe, I don't know. But um, as Chaos, like, do we... I don't think we get anything. Unless, unless I'm missing something really obvious. Like, we don't get a landmark, at least. Which is a shame. You think there would be. Oh, it's pottery. Oh, you mean the resource. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, okay, nice. So right, let's uh, let's carry on. So let's see, let's watch what she does. Probably gonna be a bit upset by this. There's an achievement for building a building and you don't know where the landmark is. Demanding a change in your mutual relationship. What does he think of the other good dude up here? Do they know each other? Meh, nah, no. They will meet each other soon. Um, I don't see why we don't want to be a bit friendly with him. Oh, he's only going to have 92. That backfired. Okay. If he wants military access to come in here and help me deal with Cathay, then he is more than welcome to it. Right, there we go. So, cool down to Law of Deench. Now, I think what we should do on tech next... Probably... Probably get way of deception because we may need to be able to, so that that as I understand it will reveal the shroud, um, so I can see areas of the map. <clears throat> um. So yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna get the reveal shroud option available. Strategic icon is faction based. If you hover over it on the map, you see which faction benefits from it. Oh, okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the settlement. Ah, uh, okay, it's a special importance to Cafe. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, I, I knew that from game two. It's alright, I hadn't looked at that. Oh, I wonder if there's anything strategic then that, is, that isn't just resources. Yeah, Cafe. Probably not. What about Wage In? I wonder if there's something at Wage In for us. Because that would be kind of cool. That would be a bit of a corruption of uh, the whole Cafe and uh, Empire, wouldn't it? Right, so, what am I doing with you then? I could go for the alternate spells that I don't yet have. Treason of Teach, what's this then? Leadership. That seems quite powerful. Is it AoE if you overcast it? Oh no, additional effect on melee attack. Okay, that's cool. If I do have this guy casting, let's just get Fires of Change to begin with. So we've got through the first turn of recruitment, and I don't think she's come into... Can I see if she's here? It doesn't have public order. Hmm. I... Oh, I want him to replenish, though. Yeah, okay, I won't move him out yet. I was going to say I could go and get him to scout. What are they up to? I don't know. They're ignoring my order, and they are just potentially going for Pomei. That's not bad. Yes! They were to take that, but I don't think they will. Right, let's just see if... That's a... that's annoying, but we should be able to handle it. We got a, we got a spicy, juicy garrison up there. Um. So, yeah, okay, right, fine. So, let's just continue again. This guy about I'm Bad's future. <laughs> Kurgan Wardband destroyed. Who saw that coming? Tomorrow. He's nearly. He's nearly healed. Right. Let's come and uh, let's come and poke and just see what she's up to. Okay, she's sitting here thinking, con contemplating her future. Um, there's also this guy that I'm going to have to deal with. 
I don't know whether to fill up on some more blue horrors because we can afford it. Also, I don't know whether to change that or whether to change this. So, what is it at the moment? It's a soul keep and it gives me growth reduction in infrastructure building costs. If I change it to this, we get siege corruption. Hmm. I think I will change to that. Although then I'm only going to be able to get blue horrors on. I'm going to have to change that if I want to get blue horrors. So let's wait actually, because I might want some more blue horrors. Yeah, let's uh, let's do get two more just on local. Hey, Mustelli Day. Good afternoon. First time viewer. Been looking for some siege stuff on highest difficulties. Playing at it myself right now. Fun stuff. Yeah, it is very very fun. Yeah, welcome. You're more than welcome here. Um, Mustelidae, what's that? That's like the family of, uh, what's that? Um, Mustelids, that's... Is it badgers? Is it badgers and weasels and stuff? Is it like weasels and stoats and badgers and, uh, and all of that kind of stuff? This isn't necessarily a better start, um, but it's a kind of like, let's try and delete Cafe as quickly as possible start, because... Otherwise, I can see that they're just going to be a massive antagonist for the entire campaign. So all we're doing then is moving on. I'm sure she's going to do something soon. If we poke her with a cursor, like she will leave. Um, he may as well stand here because I think it's very unlikely anything's going to leap out and attack me. Uh, do we need to do anything here? No, this is all fine. Okay, all right, fine. Let's move on again then. Oh, Medic, thank you. That's really kind of you. Oh, must must yeah, must day. Like I'm uh, I'm a I'm a science major. Like I'm a I'm a science graduate, yeah. So like I did biology. Um Uh Flaming Scribes. Is this gonna backfire for any reason? I don't think so. I guess I mean they're seeing aren't they? Let's make friends with them. Yo, Alison, how's it going? But the future is not yet foreseen. But I need her to do something. I need, like, or we can go and, what we can do, in fact. Maybe if she can't see me, she will be more inclined to move. Um, so, yeah, so what we'll do is we'll come and... Uh, a bit worried their army's still there, but it doesn't look like it is. Okay, right, fine. We'll move down here, because then if she doesn't do anything, we can just go and take mines. And if she does do something, we can kill her. So... Yeah, let's get him back in the army. <clears throat> He's still over here. Building upgrade available, right? Still not touching that. Is uh, nah, this is fine as well. As long as uh, corn isn't here yet. Right, so Nangao, how? Right, that's not going to rebel for a while. But how quickly is it going to grow? Okay, yeah. So two turns to get one growth. We only need one growth, don't we, to get to level two? And I think we will flip this over now so that we get the siege, the, the extra siege corruption um, in in cafe. So that's fine, right? So let's uh, carry on then. I should slow this down so you got so we can actually see what's happening. Oh look, is she going to run into my ambush? No, she's raiding. No, don't go for the other settlement. Okay, I'll sell this then. Is that is that corn actually? I thought that was a rebellion. I thought that was Nurgle for some reason. Anyway. Yeah, we'll sell that in a second. Okay, this guy's here. Right. Who am I to get in the way of a lover's tiff between these two? Well, it's not a lover's tiff, but like what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit out of the way somewhere because I think that... Oh, what if she goes for my settlement, though? Well, she's going to besiege it for a turn, isn't she? Does she have siege attacker? Does her dragon form give her siege attacker? Because it would be a disaster to like lose this after we put so much effort into getting it. But what I'm hoping is they'll fight each other. A puzzle inside. What I can do is go and sit actually on my settlement in ambush, and then if she comes close, like she's going to have problems. But hopefully, she will go down here and do something instead. But what we need to do? Yeah, we need to sell this. We need to get rid of this. So here you go. Have this settlement back that I stole off you earlier. Ooh, for a defensive alliance. Nah, I think we'll just get gold. 1420. There we go. Enjoy. 
Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so he gets this. And, um, right, we need to see what happens down here. Volary is just getting us some grimoires and some research rate boosts and stuff. Still don't want to do that. Okay, uh, two turns and we can maybe play around with the settlement switch again. Hmm. Maybe give Nan Lee. Maybe give Nan Lee to Exiles of Corn. That might be quite amusing. Although I think that the dude will. Um, yeah, I think uh, Zhao Ming will probably just take the settlement before Corn raises an army there. Anyway, yeah. Okay, so this is turn ten, guys. All right. So let's see. Let's move on. And let's see what she does. Oh my god, she's brazen. Fortunately, she can't attack straight away though. So yeah, that's good. Beginner friendly Sangu. I've shown a great way for beginners or experts alike to just to just whiz in and uh, take out Cafe's capital like immediately. Oh, okay. So we are not out of the woods yet because this is still a big army. Um, this is a big army and they've got a load of guns in there. Mission issued, spread enough chaos corruption to unlock a manifestation. That's fine. Okay. Right, now. Yeah, so the Iron Hell Gunners are like a bit of a problem. Um, but we might as well go in and attack. Yeah, let's just go attack her. It's going to say Valiant Defeat. The garrison is at half strength. Yeah. Um, it's okay. We've got our Soul Grinder. They've got their big Sky Junk. Ooh. Yeah, so what's she got? Celestial Dragon Crossbow. Celestial Dragon Guard. Got like, what, nine, nine units of missiles in total. And then a Sky Junk. How do I deal with a Sky Junk? Yeah, you can put a prediction on if you want. Or I can do it if, uh, if, you, if you don't want. Um, I think that's fine. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Battle C. It's nice having a mod here. Okay, yeah, we need to fight. I'm bad. How do I deal with the Sky Junk? Just don't deal with the Sky Junk. Just, uh, just... Oh my god, and like, look, the map is quite small, unless that's a nice forest around us, but it probably isn't. I'd like to just not deal with the Sky Junk. Well, what we'll do, I think, is we'll go up and we'll harass with magic as usual. Try and outrange the Iron Hell Gun. No, yeah, try and, like, damage the Iron Hell Gunners. And if the Sky Junk chooses to fire at me... Oh, it's the same map. We can make this work. The other thing I wonder is if we can hide behind this rock, but... Nah, we'll use the same trees we did before. We won't bring the army out yet. Uh, Notable absence. Oh, we could just rush it, couldn't we? We could just sacrifice the Harpies. Nah, we'll bring them in from behind. Okay, we'll see what we can do here. Let's put the Harpies down here. Let's put the Soul Grinder, uh, potentially, I might have to go in a slightly different place this time. Peasant Horseman are there. Okay, yeah, because I don't want them to see my army too soon. I might just put the Soul Grinder, like, here, and just fire at some of the Iron Hell Gunners or something. And then we have simply got to hide. We've got to set an ambush again like we did, so we've got to hide the army and leap out when we're ready. Um, so we're probably going to involve quite a lot of standing on top of each other. Yeah, okay. Oh my gosh, don't do that. Right, let's see. Okay, yeah, so this is all fine. Right, so we're hidden. He's hidden. You're all in... <clears throat> yeah, you were all off. Harpies are okay. Put Soul Grinder on two. Put Kairos on one. And let's see what we can do. I see the past and... So I wonder if the Sky Junk will fire. I wonder what the range is. It's insane, isn't it? Oh, it's insane down the hill. Yeah, okay. Um, all right, fine. Right, so where are the Iron Hell Gunners? Like, they're probably just all along. Right, Iron Hell Gunners times two. Then we got some peasants. Then we got more on this side. Yeah, okay. Um, everything hidden. Yes, it is. Right, let's go up this way. Oh. Might get a blob in the middle. It might blob in the middle if I can get up there to exploit it quickly. 
Well, there's some kind of blob going on, isn't there? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, right. So it's these, uh, yeah, not so much your peasant archers, it's the guns that we're going to have to deal with. Are they just going to back away? Like, oh, that's great. That's good for me. Let's walk up with the soul grinder then. What triggers her to go into her dragon form? I'm not really, like, at all, like, experienced with fighting uh, Cafe yet. Like, what's going to trigger her into dragon form? Yeah, let's do that. Oh, it is going to fire. Okay. Um, all right. Okay, so we just need to get away and make sure that our barrier doesn't go down too quickly. We need to let our barrier... Oh, is that my reinforcements already? Okay, well, they're probably massacred. But at least it's a distraction, is it not? Oh, my word. You poor little, you poor little beauties. Right. Okay, come and see what they can do. Oh, we've got some Forsaken as well. Anyway, yeah. More important, I make sure that his barrier isn't getting deleted. Might fly at the Sky Junk with these... And then see if I can get them down here. And the Forsaken can just do its best to uh, do their best to uh, hang on. Right, what's going on here? So we need to be firing at. Try and shoot at the Iron Hell Gunners there. If I say mean things about dragons, I'm going to trigger her. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Uh, peasant archers. Okay, right. Might need to pull back in a second. Right, now. Hang on. Can we all just shoot it? Like, will that actually do anything? And can I get these uh, guys to just go into melee there? Right, Kairos, just chill your bake in a second. Quite hard looking out for all of the different threats, isn't it? Like, the Iron Hail Gunners in particular, because they're the ones that it's, like, harder to dodge the missiles of. What is that? Is that cavalry? Oh. Is that, uh, is that some cavalry coming dangerously far away from the rest of their army again? Yeah, okay. We'll go down there and deal with that then. This is... Yeah, I mean, I, I can't handle this. We just need... I mean, Meow Ying's in there as well. What? I get a guy. I get a guy with some kind of magical gun. Okay, right. Let's hide him. Oh, there's no trees here to hide. Curses. Foiled again. Right, they're backing off. Okay, all right, fine. Right, well, yeah, okay, we'll bring the Soul Grinder back up then. And bring you here. If I can save him for later, like, I'd love that. But I don't think this actually... It's just... This is just the edge. It doesn't actually count as trees. So let's try and see if we can just walk him down here. Yeah, the Sky Junk is... Uh, is it made it away there. Oh, she changed. Has she gone into Dragon Form? Yes, she has. Okay. Oh boy, maybe I will get my chance to do this. Right, let's just go for it. Let's let's stop them. Problem is that the Sky Junk is maybe going to be in range to shoot my Blob of Furies in just a moment. So let's actually try and make it shoot at um, Big Bird instead. Also need to dodge a load of Iron Hail Gunners. Yeah, do that quickly from that angle. Right, now fly over them. Just fly over them. Right, you, my little friend, if you can keep walking. Yeah, our barrier is nearly down from one volley off those guys. So, like, we need to get... We'll get across here quickly. Right, you need to run. Because if you run too slowly, they're going to see the army. So, like, you need to just hot foot it over there. This guy needs to just get into the trees here. And we'll try and hide him. We'll try and save him for later. All blue horrors are actually doing pretty decently, you know. Why just keep on running them into melee with, like, some of these troops? But chase them off, that's fine. The peasant spearmen are not going to be able to do anything about that. Balance is already in our favour. Only used up about a third of the ammo there. Forsaken are, like, suicide troops. It seems that way, yeah. It seems that they're pretty good at it. Oh, what is this? Is this the Iron Hell Gunners I see here? <laughs> There's some guns I see before me. Right, there we go. Let's do that. Um, I might just go into melee with them. See if we can, like, terror out them quickly or something. Like, just uh, just leap over there. Right, you're safe. So, you can come and join the... Uh, can I... There's probably It's probably a bit risky to get him to... 
Right, those uh, those um, guys are off the map. Right, Kairos, what's going on? Right, they are shooting their own... Yeah, they're blowing up their own Iron Hill Gunners. That's great. Kairos' barriers actually replenished just in melee with these guys. Um, but yeah, there's probably a good opportunity for one of these here. We've got to avoid Miao Ying though, haven't we? Because she's uh, she's a bit she's a bit of a tough nut. So yeah, we don't want to fight her in melee. All right, what's going on? My hidden units are revealed. How? Don't lie to me. What happens? Just get further into the trees. Right, harpies come back. Sorry, you know you know what they are. They're chaos furies. They're not harpies, but like uh... oh, the forsaken. Oh, Miao Ying's got a scent of me now. So. I'd rather that she gets the scent of the soul grinder, um, or we use yeah okay all right fine let's bring her let's come down. Same balance is nicely in my favour, but shit they can see these guys as well. We might just have to come out now and actually fight unless they hide quickly. I think it's like everything at this end is like vibrating on the spot and like getting getting caught. This is way sooner than I wanted to come and make myself visible but like let's see what we can let's let's see if i can hide the army for just a little bit more time but yeah like i say it's about uh whether or not she's gonna cause me problems try and lure her down here while this guy shoots her in fact he can sacrifice himself i suppose he can fire whilst moving funny right does this in fact do a good job against her Suppose if it hits directly. Oh, that seems okay. Yeah, all right. Maybe let's get up here and just see if we can whack her. Um, I know there's some Iron Hell Gunners nearby and some Peasant Archers. But, you know, sometimes you've just got to make a bit of a suicide rush. And this is where everything went wrong. Right, you come and get the Sky Junk. No, they've seen me. Yeah, they've seen me. It didn't work. Okay, uh, right. We need to actually get out of here then before the Sky Junk shoots us. So, first wave... First wave, probably kind of end up going into melee, but definitely shooting that or getting into melee with that. Right, the rest of you can go here. Um, right, so let's figure this out. Then we've got another line. Then we've got you four at the back. Then we have... Is everything okay over here? No, it's not. It's definitely not okay. But, like, she's taken quite a lot of damage. Let's try and get Kairos out. Um, everything here needs to be on fire at will. Right, where are you? You're here. Okay, right, you need, you're on fire at will as well. Okay, so, like, fine. So, just try and fire here. Furies are killing the Sky Junk. Kairos is out. The Soul Grinder needs to probably leave. Yeah, Soul Grinder needs to come back over here as well. This guy can sacrifice himself for the good of the, for the, good of the group. If I can't get that Soul Grinder out, then that's going to be another big loss that we're not going to get back for a long time. Right, come away. Quickly, my friends. Right. Okay. So, yeah. So, it's all about just can we hang on. We stop. We shut them down. The Furies are... Right. One unit of Furies go and fight these peasants. Less your dragon crossbows. No less. In fact, two of you go and do that. That guy is just taking one for the team. Oh, my gosh. She caught us. Right. Come away. Come away. We want her to, like, land on some blue horrors or something. Come across here. Right, where's little... Where's he? Where's he? Right, go here. Come on, quick. Quick, quick, quick. Can I help out while I'm flying over? I hope so. Um, well, not really. No, let's just keep flying. Keep flying and hope that we can get the barrier back up. Furies, one off. One Fury, I think, come back. I might need to try and just intercept me, Ying, if she's not going to let... If she's not going to let me go. Right, she's landed. Okay, that's fine. Right, where's the Soul Grinder? Soul Grinder, go and melee her on the ground then. And that means Kairos is okay. Right, not you. You stay there. Yeah, you stay in combat. Let's uh, roast some of them. Let's do this. Come away. Just let your barrier go back up some more. Is she dying? The Soul Grinder's on her, right? Yeah, yeah she might actually die. Uh, but anyway, here comes some Furies to come and help out with that. So just try and pin her in place and stop her taking off. Sky Junk is breaking. Celestial Dragon Crossbows are going down. So we've got some issues here. All right, yeah, so get these down. All 
Uh, Kairos' barrier is back up, so he's back in play, like, fully. Iron Hell Gunner's there. Let's go and try and, uh, go and try and roast them a little bit. Ooh. Okay, nice. That went okay, didn't it? That was all right. Okay, a few, yeah, a little bit more damage on the Soul Grinder than I'd have liked, but I think he did work for us. So, we want to kill... Yeah, we've killed the Sky Giant. There we go. It's ruined. Right, let's bring you down then. So, we want to just take out her most elite troops. The Celestial Dragon Guard, for example. I don't mind letting her get away, but if the Furies stop her, like, that's also pretty great. Because we've attacked them, so they won't have a general there. What do we get with Kairos? 65 kills, but we did nearly 20k damage. Yeah, that's okay. Um, Blue Horrors can also just, yeah, whatever, like, try and run stuff down. Yeah, you keep going up here. You can go over there on those Jade Warriors. Um, the rest of this stuff probably isn't going to catch anything now, but I'll tell them. I'll tell them to try. What's at the front here? Peasants. Don't care so much about peasants. Killing, yes. yeah, killing iron hail gunners is a, is always a good time though. Um, so that was cool. How's it back at work today, Harry? Like, how how's it going? If you come back to chaos, or I hope it's all right for you. I hope it's not too manic. It sucks. Well, yeah, I mean it's work. It sucks, I know, but like, I hope that I can take your mind off things a little bit. Um, right. Soul Grinder is not actually not doing anything useful. Right, let's speed this up anyway, because it's just me nattering away, isn't it? So. Do another one of those through there and get a few more kills. What's on there? That's fine. Right, push forwards, kill the Iron Hill Gunners if we can. Soul Grinder, finish off the Celestial Dragon Guard or try to. Just do that quickly through that unit at the back. Whatever it is, Jade Warriors. Yeah, okay. Alright, cool. This is going alright, isn't it? Yeah, it's going, it's going alright for us. It's not going alright for Cafe. Um, and are we catching them here? What speed are they? 38. Oh, yeah. That's not what I wanted you to do, but okay. Go into a long line. Yeah, that's a new command. Let's see if we can finish off that Peasant Archer there. I think those ones have eluded us. And this guy somehow survived. Like, he's from the garrison, right? Like, he was tanking Jade Warriors and, like, and Meow Ying over there at one point. So, like, he's probably, like... Well, I wouldn't say he's MVP, but he's done a pretty good job. He saved Kairos and the Soul Grinder, at least. Yeah, that's probably enough. Heroic victory. Right, did we lose any Blue Horrors? We did. We lost two Blue Horrors. So, yeah. Sucks. But Meow Ying got killed. Sky Junk gone. Hopefully the Celestial Dragon Celestial Dragon Guard are gone as well. Crossbows are definitely gone. Soul grinders are like steam tanks. So yeah guys, and thank you. Um over the weekend we got to 500 followers. So thank you very much. I need we need to talk about how we celebrate. Like if we just do what kind of we might just do a celebration challenge campaign or something, but I'll try and do a giveaway as well. So we'll do it in like a week or so, so I've got time to to plan it and so on. Um, often just nice, but I'm gonna take the replenishment. And then let's see what. Uh, yeah, we just need to finish this guy off. So we get expert charge defense and melee defense for the whole army. Fair enough. Kairos, fate. And we picked up a... Yeah, that's all right. Okay, cool. All right, let's just have a quick look at where we go next with skills. I want to grab... I definitely want to grab, like, Cinch's Firestorm. What's what's good about Infernal Gateway? Infernal Gateway is like... Um, Pit of Shades, right? And this is a small, randomly moving one. So that one moves, that one sits still. That one costs 24 wins of magic, which probably means it's, like, super powerful. Like, and this one... Oh, I mean, that's 20, so that's pretty pretty strong as well. So, I think we, if we get... I can live without that for the moment, right? But if I do that, will that magically reduce the cooldown on this? 
Okay, maybe not. One turn. Overcasted Infernal Gateway deletes entire units. Okay. Right then. Um, yeah, you don't. You can just try and make our army a bit more experience a bit more quickly. Decisive victory. Do I? Like, we probably should fight it. Yeah, we probably should fight this. What have you been painting, Cancel? Like, what are you working on at the moment? If you get Ward Save on Kairos plus his damage reduction, you land on a clump, Infernal Gateway on yourself, and three to four units just get removed. Okay. All right, I'm liking the advice. Um, cool. We can probably just use the, uh, for the most part, probably just use the Soul Grinder and Kairos here. Um, this little dude can just stand out front. Yuri can get out of the way just for the moment. And yeah, right, where's my boy? Soul Grinder needs a name. We need to name the Soul Grinder. Right, let's go and start shooting. Oh, just let it shoot it, whatever. No, I changed my mind. Shoot at Iron Hill Gunners. Yes. Oh, okay. Two apartment complexes you paint for and currently painting your own house. Oh, nice one. Fates guide us. The Raven God's will. It's okay. Let's just fly over. I can probably just tell everything to go and start shooting and or just get closer. Just say that this is over more quickly. How oh, dare you there. shoot me? Stop. Cease. Right, and then if we bring the Furies up and round, they can get onto the Iron Hell Gunners. The Furies definitely seem useful at this point in the campaign. Right, what's the deal here? There's actually... Oh my gosh, yeah, get up there. Right, one of you on there, one of you go over here. And then they're going to turn their melee round now, so need to be careful. But those two should get wrecked pretty quickly. Um, yeah, come away. There's only like a handful of uh, Iron Hill Gunners here. Get it there and just try and tear out that one quickly. While the rest of my army is uh, coming, coming forwards. Okay, right, we wrecked these ones. Um, fine. It's all good. It's all good, man. Magic Missile Skill, once you have cooldown reduction, has one second cast of one second cooldown. So you can delete a Lord in fact. Is that like working as intended? That seems very powerful. One second cooldown, one second cast. Alright, anyway, what's happening down here? Okay, we got this guy getting uh, his face burnt off by magical fire, which is nice for us. There we go, we've won. Okay, brilliant. What a way to go. Yeah, I've been hearing that. Uh, I've been hearing that Battlesea is like a shark now. He's just hustling all all comers, and um, making a name for himself. You know, first today it's Twitch. Tomorrow it's like it's like a Total War Warhammer Two on the Vegas. You know, on the Strip. Oh, that would be so good. Okay, right again, four hundred meh or meh. That's probably the better. Like, uh, would you go get Winter Magic? Okay, right, leadership and stuff against... Okay, so right, we need to... So next goal, Operation Snake Gate. So, how we do that, I don't know, because I think they're probably already... Like, the, the earliest I can get there is next turn. 
I bow. Only and all I can do is take heart, um, Chaos Furies. I don't think they'll come out to attack me. Can you recruit in like a... Uh, I think I know the answer to, to my own question. Yeah, you see, there's already quite a lot here. But if they come attack me and I recruit here, we can beat them with this army. So, like, actually, that's a good way to get them out. But we'll do is we'll just grab two more Chaos Furies. Oh, that's it. Well, best of luck, man. I really hope you do. Um, okay, so what's this then? That's Augment of the Winds, enabled if casting, or we get Changing in the Ways cost reduction, or we get Ambush success chance. Get on here now. Is in flux. Um, what do I want him to have? He can take Treason of Teach. So we should be able to grow this next turn. Yeah, we can grow Nangao next turn. Um, right, this guy's still sniffing about, but like, yeah. Let's have a look. Right, so hang on, hang on. There's plenty of things to look at this turn, aren't there? So, recruit rank. I'm going to skip that one for now. Winds of Magic Power Reserve change plus 3% when increasing. That seems like it would be good. Or income from sacking and looting. Am I going to be sacking and looting? I am going to be sacking and looting quite a lot, I guess. But, like, I think we'll get this first. And then we might get Secret of Christ Chrysopia. Um, so that's cool. Right then. Now. Changing the way. Still one turn, yeah. Okay, so, like, next turn we'll give a settlement away to somebody who's going to just pose a distraction. Um, so that it's not all about every cafe and faction coming for me. Can I turn the Winds of Magic down on, like, the end turn? And then turn it back up on my turn? I guess I can, can't I? Like, if I don't think I'm having any battles, like, is that something I should be, like, like be doing? Like, just so that if they fight my ally, I don't know if it'll affect them, though. I don't know if it's factored into the auto-resolve. I guess it doesn't matter. Just in case they do attack me, we should probably keep it turned up. Yeah, okay. All right, fine. Um. Oh, Hasha, dude. Hello, dude. How you doing? Um, yeah, how's it going? It's alright, I'm looking at the screen and not at chat, but I was about to hit end turn. Thank you, Harry. The Kairos campaign has only just started, uh, Hashut, so, like, we've only started it, literally, um, a couple of turns ago. They are going to come and attack me, and they can only get the most basic troops, so I think we know that this is going to be... Well, I don't attempt fate, but I think we know that we can we can slam them. Um, so I think we should take it. Yeah, I think we should take the fight. Yeah, Hashut. So guys, uh, thank you for the raid, Hashut. Yeah, so um, my name is Super Sangu. We are doing, we just started the Kairos Fate Weaver campaign. Uh, we're on turn 11, turn 10, 11, something like that. Um, and it's going all right so far. Apart from the notable absence of my starting, uh, my starting Flamer Chariot, which is, uh, had to be retired, unfortunately. Yeah, they got shot. So you think it's intended to be such a short cooldown. You get 10% from the tech and 20% from his unique tech. And then his quest items reduce everything as an active ability. It's super nasty. I agree, it sounds pretty ridiculous. It's a beautiful map, isn't it? Um, when we do... I've got a cafe and playlist ready to go, like, for when we do cafe, guys. Uh, but I don't think we'll put it on today. It's a bit too nice for this. It's a bit too nice for what is happening to Cafe right now. Um, do I want to do shenanigans? Come on, it's Kairos. We always need to do an ambush, don't we? So let's hide the army just while we go and victimize them a little bit. So yeah, right, let's do that. We've got extra. No, we don't have extra. We only have the three Furies that we start with that we had before. Um, right, we'll go and cast some spells. This guy can maybe stay out because he can kite a little bit. Um, and yeah, we'll go and cast some spells and then see what's what. Where are their reinforcements coming in though? Uh-oh. Oh, they're coming in down there. Oh, amazing. Like, imagine if we had artillery up on the hill. Especially if we had some, like, mortars that, like, fire up and over. Oh, that would be so good. And I bet you, you know what? I bet you the soul grinder can fire quite well down there as well. Aha. But not yet. Yeah, not yet. I'll get him to start on this army first. So, right. Let's, uh, let's, let's give this, uh, let's give this a whirl. So let's go and just shoot some peasant archers. La la la. Here we go. Right, let's uh, just go and start making a mess of them. 
Right, reinforcements. Oh, are we going to miss it? 1 minute 14. Okay, right. Come over here, because actually I think it would be quite fun to fire down there. Um, and then they're going to have to walk all the way around to reach the rest of the army as well. Fates yeah, Kairos, come down here. I think we'll just put the Soul Grinder here just for lols and like see if it can. See if it's possible. A little Soul Grinder who could murder some cafeans from, from on high. Uh, right, let's uh, let's carry on with um, Pink Fire. Oh, they went that way. Never mind, though. We're going to get the Peasant uh, Spears, so that's fine. Twenty-three seconds. Pyros is just so ridiculous. Like, like I've done this with Balthazar Gelt as well. You know, this kind of just like fly around and you know end their existences with magic. It's good to do it with Gelt. I've done it with Teclis. Um, just trying to think who else. I've done it with the Dark Elf characters on Flyers as well. I've done it with Marathi quite a lot, but she doesn't start being able to fly. And again, neither does Gelt. All right, let them come on. We are hey, thanks for running that prediction. Cheers. Good luck if you uh, if you got some points from that, guys. Let's see. Uh, you all voted yes. Well, thank you. Like I, uh, you know, I, I like the vote of confidence there. But yeah, what's going on? Can they see me? Nah. No, they can only see us here. Right, so come across there a little bit. Uh, right, now, hang on. Have we... Oh, I can't see them. Oh, shit. So if I can't see them, I can't shoot them. Anyway, right, my barrier's getting a little bit... Uh, a little bit deleted. If we can isolate some missiles back there, we would definitely go and try and use the Harpies. The Chaos Furies. Right, barrier needs a bit of a rest. Just fly back there for a second. Actually, let's send this guy that way and then over here. And he can just kite stuff on the way past. Is that horses? Oh, that's bad. Okay, that's not what I wanted. Yeah, where's my soul grinder as well? Um, so he's okay. Um, soul grinder, okay. So never mind. It was a nice, it was a nice thought. But like, yeah, come across here as well. Um, quickly land on that unit right there. Oh, these these guys are like pretty disposable. Like if we lose them, we lose them. Um, and then just watch out for the uh, peasant horsemen. All right, take off again. Yeah, take off again. Let's do it. All right, barriers back up to full with this dude. So let's come back. Right, and let's come over there. We can probably just, we could probably just literally come out and uh, and do this now. But I think we'll carry on. Let him do his, uh, let him use his uh, ammo up. We'll bring this guy over here. Yuri's keep going. Kairos keep going. Wreck some more of them. Um, see if we can get the horsemen taken out of play. If they uh, come far enough away from the rest of their army. You're a bit slow, aren't you? But try and come down here. Yeah, try and come into the forest there. Let's bring um, the soul grinder down. Oof, that's a lot. That's a lot of stuff. No, I need Kairos a second. No, I was thinking of uh, sending him to go and take advantage of them being blobbed on the corner. But, like, we will, but not yet. Because I want to handle this. But they're not going to... They're wise to me, you know. Probably worthwhile. Big enough blob at the back there. Yeah, good. Okay, right, we've got two standing at the back. Alright, okay, let's come around. Keep moving back here. He can come across here as well. Oh no! They're coming towards us. What shall we do? Let's run away. Let's run away from our army. Let's flee. Yeah, okay, that's cool. Right, you come around here as well then. Little guy, just... Keep going this way, I think. Oh, us come around here. Yeah, it's fine. The Fury should do a good number on these. You need some non-believers in chat so I can make some bonus points. 
So how are you finding the game then, Bisto? Like, and this goes for anybody else who's new to the chat today. What's your favourite faction so far? All right, you probably need to get your shield regions. You can stay in. Nurgle, same as me. Oh, dude, Nurgle bros. Yeah, Nurgle's amazing. I had so much fun. Honestly, I had so, so much fun. I've carried it on. I'm going for a map clear, like, just in my own time now. Like, because I finished the campaign. But, like, I'm just going to see if I can... Uh... Yeah, just, uh, just clean up. So we're uh, we're nearly. Oh, we still got reserve. Yeah, we still got reserve. What's my cap? Sixty. Yeah, fine. Okay. Well, that looks like it might be right for. Oh, don't go back into melee. I hate this. Like when you've told them to leave. Anyway, what are you shooting at? Shoot at them. All right, maybe little guy needs to go and have a rest now. Let's pull him over there. Um, and let's do that. Ah, oh, take some, uh, take, get scorched. There we go. Follow the west. Very well. Fates guide. What are they shooting at? They're still shooting at the little one. Okay, all right, fine. What's everybody else doing? I'm just checking. Yeah, okay, fine. Soul grinder's still all right. That's my main concern. Come back around here. I think in a second we'll bring the army out. I overcast this. Like, does it do? What's it do? I know in a second, won't I? Yeah, that seemed like it was good. Okay, come back. Right, what's happening now? Oh no, they're shooting the stuff over here. Right, let's put it up here then. Not that close. Uh, these furies can go and kill the uh, peasant archers there just momentarily, and then you pull up here. Right, he needs his barrier back. Nicole, uh, which of your favourite Warhammer 1 2 factions will you be playing as first when ME is put together? Oh, interesting question. Hmm. And my favourites are like, yeah, like Lizard Men, Skaven, um, Lizard Men, Skaven, Dark Elves, Empire. I'll probably play as Empire. I'll probably play as Empire first and see if I can, uh, yeah, get some outposts like in Kisleth's territory and get some bear riders and just, you know, play a bit of a kind of good guy campaign. And then I'll probably play. I, and then I'm not, I'm not sure. Yeah. So like lizard men, unless there's some way to go around the world, which I hope there will be. Lizard men might be a bit away from all of the fighting, depending on who you play. Uh, but like, yeah, I think I think I'll probably go for Empire first. I think I'll probably do a Carl France playthrough because it's been a long time. But yeah, it might might have been a bit cliche and predictable. But like, uh, how about you? You're not hearing Dowie. No, Dowie aren't in my top five. But I do like the Dowie. I do like the Dowie, but they're not in my top five. What is my top five? I might have to update it. Has anything from Warhammer 3 made it into my top five? Yeah, I can't really say, can I, until we play them on... Yeah, Greenskins as well. Greenskins would be a fun one to do quite early on. Yes. I think, you know, I think we'll come out. Because at the moment, I'm just playing with my food, aren't I? Let's, uh, let's uh, just get you... Let's get you in the middle of the back line. Um, and let's let's put you here. And then let's uh, let's finish this off. The Soul Grinder can just come and sit, probably end up tanking in the middle, that's fine. You come away, you come back as well for now. Did I leave them on fire at will? I did. Okay, alright, fine. Where's, um, where's Einbad's future? All these legendary, legendary games coming out and I'm sitting here most hyped for Immortal Empires. You're not alone, a lot of people are the same. I'm enjoying this, I am enjoying it, but um, certainly I hope it's two months for Immortal Empires and not like seven or eight months. We are going to take a bit of fire, um, but yeah, otherwise, yeah, it's fine, we'll deal with these uh, cavalry now. We can do that there. So where's a character? Let's launch one of these as well. Why not? It's a very cool casting effect, like when he does the kind of lens in front of him. Like that is that is really cool. Um, okay, so the harpies, sorry, the chaos furies, we can uh, we'll just go for some missiles once their melee troops have like moved past. Alright, this is fine. 
going on there? Just trying to get back into some of these. There's actually two units stood on top of each other there. If we do something like that before making them skirmish too far. Yeah, that was nice. Okay. All right. Nice. Cool. Uh, iridescent horror. Where's my soul grinder? Is it alive? Yes, he is doing fine. Good. Right. So yeah, it's fine. Just let these guys just chill back for a moment. Get out of there. I mean, that's all missiles at the back now, isn't it? Oh, there is one dude in there. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, let's let's push in. And then let's come from this angle as well. And then if I get my soul grinder, I can maybe go and fight a general. His barrier's down to like 40%. Oh, Alright, where are the Chaos Furies on this side? Let's go into the trees right here and just finish off these two little damaged units already. Alright, let's pull you out before the spears get there. Yeah, let's go. Kairos can possibly just go. They're on foot, aren't they? They're both on foot. Yeah, okay, Kairos can just like leap on these guys as well then. Did you not just get... Oh, they lost sight of them. That's why they didn't move. But everything is looking pretty good back here. Still got some ammunition left. If they haven't, like, they can just... We won't go in for a big, big charge yet. Alright, you guys come across as well. We've done okay here in the trees. Finish them. Alright, rush on. Get onto these now. That might be the end soon. Oh no, friendly fire. Then you're going to work on our barriers, but I say that, yeah, the barriers get down so fast. Yeah, we've done it. We've done it. Amazing. They've attacked me, so I need to be careful not to kill the generals here, but... Um, just so that we don't get like full health generals back that we have to fight, but uh, let's try and kill as much of this as we can. That goes for you, that goes for Einbad's future as well. Goes for the Soul Grinder. We'll work on the generals, but not actually kill them. Right, that's probably alright down there. Pink Horrors, just chill your bait in a second and maybe come across here and go for them. So, yeah, Kairos, go for one of these. And we'll just stop fighting them when they get low. Let's speed it up. Famous last words. Watch two targets at once. Keep going up there. That guy is, uh, is pretty... Pretty uh, high. Kairos is going on this one, that's fine. Anything with ammo left, just like stop firing, just face the other way. Like Furies, please just go for those peasant archers there. And then what have we got? Kairos is just not very good at this, is he? He does his best. He's like he was like me in sports at school. Like when when the PE teacher like like picks on you and says like to do something, and it's like go on, go and kill that general over there, and I'd be there like going like, Ugh. and like whacking his ankle or something, and then he's just getting away, and I'd be really about embarrassed for the rest of the week. That was like my life between about the ages of like 10 and 14. And then I got into rugby and I had fun with rugby. That was all right. But I didn't need uh, my, my my massive lack of coordination was kind of shielded by the fact that I could just take a bit of a beating. <laughs> so. That's probably enough for this guy. Let's let him uh, let's let him leave now. Right, Kairos, you're uh, with you're excused. Nope, you're pushing him into the forest. Just get in the air, man. Just get in the air. Well. Alright, and let's just try and kill this a little bit more. What's your name? Ching Si. Ching Shi. Bit more damage before it gets pushed into the blue horrors. Be nice. That's, that'll do. Okay, Big Z. All these. Oh yeah, so Big C, thank you. I read that one out, didn't I? Between Lufa Harkon and Lizardmen, maybe for you, D. Cole. Oh, Lufa Harkon's cool. Yeah, I hope that the game is opened up and the map is open so that you can go round as a globe. So, because then Lufa Harkon can have a lot of fun making um, pirate coves down the coast of Cafe, can't he? Uh, that would be awesome. 
And Tatsu, what, you're saying you're going to play Orcs, or were you just saying because I'm going to play Orcs? Right, fine. So, 16% replenishment. Yeah, let's get that. Okay, run back to your gate, because we're going to go and get the gate now if we can. Oh, if only I had lightning strike. But we can pull the garrison out, can't we, that way? Uh-oh. Oh, that's fine. That's further down. Oh, are they going to attack with this one? Let's see. See if they win. No, they got beat. Okay, and this guy's backing off. Guys, we're playing a guy who's got the visage of a... You know, he's, he takes the form of a bird. So, like, fictional or otherwise, what's your favourite bird? And what's your least favourite bird in the world? Like, it can be a species, like Kakapo. I, li I like the Kakapo, like the ground parrots. I think they're pretty cool. Um, I quite like Tweety Pie. Tweety Pie was fun. Um, just trying to think who else, like, from, like, my childhood or, or later... He's a bird in, like, adult cartoons. Pigeon for least favourite, for obvious reasons. Um, okay, right, hang on. When do I get to unlock these fragments? Rank 11. Okay, so two more levels. I honestly think that, like, we probably don't need this yet, but it would be good to get Greater Arcane Conduit, wouldn't it? So... Get Magical Reserves first. is in. And this little dude, what are you going to have? You're going to carry on with Treason of Siege. There we go. Okay, fine. The Pigeon for least favourite. Pigeons are like... Pigeons are just very good at adapting to new... Uh, to new... Yeah, to new environments, aren't they? Right, so we are pulling the garrison out if we attack this. See if he takes a fight. Yeah, close defeat. Oh my god, that's a huge garrison though. I can handle this, can't I? I think we can handle that. Is it the same map? Is it like our favourite map from the first couple of fights? No, it's not. It's a different one. Okay, alright, fine. Yeah, alright, we'll fight this. Quetzals are cool. Involved in a lot of Mesoamerican lore. Lizard men are... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I know about them. And actually, the Quetzal Coatlus, that was the um, one of the big... Uh, it was a pterodon, wasn't it? So it wasn't a dinosaur, it was a pterosaur. Um, but that was dis was it named that because it was discovered in South America? It's like the big one that like walks on its wings and has like the massive long head. Um, but yeah, that was modelled on um, I think on the same thing. Pigeons do crap everywhere. Yeah, they are pests. Um, it's a shame though. Like we um, like like the passenger pigeon in America, for example, got just like like killed, didn't it? Somehow, like stupid stupid people hunting and so on. So like useful pigeons like don't exist and then pes pesky pigeons like the the standards what is it like gray is it ring-tailed dove or something in europe at least um i i i don't it's not ring-tailed it might be ring-necked dove I, I don't know in fact i'm not sure okay so what's coming on first right it's just this lord so we can go and kill that guy like really fast and then i wonder no they're not in force march so like yeah so i think we will have to wait i think the soul grinder is going to do best at killing um Anyway, though, let's put these guys up here just to pretend. Yeah, the other day, so when I did a battle on this map, so I was fighting Miao Ying, and she came she came and hovered above me over one of these fences, and then she got stuck on the terrain. So she was just there vibrating, like, really fast, left and right, and she was just she just couldn't move for the rest of the game. So, like, I just shot her. <laughs> it's when I did my first test of Zinch, like, when I was uh, trying to figure out if it was possible to take Nangao, like, really fast. Um... What a way to go. Anyway, let's go kill this dude. So how long until they come in? Not very long, in fact. So let's see if we can. In fact, it might have been better to just go and like, lob a missile, magic missile at him. But let's see, because this guy may be able to kill him. Oh, you're not doing very well, are you? Come on, get out. All right, get, he, he did hit him then, but like, get out of the way. Right, let's try and fire a magic missile and see if that will take off a chunk of his health. 180 HP. There we go, I think he's dead. 
Oh, await reinforcements or end battle. Do I want to fight them behind the walls? Would I rather fight them over the walls? Nah. We can always withdraw, can't we? Yeah, we can do some damage to them. Yeah, await reinforcements. I like Kakapos, like I said, so I like ground parrots. I like a lot of birds of paradise. Um, I just think like their mating ritual is just like look amazing. Um, I hate vultures. Like I think I'd pick vultures as like my least favorite bird ever. And they look so grotesque. And like you know the fact you know like they don't have feathers on their head because because of the fact that it's uh, they just get so messed up because they've got their head like inside you know, carrions, like, bodies, just, you know, it's like, it's, yeah, it's a bit rough. Had I been up here a bit sooner, we could have had some real fun with this magic while well, just as they were coming on, but they're pretty blobbed up now. Yeah, they're very good for the environment, absolutely. Let's start using this spell. Come on, quick, 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 quick. Start making a mess of them, at least. Because we can just leave. We could damage the guy. If we can't win the fight, like if it all goes wrong for whatever reason, we could just do a lot of damage to them and then leave and then do this battle as a siege. And they won't have many troops left inside the settlement, inside the gate. The winds of change. Oh, it's such good value though if they're blobbed up like this. Um, right, what am I doing? Yeah, let's speed this up a little bit. Not like there's much of a threat at the moment to the rest of the army. Um, let's do that. Hey man, this is my first Total War game. I'm loving it. Having a lot of fun, but man, do I suck at the fights. Okay. Fights of the computer will decide in a decisive victory week for you. Turn into a Pyrrhic one when I take control. You're decent at the open land battles and things, but the settlement fights are really messing me up, even those beginner ones. Um, do you have any tips that could help me control my army better? Okay, absolutely, yes. Yeah. So, and like, you're in the right place. So, it's fantastic that you're playing Total War. So, like, welcome to the community. It's a very, uh, it's a very helpful community. Um, in terms of the right, so there's a few things. So, it obviously depends on the faction you're playing. But like the um, the actual minor settlement battles and like siege battles, um, what you want to be doing is trying to find a defensive point inside. If you're defending, this is. Try and find a defensive point inside where you can either funnel the enemy through one or two choke points into where your army is and where you have like at least two towers linked to a capture point that you're defending. So one of those squares that you stand in to, to protect the capture point, make sure it's got two towers attached to it and then build up those towers across the course of the fight. Defend there and then the towers will do a lot of work for you. If you're attacking... I I, I mean, my experience so far, of um, I've done a bit with a few offensive... Minor land battle, minor siege battles, minor settlement battles, should I say, um, with Kislev. And I've done plenty with demons. I've done plenty with the demons, and demons, it seems to be just blob. Just like blob, go in, rush at stuff, use your magic to damage any missile, uh, you know, missile attacks that are, uh, you know, missile units that are slightly further away. That seems to work quite well for me. I do have VODs from playing Nurgle, like last week, and I've got VODs of trying out Scrag the Slaughterer. Um, of trying out Kislev, playing a couple of Kislev streams. So you could watch some of those to see how I handle um, both offensive and defensive minor settlement battles. Um, so if you trip me a follow, you'd be able to see when I go live as well. At the moment, as you can see, this is a field battle and I'm just using the general to do a load of damage with, miss with his magic at the minute. Thank you very much. Cheers for the follow there, dude. Yeah, welcome aboard. I do also have a Discord, um, so if you have specific questions, like you could jump, hop into our Discord, and um, like I'll try and uh, try and help you out there. Um, oh, thank you, Bixie, as well. Thank you, guys. We've just reached 500 followers the other day, so your followers number 504 and 505. So thank you very much. I appreciate that. Um, but yeah, which factions have you tried, skilled human or unskilled human? I'll call you skilled human. Like, which factions have you tried so far? Right, so how far... Are, they're really far away. Yeah, we can keep on doing this. Like, they are just... They just can't cope, can they? I think we can probably just win the fight. And, uh, yeah, and, like, then let them... Yeah, let them go back in with the dregs of their army. But in terms of controlling your army, so there's a few things that I like to do. 
So number one, um, get in the habit of if you want a unit that's ranged to go into melee, um, like, for example, this guy who can shoot. So if I tell him to attack with right click, he's going to go and shoot. If you hold down alt, like left alt with your thumb, he'll go into melee. Um, so that way you won't have like, you're trying to actually run in and stop something shooting, but then, you know, you, you only tell them to shoot and it gets to be a pain. And the manual way to do that is to click toggle melee mode at the bottom, but if you just hold down left alt as you give the attack order with right click, you'll go straight into melee, which is uh, pretty helpful. That's really helpful for me. Um, grouping units is also good. Uh, putting them into guard, I play with my missile units in guard mode by uh, default. And uh, no, no, sorry, I, I put them into guard mode if I want them in guard mode. But I put them into, I turn off skirmish mode, like, because skirmish mode is just the bane, particularly if you're a new player. As soon as something flies over your missiles, they just skirmish, like, it's one of the toughest things to deal with. Um, so I turn that off straight away, that will help you. Um, particularly in those set settlement battles, like I say, if you put your missiles into guard mode, they won't run into the settlement looking to shoot something that's routing and they'll stay back. Like that would that would be helpful. Oh, okay. You had the yeah. You did the prologue. Okay. All right. Nice. Have you done that? Okay. You've pro you've hopefully picked up a few like quite a lot of stuff already. Um, I don't know how much longer we need to do this. Really, like they're slowly gravitating over there. He's only up to ninety two kills, but he is doing a lot of HP damage to these units that we have damaged. Um. But yeah, so you played about 30 turns of Legions of Chaos before you decided learning four factions is kind of hard. So you're on to Kiss Left now. And you, are you playing um, Katarin or are you playing Kostaltin? Kostaltin's very tough. I would I would recommend you tried Katarin. You may have already worked that out for yourself because <laughs> Kostaltin like, just gets bum-rushed by half the world eventually. Uh, oh, he's getting shot. Should probably have done something about that. Right, let's uh, let's come outside. Let's uh, just finish. Let, let's, uh, you know, fatality them. Or try to at least. Right, Birdman, come back over where the missiles are. You guys just chill here for the moment. I'll have two of them actually fly across to this side. We are eternal. Playing the ice cream. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So there are there are little tips, like I said, like a couple of things there that might just make controlling your army a bit easier. Um, particularly as Kislev has a lot of uh, hybrid troops. So you may want your front line of uh, Cossars to run into melee. The other thing that you can do... Oh, interesting. Oh my god, that unit got wrecked. All right, move away. If you want... So say their army's coming at me and it's like a square... It's like a kind of, you know, a pitched battle and they've got melee running up and I've got my Cossars. Um, getting your charge bonus is still probably going to be beneficial to um, to just standing... I don't know actually with, with Cossars, but if anyway, what I'm going to say is a tip for you. So... If you put your front line into... So if I tell this this um, this line here to go and all attack that unit there, and they're in melee mode, so I'm holding down all, they'll all go for the same unit. I don't want that. Um, if you put them into a group by holding down Control g um, then you tell them to attack in melee, they will all run at the unit in, in front of them, and then they will pick a target when they get close. So that's one way to control a front line quite well um, that I recommend you get in the habit of doing. Oh, what's that? That's a cavalry. That would this would be fine. Yes, yeah, so that's another little tip I'd give you for controlling for controlling stuff. Biggest problems for me when I started playing were just my units not being in guard mode and like wandering off, and so I'd be like, "Where's my guns?" And they'd be like halfway up the battlefield chasing something, and I wouldn't have them where I needed them. Uh, so that that was a big problem for me. Oh, thank you, Tatsu. That's very kind of you to say. Yeah, guys, you're more than welcome here. And like I say, it's, uh, you know, like any questions you've got about playing the game or control or, you know, anything else is, uh, I'll always try and help. And so will a lot of people in chat as well. How did you make them attack the area rather than the unit again? So, so you put them into a, 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 a locked group by holding, so basically if you put them into a group by just pressing G, they won't be locked. Um, this toggle group lock here, you can do it manually. Um, but if you held down Control G, you make them into a locked group, and then you just click on any unit in front of them, and then they'll just all run forwards and pick the best target. So I'm going to get Kairos probably to come over here. Let's deal with these uh, Jades. Oh, they're Jade Lancers. Yeah, shit, I do actually need to kill them because they're quite dangerous. 
Let's get into the back of those Jade Lancers and let's get Kairos over to just come and terror out them. These guys have some ammo, but they just don't have much HP. So... Yeah, let's come over there. Right, where's my uh, my Soul Grinders out of ammo as well? Let's have him come in over to this side as well. The Celestial Dragon Guard, like, they're a, quite a dangerous unit. This is not kind of really crappy. This, this garrison has got some decent troops in it. Alright, you two. You've still got ammo. Let's have you come around. Let's have these come forwards. Let them go forwards as well. Um... It's in our favour. We've definitely won this, but like we are going to take more casualties than we need to unless I'm careful. How the harp is working for you? They're doing alright so far. Yeah, they're doing okay in the early game. Um, like cycling them so they recharge their um, barrier is seems kind of strong for such a weak unit. I'm getting better at microing with uh, with these guys and just trying to watch the blue bar. So let's get you guys to, I think, just go and like fly onto these Celestial Dragon Crossbows and stuff here. Like, you can go and charge them. You can go in here as well. Anything that's got ammunition left can come here. And then let's get uh, the Soul Grinder to go and uh, get it stuck into the Celestial Dragon Crossbows too. And I'm going to get Kairos to just go back there. Probably can't catch them now with that unit. Let's get them back. Yeah, let's get you up here as well. Ink Horrors still got a lot of their ammunition. And this little guy, let's just have him fire there then. Pink Horrors can fire over here. And these guys have got ammo as well, so let's just get anything with ammunition to kind of like run shoot into the side there while these guys go up here. Well, oh, Wind Blast on my uh, Chaos Fury, so let's try and bring them out. Soul Grinder can stay in, that's fine. Yeah, have a look at your settings and how things are defaulted uh, just by going to... Where are we? Is it, is it on controls? No, it's not. Um, is it just on here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So default guard mode. You can put on. I choose to do it manually because I do sometimes like my, my, my generals and stuff to not be in guard mode so they pursue a character if they're fighting them. Default groups to lock. Default skirmish mode. So I definitely turn that off, but it's up to you. And default skirmish mode hybrid units, like that will apply to things like Streltsy and Cossars. Well, sorry, no, definitely the Cossars. Not sure about the Streltsy. I think the Streltsy as well. Um, but yeah, so you can... Uh, and the other thing that if you're an early... Uh, uh, like, make sure this slow motion targeting is, a, is on. I think that'll be very helpful for you. Um, it, the time will automatically change to slow motion while you're using targeting. So, like, that will be helpful for you while you're learning, uh, while you're learning the campaign and stuff. So let's shoot here. Oh, our first... Uh, let's uh, ban this guy. Right, so we're doing fine. I'm surprised we haven't won yet. Um, but yeah, let's go in. Let's just swarm onto the remaining Celestial Dragons here. Celestial Dragon Crossbows. And I think I might have some Furies back here. Yeah, I do. Let's bring them up as well. And that's it. We've won. We've done it. So, yeah. Fine. Alright. That's that. Okay. So yeah, um, we can, whoever we damage, it doesn't say matter, matter so much about the characters. Sorry, I was just thinking about what's next and where I am and stuff. Um, Alright, let's go here. Let's get you uh, get you uh, down here. And just finish off these units. So yeah, no guard mode on heroes might be my trouble. Oh, I'll have to try that one. And Nakari sometimes just pauses. Yeah, yeah. so I, I make sure that my... Anything that is mobile, 
Like, there's nothing worse than your cavalry routing something and then standing there when they could be running them down. So I don't like that. Um, so yeah, I try and make sure that uh, I only put guard mode onto my missile troops, really. That's And I leave the rest of it off. And then just, like, if I see my melee running off, I just try and turn them around. Right, this is pretty good. So now we're going to take their gates. We don't get settlement. We don't get a garrison in the gate, do we, as Chaos Factions? I don't think so. It's just a gate with nothing in. But, you know, if we've got it, they haven't. Yeah, this is fine. That's probably enough, you know. Let's hold it there. So yeah, 505 followers, guys. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, so we'll have to... We'll, we'll, we'll make a plan. We already had a couple of suggestions. We'll have a celebration with a giveaway, like, next week or something. Um, or maybe this coming weekend. Maybe, maybe Monday or Tuesday next week. Just, like, on a day that it's a bit quiet and we all need a bit of a pick-me-up. Pick um, we're going to replenish again, I think. How am I liking the new Warhammer? So Joey Perps. Yeah, I am really I am really enjoying it. Like it's not perfect, but I would say it's really good fun. There's a lot of content here. Um Yeah, you know, like there are people who dislike the campaign and the way it's designed, but I don't have there are things I would have implemented differently, but I think it's fun and I'm enjoying learning the new factions. A this is what we want. So I think I was thinking about this and I think we're gonna get Oh my knee is dead, guys. Honestly, don't just don't survive into your 30s because honestly your limbs just start not working and aching. Ah, uh, okay. Right, we're gonna go for. I think we're gonna go for the fragment of Ulgu to get um to get Penumbral Pendulum because I think it's so powerful. But like we, the thing with these, as I understand it, if I'm bad here, he'll tell me otherwise. The passive supply. So even if you don't have the fragment equipped. So what these fragments do is they change out a couple of your Law of Teach spells. And they change them for like spells from other Laws of Magic. Um, but you can only have the spells from the fragment that you've got equipped. This is actually an item. An arcane item you equip. Um, but uh, yeah. So like the passive, the passive abilities like Metal Shifting and Smoke and Mirrors and Exorcism and all that. So if you put points into all of these, you'll only be able to have one fragment up at a time, but you will get all of the passives. I think that's how it works. So Life Bloom, for example, means that I'll heal a little bit on my army every time that we cast and so on. But I think for now, we're just going to get this fragment. Um, yeah, so we're going to get that. So that is fine. Have we picked anything else up? Fragment of Ulgu, yeah, so he's equipped that. So now that gives me Pendulum and Occam's Mind Razor as spells. Um, we don't have a weapon yet, do we? No, so my other little guy. So I'm Bad's future. I'm Bad is one of our viewers, like, if you wonder why it's called I'm Bad. He can have the Scroll of Power. And it, where'd that? That's on Kairos. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, that's okay. All right, good. So now let's do the gate. Yeah, try all the factions. By this point, I have tried most of them. I even tried the third Kiss Left Lord yesterday. Um, Pyrrhic victory. What a joke. Like, after all we've just done. And it's still a Pyrrhic victory. But yeah, okay, fine. Let's do it. So, Joey Perps, there will be a combined game, a combined map with, uh, like, game one, two, and three factions. Uh, but it's not out yet. So at the moment, we're just on a kind of self-contained map with 10 playable lords, I think. 10 playable lords across 8 factions. Okay, so we're simply going to have to get over the walls. Like, we're going to have to get the blue horrors, like, just up and over, like, they're just standard infantry. And do as much as we can with magic as usual. Oh, I suppose we've got the Furies as well. They can mob any missile troops here. Yeah, okay, anyway, let's go. Uh, don't think there's any benefit. Don't think there's any difference. I think this is pretty much symmetrical. Yeah. There's no fewer towers on that side than there are here. So we're just going to have to soak up whatever gets thrown at us. How about we send the damaged ones up first? Yeah, let's send the damaged ones up first. Um, and then it was you, four, five, six. You can just go in behind. Try and keep the pink horrors, like, healthy. If, oh, sorry, pink horrors. Yeah, try and keep them healthy. 
This little dude can go up quite quickly as well. And then the Furies, we will just have, like, if they deploy missiles here, we'll just try and, just try and fly at them as quick as we can. Don't know about taking the gate. Maybe we will, maybe we won't, I'm not sure. Anyway, right, so you guys just need to... Sorry, you four. No, and you, and you, and not you. I'm so bad at this. Right, you four, okay, right, let's uh, get you up. Put you, in, put you in a group, just so that I know not to include you when I do this. And then let's just tell everything else to move forwards. Yeah, these towers look pretty powerful, yikes. The Furies, are they like isolated missiles? Not really. It's mostly melee on the wall, so yeah, this might be a bit this might be a bit rough. Um, but we'll get Kairos inside. I suppose what we could do with the Soul Grinder though is like go for that gate all the way over there. Yeah, and then try get him inside and he can just go capture some capture points. Or maybe just go straight to the back and get the capture point back there, that would be funny. And then they'll just lose. Right, Furies, I think it would be good if you recharge your barriers just a little bit and let them shoot some blue horrors, hopefully. What's going on down here, then? Peasant archers, a tiny handful of. I still can't use Pendulum on the walls, which is kind of annoying, but Pendulum is, like, so, so powerful. Like, it's, it's probably way better than... I mean, it's double the price, nearly. But it's going to be better than using Pink Fire, I think, in big blobs and such. Right, so he's going over there. They're already putting their ladders down, so it's all good so far. Right, you guys see if you can just come up and fire. And then let's get some Furies to go and oh man, they're like we're gonna we're gonna we've captured this. This the towers will stop. Furies don't count as large, do they? No, they don't. Okay, all right, fine. Let's get some Furies to go and swarm the Celestial Dragon Guard then, um, and just fight here. And then Kairos, right, so I don't think it's going to do brilliantly. I'm not going to do it if they move, though. I, I could do blue fire into onto the characters. Yeah, I could do um, blue fire onto, like, this little guy and stuff. Right, pink horror's coming up as well. You can probably sit this one out, just because you're uh, a bit wounded. What's firing there? The oh, fuck? Oh, my God, an explosive tower. Okay, uh, change of plan. We might need to get the Furies to go up there, then. Yeah, 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 because they're taking friendly fire if they try and do anything there. Let's let's go up and take this tower offline quickly. I'll just send everybody up. I've got that guy on the gate down there, so that's down to half. Iros is... he's alright. Like, he's okay. He's getting a bit shot. I don't know where that character went. Over here. Try and shoot that guy again. Right, so, yeah, so one of those Furies is, uh, is already, well, two of them are already, like, quite damaged. Let's get them up here quick. Come on, don't stay in combat. And then if we can coax them off the wall, then we'll get better value from trying to use things like uh, Pendulum. But we can do that there, because that's going to catch up all of them. But this recharge is really fast already. We keep on trying to... Right, what do I need to do now? I need to get everything else up, I think. Get more blue horrors up. We can actually go and put some ladders over there too. Get these three to go up here. Uh, blue horrors that are already up there. If they're not in melee, then they're firing. That's great. This tower should go down really fast. Yeah, keep on firing there. Fighting there. Iris is Barry. I don't know what's shooting at him, but like he is just in. Yeah, he's just in the danger zone. I think at the moment. So, right, how's this going? Zero. Okay, right. Go straight to the back. Go straight up there. I know that there's some Jade Lancers going, so we may have to get the, the Furies to go for that next. Go and kill that cavalry. Yeah, go kill this. Two of you go for the cav. No, two of you go for the tower. Tower there as well, oh my god. One of you go for that tower. The other two of you, let's kill these Jade Lancers quickly. Right, how are we all doing, Blue Horrors? We're doing okay. Yeah, it's looking alright so far. Are oh, you firing though? They're all coming up. Yo, flying boy! Yes, indeed, Noah. It's good to see you. Yeah, good to see you, Noah. How's it going? All right. So, how's my um, how's my 
star player. Right, he's here. Okay, fine. So he's getting his way back there. More horsemen. I mean, they might actually beat me here. Oh, this didn't work out, did it? I'm sure I told one of you to go there. But anyway, after there's three of them on this, we, they may as well finish it now. I may lose some Furies, but I think it's fine if we do. Try and hold those cavalry in place. Iros come across here as well. Yeah, I'm losing some Furies. It's fine. It's okay. Right, how are we all doing down here, my uh, mass of horrors? You're doing alright, actually. Um, let's get the pink horrors to come up a ladder as well, I think. We'll get them to go over there. Yeah, that's fine. They can walk across that side. Oh, Kairos. Don't speed up. At least I'll kill a couple of them. I hope. Nah, I didn't do a lot, did it? Anyway, um, right, this tower's down. Okay, that's great. Right, go and swarm these uh, Jade Lancers now, and Kairos can go in as well. And let's do that. Alright, can you come up as well? Can I, I meant to get him up way sooner. I can find a spot on the ladder. Blue Horror is using, uh, using ass ladders. <laughs> using, like, the ladders of the enemy. Um... Right, so we are taking their main capture points, so yeah, it might just be a quicker way to get this over with. Right, so cavalry are dealt with. Right, let's get the uh, get you guys to go for that tower there then, I think. They're rebuilding that one, actually, and that's probably going to be a flaming tower. It doesn't do explosive damage, but I still... Yeah, it probably is better to take that down. But anyway, we'll um, one thing at a time. Maybe if we just go into melee with them now, like we can probably win. We're beating them over here. Kairos, where you at? Where did Kairos go? Oh shit, I think I put something into it. Oh, it's because a harpy died. Yeah, Fury died, that's fine. Right, he can't capture things. One thing I learnt quite early on, you can't actually capture if you put him on the ground, which is a shame. So like, yeah, so we'll put him back in the air in a second. What's the cooldown on that? Oh, there is no cooldown. You can just... Can you just put him up and down, like... Yeah. Oh, 10 seconds. Okay. Why did you not move? I feel like we're just unnecessarily losing blue horrors now. Like, right, so why don't some of you... Yeah, why don't we just get off? Or, like, all fight them. That's fine, too. Furies versus Towers, interesting. In your experience, the AI just keeps rebuilding them. Yeah, they do. They do. They are a bit of a pain in the butt. Um, right, why don't you shoot the Jade Warriors there? Two of you stay on them, like one each or something, like shoot there. And now I'm just going to take their settlement if we can't finish this, but we could. Who's that? Mm. The character. I'm still in melee mode. Like, I'm still I'm still in like my melee way of thinking from Nurgle. Like I should probably just use magic rather than like automatically going into melee with everything I see. Oh, there we go. We won before we actually took that. So that's fine. So we lost two Furies, I think. And some Blue Horrors are looking pretty uh, pretty beat up. Otherwise, that's fine. Yeah, that's all good. Uh, thank you for the follow there. Zerakim2. Probably murdered your name there. Um, or Z2 Erakim N2. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry if I said that wrong. Uh, but yeah, thanks for the follow. So you are follow number 506. So doing all right today. Thank you very much, guys. Oh, I did lose two Blue Horrors and I did lose two Furies, but that's cool. It's cool because, like, the result was, you know, it was the ends justified the means here, I think. <laughs> but what do I do with this gate? Yes, I just occupy it and take a few grimoires. Yeah, okay. Faction destroyed the northern provinces. Boom. Okay, there we go. Turn 12 and like she's gone. Turn 12 and Miao Ying is gone. So now we can focus our efforts on the rest of Cafe. And... Hmm... Yeah, I want the kind of northern Cafe and stuff for myself. I was hoping that I might be able to. So what I'm going to do now is... 
We're going to try. How much is it going to cost? Because I only have 287 Grimoires, you see. Yeah, so giving this to, say, Exiles of Corn is just out of the question at the moment because it's going to cost 1,500 Grimoires for that. But I could give it to Flaming Scribes. That would bring them into play. Or is that these guys? That's Sarforial's Watchers. So if I gave it to Flaming Scribes, that would bring the faction, the Teenage faction up there into Cafe to help with the fighting. And that's someone else I could potentially um, confederate down the line. Oh, but I want Scarbrand! Like, is there someone I'm not at war with? Alright, come off this. Let's see. Like, we might pick a different settlement. I don't know. I don't know if there is one, though. What about Nanli? Like, what about doing it here? Alright, Nangao can go up to tier. That's fine. Okay. Um, right, change another way. So, what about... Um, transfer settlement between... I can't give Nanli away. That must mean that there's a militant army in there. Black Mines of Nangao. Yeah, I definitely can't give anything to Exiles of Corn. I wonder how I did it later on then. I think I know how I did it. I think a rebellion... Somebody had settled this. I think a rebellion had captured it. And then when... And I gave it to the rebellion. So that's how I made it so cheap to get Scarbrand into Cafe. So maybe that's not something that you can... Just like guarantee you'll be able to do. But I don't mind the idea of giving a settlement from these rebels... To someone from outside... Maybe somewhere safe here where they might actually get established. Alright, let's try this again, right? So what about if I give that to... So I definitely can't give it to Scarbrand. Oh, this one's even more expensive, I think. Yeah, we need these Grimoires, you see, this currency here. So our 4 watches, that one's a 1,000. Nakari, it's the same price as Scarbrand to try and bring him in here. Same with Nurgle, and I don't want to have to contend with Plague. So yeah, so how's about then? We try... How about we just do what I just did? Let's try Zingpo. And let's give it to... Probably just give it to... Um, yeah, Flaming Scribes. Let's do that. Yeah, they might raise an army here. They might not. They might just lose it again straight away. But otherwise, we are pulling in factions into wars that they weren't yet in and so on. Um, which is fun. So yeah, we're playing... We're a very teenchy and way to play, I think. And I can't afford Reveal Shroud, but if I could, I just probably want to see what's going on in kind of this kind of space. Um, yeah, okay. Alright, so that's done. Snake Gate, we get no benefit from repairing it, I don't think. There's nothing, there's no skill tree, there's no way to improve it. It's just a bat, it's just a, yeah, it's just a wrecked gate. We do, however, get a... We can spread siege corruption from it. We can get great. Yeah, that's not going to work. We can get control. We don't need that. Research rate plus 10% might be good. Or siege corruption is the other option. Chance of winds and magic changing in strength. Maybe the research rate would be the best thing. Is it free to repair? No. Oh. Okay, I'll repair it then. Yeah, alright. I can't recruit while I'm here. But well, you probably need to get some better troops now. So, like, um, we probably need something military-wise at um, Nangao. Or we need to go and get mines of Nanga Nanyao quickly. Yan Nanyang, sorry. Yes! And I think this guy... I told him to go for the gate, didn't I? Let's tell him to just go for... I wouldn't mind if he took out their gate there. If he takes Pome, that's fine. Because he will confederate him and take that off him later on. Okay. So, invulnerable through charge. What's this? Gaze of fate. Melee attack minus 40 and can't move. That could be a good... That could be a good play to, like, freeze things in place, couldn't it? Like, especially, like, a dragon lady. But we don't have... Yeah, we don't need that anymore. But anyway, let's get that, I think. My power grows. And then this little guy can just grab... Yeah, just finish off with that. That's fine. Okay, cool. Um, I've got so much money. What I could do is start recruiting some stuff for Kairos here. I serve the Sit in there a second and just get me a couple of Furies so that we can keep the impetus like, and the momentum because I think we should probably work towards taking our, our province now. But I'm never going to get out of that. That's the only thing. It's only turn 12, I know. But like, if I, the more I push down here, the more cafe we're going to meet in this corner. And I'm going to have to deal with Xiao Ming really fast. So we might just leave Nan Gao as it is and maybe spread across this way first and take out the Imperial Wardens. 
Mm, yeah, we could definitely come and take Pome if that guy hasn't taken it by then. Yeah, okay, all right, cool. Let's move on. Quick check of diplomacy. Let's Take see if anybody there. is... Uh... Yeah, there's nothing really going on, is there? Fury. All right, then, okay. Um, all right, so let's give um, let's give him, I've decided, let's give him a... The master deigns it! Keep that target for now. Yeah, keep that target, so I don't want to keep on spending all the allegiance. All right, let's go. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, that guy isn't going to let me go across there, is he? So we might at least take need to take mines, and then give that final settlement away to someone in seven Master, turns. There is a rift, a paradox in the weave of fate. Oh. Your staff is the locus of this anathema. It must. Anyone know what this quest battle is like? Like how hard it is? Will suffer. If not, we'll just explore. We'll we'll try it ourselves. Um. Okay, so Kairos does need a bit more replenishment and so on. It hmm. Come out of there. If I don't sit in the gate, I bet you they'll go for the gate. That's my only concern. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's um. Let's actually bring you across here and just deliver these troops. That's going to give me 17 units again. So that's fine. Okay. We'll take a couple more furies for now. Right then, okay, so do I keep him around? I don't know. Like, mm, we can bring him back later, can't we? Yeah, let's just get rid of him for now. Okay, so that's alright. So if I were to sit here and replenish, I wonder if I can use this in the gate. Like, I wonder if I'm allowed. No, I think we have to be in outside of a settlement to use this. I wonder if I just stand outside the settlement. No, but then my replenishment's going to go down. Okay, um, alright, let's leave that. Let's forget about it. Yeah, this is fine. Okay, all right. So continuing on then. Yeah, he'll hopefully just besiege it. Oh no, he's just raiding. Yeah, okay. All right, that's fine. <laughs> no, I should have done then. I should have had that general stand somewhere. And uh, just use the uh, unholy manifestation on that on that general. Of the okay, we're good to go, pretty much. I'd like him to actually make the attack, so we'll come over here and just hide in this little copse of grass. Uh, don't go that far. We don't need to, because if we get too close, he'll see us, and then we won't be able to attack him. So Nangao's going to be built up in three turns. This is actually not green territory for me here, but I still think it's worthwhile like pushing our campaign down here to kill Cafe first. And meanwhile, the Volary is just chilling out. Yeah, it's just chilling back there. Hmm. Over time, we should definitely try and take this province, but for now, I think it's it's okay to let that guy just enjoy it while he while while he can. Um. Let me at war with Imperial Wardens. Maybe he actually pushes onto their gates and stuff. You've become Cafe, I see. I am indeed Cafe. Yeah, we took out uh, Snake Gate, so she's she's dead. She died on turn 12, so she's gone. So like, yeah. So I'm I'm pretty. I think this tactic is really is a really good one. I don't think it's quite like take Castle Drakenhof with Vlad on turn two, but because it's certainly harder than doing that. But like, you know, if you if you can do it, then I think it's a, it's a good thing to try and do. Okay, so now we just have to deal with the rest of them. What's he up to? Why are you going over there? Like, really? He's not going where I told him to. He's going for their other settlement. Which means that... Oh, no, don't do it. Don't do it. They can just walk into the gate. I can't stop them. Oh. Okay, all right. That's happened. We should deal with this, I think. Nope, they've seen me. Nope, they're going to run into my ambush. Oh, ambush failed. Okay. Um, their army's trash. Yeah, let's fight it. Goodbye, meow meow. Yeah, she's gone. 
So now we just have her angry brother to deal with. And uh, the Imperial Wardens, and then the other two or three minor factions in here. I couldn't teleport Scarbrand in. I realised when I teleported Scarbrand in, I moved him into a settlement that was occupied by a uh, rebellion. So it was really cheap to do using Changing of the Ways. But if I try and move him into a settlement occupied by even the weakest cafe faction, like, it's like 1500 Grimoires to do that. So bringing Scarbrand in is probably not, not going to happen in the foreseeable future. Um... But uh, but yeah, I will do in uh, I will do in time. Am I really gonna have to hide these like Legends of Total War or someone? Oh my god, lowering ourselves. No, I'm kidding. He's a, he's an all right guy. Right, okay, fine. Yeah, so we'll have our Furies and our Soul Grinder. Furies can go over here. Soul Grinder. I want to try and get knock them off this hill, really, don't we? Oh, Grinder, just stay here, or the Soul Grinder can go up and shoot from this angle. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, let's do that. Let's put you back here as well. Yeah, it's 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 like setting ambushes with your troops is a really viable way to play. Like, it's not like I'm trying to like waste ammo and all of that stuff, but um, but like it does feel a bit cheesy. This is a great map. I've not seen this one before. That would be so good if we were defending the hill. Or with a faction like Cafe defending the hill, that would be like superb, wouldn't it? Alright, so let's uh, speed this up a wee bit and just try not to... So I've got this ability now, which uh, makes the unit unable to move for 14 seconds. And reduces their uh, their melee attack. So that could have been good to use on Meow. Oh boy. Alright, keep on moving around. So, right, let's figure out what we're going to do. Need them to be in like nice blobs. Actually, quite a nice blob there, if they keep going with that. Yeah, let's do that. Pendulum is more expensive than Pink Fire, that's the only thing. Any idea of Kairos having infinite wins is a... I don't know, because I think it's a bug. I think it's a cheese. I think you can... I think there's a way to do it. Um, and I didn't watch the video, but I don't think I'm not going to... I'm not going to use it. I mean, like, maybe we will. I don't know. Maybe I'll be failing the campaign and I'll... Be desperate for my magic or something, but oh, let's do that through there. That's not the best cast, but yeah. 272 kills. Wow. Okay. Right, so let's just keep on. Um... I don't know why they fire. Like, I think they should not do this to like a single lord. Like, they should try a couple of volleys, and if they don't get any damage from it, they should s save their ammo. I'm so hoping that they fix that because it makes no sense. I find it really immersion breaking that like arrows will just perpetually shoot at a target they can see they're not damaging. But yeah, this is cool. Okay, so what's going on over here? Right, let's check. He's actually doing all right. Yeah, he's used up some of his ammo at least. Each hero uses power reserve to re recharge at the same time, so it gives you more reserves than you're supposed to get. Oh, I see, okay. Fire might actually be better. Like, when they're not in a nice, neat line and when they're moving and stuff. Anyway, let's pull back here. I'm saying, like, the balance is really comfortably in our favour here already. Probably was from the word go. Oh, they moved away. They went the wrong way. But still, that's pretty good. Yeah, 309 kills. Come across here and see if we can get some of these missiles gone. That unit's quite far away. But, like, yeah, just pull back. Pull back now. Let's get some Furies that can go for, like, isolated missile units on each side. Oh, missiles. Good, good, good. Right, yeah, okay, let's uh, chill. Let's speed it up a moment. Let our barrier recharge over here. Your troops have uncovered hidden foes. Are they really? Oh, it's you. I not sworn that one. They're not that close to them. Let's go for them first. Right, my army's over here still. No missiles right there. Yeah, you pull across here. Right, Kairos, just wait for his barrier to come back. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, I kept them in too long, but that's fine. They did what they were meant to do. Let's pull them back. 
Alright, you guys just chill back here a second. Right, here we go. Right now. Now then. Yeah, there we go. 605 kills. Nice. Nice, nice. Keep on using this. Their army is so pulled apart. Yeah, I don't I think this is overkill. Like honestly, like we don't need to be this meticulous. Um so let's bring the army out and just like set over here and then they'll start moving over towards us. Yeah, so try and just get us shooting them on the flat. Wish there were fewer well I don't wish there were fewer models, but it's kinda hard to get your blue horrors from the second row firing. Because there's like so many blue horrors. There's such a depth of horrors in front of them. Uh, ooh, we're getting shot. Oh no, it's not that one. What is it? It's Penumbral Pendulum. Nine wins, but I have one. I have nine wins. That must be a typo. I think it's actually ten. I thought it was. There we go. Victory in Agras. Right, let's pull away again. Okay. So this is all fine. Right, they're isolated. Let's just go and kill them before the blue horrors do. Uh, is that Kairos still? Yeah, come over here. Yeah, Pendulum seems to be your best choice for, like, kind of a moderate, moderately cheap spell um, for, like, for damage. I think it's been buffed, because they did nerf it for a, while, for a while, if you remember. I mean, like, what were we up to? 800 kills with Pendulum, yeah. So... So there's like one healthy unit of missiles back there. Um, let's just let our winds build up. But yeah, like, don't forget about pink fire. It can still do you some work. But yeah, let's wait. I just think Pendulum's better. So yeah, let's bring them back as well. We've wrecked that unit there. If we can get up on the hill now, there are actually some like, yeah, let's get these guys to take like a unit each of these three back here. And then the two from that side, they can just linger about there. There is one healthy unit still in there. Let's turn these guys all around. Um, he can come tank. Where are you? Probably forgot about... I'm bad future, I keep forgetting about you. I'm so sorry. Yeah, they're going to do what they're doing. And that's that. So, and hey, Undead Demon. Yeah, welcome, dude. Hope you're doing well today. Hope you're doing okay today. So we can use this. To actually net them in place which is kind of broken um even with the most basic roster like siege is already so strong i might just use a pendulum on like a kind of an undamaged unit somewhere like i think it goes off quickly enough i think if we do that they should have walked in enough yeah that would have been better if i had to put it a bit further forwards We've dealt with these. Right, here's the one healthy unit of peasant archers, so let's get ready to leap on that. Stay out of the way. If we don't need to take damage, then don't. Harpies, sorry. Chaos Furies. Come back. Blue Horrors use up their ammo so freaking quickly. Like, I think if I was microing this a bit better, like, then that would probably be better because we are just shooting at, um, like, routed units here. Stop what you're doing. Stop. Cease. Have a rest. Right. Keep on shooting. No, actually, yeah, that's perfect. Keep on shooting me. Keep on shooting me and then let's pendulum them. Oh, no. Is that... No, they decide... No, what are they doing? Come this way. So this is fine. Right, you just come back central. These guys can just go up here. They've probably all done, but let's let them carry on. Right, that's fine. Okay, I just wanted them shooting me. Um, so yeah, let's pendulum them, and then that might honestly give us the win. Depending on how much damage their characters take. No, it wasn't quite enough. Not quite enough. Yeah, Skittle! You got into the darkness. Yeah, I did indeed, dude. Like, yeah. So how's it going? How are you today? The 
Right, let's stop this character from moving and then just see if we can, like, I'll turn on fire at will with everything that's got ammo and we'll just try and shoot him. If you haven't got ammo, like, stay out of the way. Stay over here. Go and fight those peasants there. Yeah, and you can go and fight that too. I'm doing great. Yeah, I'm doing great. Like, this is fun. Like, I'm really, I'm really enjoying it. Like, um, I've showcased, like, quite, I think, quite an aggressive, like, uh, quite good start. Um, for you to take Nangao really, really early. Um, so, like, it's about turn 13 now, I think. My, chaming, my flaming chariots, there was a fault. It had to be called back to the factory. So there was, it was faulty, so we had to take it away. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Yeah, my chariot died, but that was like the only thing that went wrong in like the first battle was pretty clutch. Like it was pretty, you know, hit and miss. We need, we needed it to, I was having to micro so many different things happening and like the chariot was the, the only real casualty, I think, from that fight. So I'm still happy with how we did, but it's a shame it went. But that said, it does cost nearly 500 gold. So losing it isn't a terrible thing. Because um, I, I can get like nearly five blue horrors for that. So yeah, this is fine. You guys stay on them. Um, and let's just speed this up. Why don't you go down there as well? We'll make sure this unit's wiped out. That one should be. Let's go for this. Teach does indeed have a good recall warranty program. It will come back to us in like 40 to 60 turns, I think. That's what the manufacturers hold me. Are they gone? 29 out of 120. Not quite. No, they need to lose six more models. Oh, a forgotten unit. Right, let's get a unit of Furiouses go over there then. And the, uh, yeah, the Soul Grinder can probably go over here as well. Oh, there's a forgotten unit there too, and they're going to get away. Never mind. Nah, we're, I don't think we're going to get them in time. We knock them off. Nah, that's fine. All right, cool. I think that's enough anyway. Yeah, that's probably enough. Let's stop there. Yeah, the chariot seems really good for like shooting single entities as well. Um, so two casualties. My god. This faction seems really strong. But this is early. Like this is early. So. Yeah, welcome. I'm, I'm glad that you guys could join us today. So welcome, everybody, if you're here. Um, having fun. Faster question, what's your favorite and your least favorite bird? It can be a real bird from nature. It can be an extinct bird. It can be a fictional bird from TV, from a cartoon, from anything else. Right, are we carrying on? I'm just wondering whether I should take the favor now and start building up our coffers. I should replenish enough here. Yeah, let's take the money. So this is all groovy. Right, so yeah, so they're going to run off back down here now. Oh, Eshin, interesting. What are you doing here, friend? Right, we picked up a Crown of Command as well. Okay, so second... What's that? What quests have I got now? Let's just see. All right, so... Maintain control of my home province, which... Uh, oh, Eastern Steps. Does it pick the province? No, it's that one up there. Yeah, okay, all right, fine. All so, right, so we're not going to do that for a while. Recruit 20 units, we've done 13. Spread Chaos Corruption, yeah, okay, on it. Staff of Tomorrow, I'm bad, is that, is that a hard fight? Hey, Marshall, welcome, dude, how's it going? Yeah, welcome to the stream, buddy, I'm glad to have you here. And I hope you enjoy yourself. Right, a second army raids, and I get 100 Grimoires. We might just do that, just to get the Grimoires, and then put the guy back out of commission when uh, when he's back from being wounded. So I would prefer to use blue horrors, it's got to be said. But I might change that, I might side grade this building so that we get to recruit blue horrors instead. But let's see. Anyway, hidden in time makes him stalk and unspottable. Dude, for 73 seconds, that seems really broken. Hmm. I'm going to take that. That could be definitely be useful for the way we're playing. Now which... Uh, which spells does the Fragment of Orgu take away? So, Glean Magic and Infernal Gateway. So, there's therefore... Oops. Uh, there's therefore no point putting stuff into Infernal Gateway yet. We'll go for... Yeah, we'll go for Tinch's Firestorm and then try and get to Greater, greater Arcane Conduit. 
Nexus. The vulnerable, that's just missile resist, isn't it? Yeah, okay, he can get prismatic plurality. That word. Plurality. Plu I can't say the word. Plural. Plurality. There we go. Okay, and we can maybe just take them down and take Mines of Nanyang. I don't want to spread down too far. I don't really want Zhao Ming on my case just yet. I wonder if they've kept that settlement so far. They actually have. Yeah, that's, that's each faction down here. They've got a military presence in here. Okay, so we transferred this guy into Cafe. He's not him. He's actually a guy who starts up here. So if he raises an army there, that will help us, like, keep the pressure off. Keep, keep the pressure off me. So if we go for mines of Nanyang now, let's see. So three, three, three units got away. Garrison there probably isn't that. Yeah, it's, it's okay. Ooh. He went down there. Never mind. Okay, let's take the settlement then. I thought he went back into it. The Valiant Defeat. Alright, let's go. Tried getting Plague Claw with Eshin Outpost, but he kept losing his capital. Damn, that's no good. So in my, um, you saw in my Nurgle campaign, I just took uh, Hellpit Abominations. Like, they just work. They give you some, like, much needed uh, single entity anti-large uh, for dealing with Cav and uh, monstrous characters and stuff. So I found that really good, but that was with a Nurgle play style of, like, blobbing. Um, so that works pretty well in that, in just specifically for my style of play there. But otherwise, cat catapults would have been great, yeah. I'm kind of sweating. I am. I'm working out. Do I look a bit shiny? Yeah, I've had a shower this morning, and like after a shower, my skin always goes a bit like uh, I don't know. It like loses its luster, and then it kind of comes back. I don't know. So, which rat? I I joined up with Clan Molder and Clan Rictus, but I was getting stuff from Molder like quite early on. So yeah, right, cool. Okay, so this this should be fine, shouldn't it? Um. Right, how do I take a settlement when I'm not playing as Nurgle? When I, when I don't just rush in there with everything into melee? Um, I don't want to... I don't want to... I don't think we want to... I don't want to hide the entire army and there's not actually a forest. we put them here, though, where they're safe for the time being, just while we go and cast magic and stuff. Yeah, let's put them back, like, out of the way for now. I can just sit here and talk about whatever pink horrors talk about. Blue horrors, sorry. These guys are ready to go for any isolated... Um, yeah, any isolated missile units. And let's get Kairos to go and yeah, cast some cast some spells. Where did I? I've lost my army. There it is. Okay, right, fine. It's a range on this. Yeah, let's try and get him firing inside. Whatever he can shoot at. Alright, let's go. Oh, there is a tower. Damn. Okay, right, yeah, because there's peasant archers there. Never mind, that's fine. It's gonna take a while for it to be built. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, I'm going to go for that. Because they're still quite blobbed up. Going to do some damage to them. It actually went back on itself. That was kind of cool. That was like a trick shot. Oh, yeah, what's this then? Hidden in time. So, actually, like, we can just hide him. And, like, he'll ca he's unspottable. So, that means he can still do stuff and remain hidden, right? So yeah, this is okay. Where are the rest of them? Where's the rest of the army? So I'm just wondering if there's any... Uh, like, we could probably just get, like, some stuff to go... Let's go up that... Yeah, let's go up top. Bring the army up around here. Um, so let's bring them all up. You are doing... You're probably doing something, but, like, keep doing it for a moment. We went there. We went there. It is for sea. What you say after you do a comedy show where you, like... You, like, tell a joke that, like, the world isn't ready for yet. Um, okay, alright, fine. Let's speed this up a moment. So I think we're just going to go around here and see what our opportunities are to, uh, to, to, to play with them. Hey, what, though? The magic is, uh, is pretty forthcoming. It's okay, right. We can try and hit those Celestial Dragon Guard. Just with their very own. Um... Uh, that was alright. That was worthwhile. There's still a hundred of them, but like, look how damaged they are in terms of HP. And then I can pop this down. If I can get into the middle, like, that would be kind of cool. How do you get to the middle? Is it just here? Oh, it's there, so I'd need to go towards the enemy to actually get up there, wouldn't I? Cool settlement, though.
We'll get kills this time if I do that again, if they don't move. Because this is a very dangerous unit, so... But let's see what they're up to. Dad joke of the day, chaotic death. A flying lord that can avoid most battles if needed. Yeah, pretty much. Seems very strong. Uh, let's wait. Let's let the magic build up. So, come on, guys. Are you going in, like, slow-mo mode? No, you're not. You just... Come on, get up here quickly. There's a tower there we might need to shoot. And then let's work out how to get inside and actually do this. Um, Furies can just take the tower, like, when it's uh, when it's up. We can just kill that quickly. All right, let's try and do some uh, grouping here just to be a bit more efficient. Put all of these guys into guard mode so they don't wander off. There's a tower there, right. Uh, group 2, why don't you go for this tower? Go and take that out. Because that will probably be able to fire up and over and do some damage to me. The Kairos is magic. One power per nine. It feels slower than that. Like, only at 15. It feels like I was at 10, like, about two minutes ago. The Celestial Dragon Guard there. I wonder if, um... How much damage does this do? 0% on the piercing, okay. So yeah, that, that answers after that question. <laughs> um, they just don't know what to do, do they? I feel I feel like their AI is probably like conflicting with itself on like the way that we've come in here. Ah, let's come down, let's come back here. And just see if I can get something like good through there. I wanna kill this unit, but I also wanna kill that unit. Right, do that quickly. Oh, look at that. They're all spinning on the spot. Could do some work. Would have been slightly better if they remained, like, end on towards us, but... Okay, so we're up here. Right, uh, you guys kill this. These guys, how are they doing? Yeah, it's nearly down. Good. Right, let's get the blue horrors inside, then. So many of them, it feels really hard to, like, arrange them. But yeah, come in here. And then we've got three more at the back. We have got a soul grinder that can maybe just come and yeah fire this way at the celestial dragon guard coming in. Let's get that. All right, and let's speed this up. Oh yeah, you as well. Sorry, I'm bad's future. Keep forgetting you. Come in here, friend. Oh, is that down? Yes, it is. Okay, stop shooting at my furies, please. And that tower's down as well. They're not going to last long. In fact, minus 40 melee attack on them. Yeah, just so they don't do a lot back to my blue horrors. What's that? Is that the cavalry? Ah, I see. Okay, right. Uh, yeah, you can just go into melee with that. And then here they come. All right, so this is good. Let's just get this get this finished off. Right, they've broken. That's fine. All right, if you guys can just like move. I showed you. If you just sit like that. And then everything here, anything that comes up this way, we'll push on in a second. Um, are they going to fire? Yes, they are. Good. Okay, right. Let's uh, delete this unit then. For the most part. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Don't scare me. Do nothing. Uh, any half damage on them? Oh, Celestial Dragon Crossbow. So, yeah, so they're a bit tougher than the peasants. Put him into stalk mode. Yeah, I don't know if we just need to take these barricades down, but like there are there are melee coming up towards us, so actually it's probably all right. Um, can you actually shoot at them? Can you actually get close enough to fire? What are you up to? I don't mind it. You're gonna get shot by a tower though, but like yeah, actually come back. Yeah, just come back. So, in terms of towers to take out, I think we're okay. Yeah, nice Kairos. Come down here, because there's a unit of Jade Warrior Halberds coming for us, so this is fine. Oh, sorry, Chaotic Death, so what did you say? What's a robot's favourite snack? Computer chips. Ah, oh, where do you get these jokes from? You are, you are, uh, you're very adept. Right, I think that that should bounce back through them off this tower. Made a mess. Yeah, they're down to like 60 models now. That's fine. Uh, right, why don't we just... Kairos just go in there and terror out them. What? Let these guys fire. What are we doing up here? Did we actually manage to do anything? Not really very well. 
bring you back. Oh, the other unit is trying to fire, you see. Like, this is some weird shit going on, like, sometimes with your... with your units. Try and bring that unit back so it doesn't get wiped out. Soul Grinder, fire at them as well. Only peasants, but still, they need to die. Like, Kairos, what's going on? Yeah, you're in melee, that's fine. Okay, alright, all good. So, we're just looking for healthy units and or just capturing the settlement. So, there's these guys here. There's those guys there that are still mostly healthy. They've broken now. Come over. Right, these are wandering off as well. Right, just, yeah, just stop that. Behave yourselves. Right, there's a unit down there. Peasant archer. So, come back. Come back. I literally already told you once. Come back. So that is, yeah, they're nearly gone. They're not having a fun time. All right, they're broken. Good. Okay. Um, right, Kairos, come across. The good thing about Pendulum is the range on it as well is, like, really, really impressive. Yeah, don't move. In fact, they are probably... They look like they're edging forwards a little bit. It's made a right mess of them. 27 of them left. Okay, good. Right, so then we've got some peasant horsemen over here and we've got the general. I think we need to break this barricade down. I think we need to come through and actually try and bust our way in there. Um, and then on this side, we'll just shoot anything that happens to get too close. I think Horus as well. You can, like, slot into that spot there. Spot? Slot into my spot. Right, Kairos, you've gone into melee now. Did I tell you to do that? I probably did. I don't know how much that'll do, but I feel like it might do a little bit of work on that blobber right there. Yeah, they're not liking that. Take the barricade down, so it might just be this general then. Alright, let's go and see. Yeah, let's go and see if we can finish this off. Right, we are out of, uh, pretty much out of wins. So, what can we do? We can do two of these. Yeah, let's do two of them. You please, you gonna fire? Pew pew. Still not enough to get the win, I swear. Like, what is this game? What? How weak does this game think my army are? Yeah, that's the win. Okay, great, right, fine. So, yeah, we lost a few blue horrors here and there, but, like, otherwise it's fine. Really finished my cola, guys. Oh, so guys, anybody else who's joined? Like, what's your least favourite bird in the world? What's your most favourite bird? Because we're playing a guy who is a big bird. Looks like something from Jim Henson's, like, creature workshop, doesn't he, really? So which way did you guys go as well? Because I've watched I'm Bad Dude Seench, and uh, he's had quite a lot of success kind of spreading in your home province and then spreading out elsewhere in the Chaos Wastes and then working through and defending. Um, has anybody else got any alternate strats, like, to, to doing this? I like what I've done here, but, like, I certainly think there's definitely other ways to play this. Um, 16 grimoires from that. And then we could always back away. Take a nice little paycheck. We don't have to take it. We don't have to sit in there. Although I can. Or I can go and deal with this. I can go and finish him off. Oh, no, 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 that's in... Why can't I move then? Why is it lying to me and saying I can move? No, that's the line for force marching, isn't it? All right, then, in which case, we'll come back up here and get some regen, get some replenishment. Oh, am I not replenishing because it's orange? Well, what a, what a waste of time that was, then. Okay, um, right, great. Ooh, you only need two points to get greater arcane conduit. Very good, so that's what I wanted. And now I think we'll go down here and maybe we'll get... What's this? So, upkeep reduction there. Lightning strike is actually on the way. Changing of the ways cost minus 100% for reveal faction intentions. So, it's free. That seems kind of strong. Uh, Grimoire seems kind of strong as well. All of this blue line seems really strong. And then, obviously, replenishment would boost us. And, yeah, Renown and Feared would be good we as well. Alright, let's get magical reserves for you. Okay, cool. Eternals now, Clive. how long has it been since we had that general? Oh, three more turns. Okay. Um, 
kind of pays for itself if we recruit somebody, I think. Like, second force. Oh, no, that's Grow Your Forces. Hang on, where is it? Second front. Oh, it doesn't pay for itself, but I do get 100 Grimoires. Yeah, let's wait. We can bring back the guy that we've already used in three turns. Alright, let's move on. Snitch. Interesting, interesting. Right, he wants military access. Now he's... yeah. But now at least, we can break this in 10 turns if it makes sense. We should befriend him for sure. Um, we'll get 909 if we get non-aggression and military access at the same time. Yeah, let's do it. Be friends with a Skaven. And if he happens to have a major settlement and he happens to do okay down there, we might get a defensive alliance so I can take some... don't know. Something Skaven to slot in here. So what's back here now? Let's see. Is that their only army? No, I don't think it was. I think they've got something more. So if we come and take this mine here. I've kind of neutered them for a while, haven't we, by sacking the settlement. I'm just wondering if the better plane might be to come and rush like Pome and then go for Wage In, which is like here, isn't it? But let's see. Now, I think we'll, we'll take this. I think I might be optimistic thinking that we can also resolve this. Decisive, okay. Watch him get nuked. Oh, only a little bit. All right. The Soul Grinder didn't do too well out of that, though, as well. That's fine. Okay. It's all right. Let's, uh... One Grimoire now. We'll just occupy. Okay, so that guy's there. So this is Growth and Barrier Replenishment. That's probably okay. Maybe we need something else, So What might we put here? So Income, Control... Or Teach Corruption. I think Teach Corruption would be quite nice. Yeah, that's fine. Let's do that. Get a little bit of replenishment and also, ooh, get some blue horrors. Yeah, grab team with two of those. And just keep the rest of the army as is. And nothing has come for my gate yet, which is great. Where are you going now? The faction intentions. Why are you running over there? Like, why? Why, why do this? What, what could you do instead? You could go and take that gate, couldn't you? Or something useful. Why don't you go and take Dragon Gate? In fact, has he got an army I can take? Like, can we do anything? Take a mission? Who's this guy? Hao Tao. Right, let's defeat Hao Tao's army. Uh, I could take this tiny amount of... <laughs> this Herald of Siege? No, I don't think we'll take that. Can't get that yet, and we've already done that, so that's fine. True savage. Ergen Warband, interesting. Ready for It'll be my friend and pay me for it. Yeah, go on then. That's fine. Yeah, this is all groovy so far. Um, changing of the ways, let's just see. Hey, Loki6119, thank you for the follow, dudes. Uh, thank you very much. You're following number 507. I'm bad. You're falling off the side of your screen. Am I? Am I like leaning in like this? Yeah, so I move myself over there because my shoulder seems to be trying to dematerialize. So I'm I'm getting a new camera, but not just yet. I'm getting it later this month. So I don't know if that's more annoying than me being here like this, like stealth Sangu. Or we could just have like, like we did sometimes, we could just have like God Sangu in the middle. You know, just like lording over. I don't know what it's focusing on behind me. There's nothing there. It's like there's nothing here in this kind of space that it should be focusing on like that. So anyway, though, all right. Okay, we'll put, we'll, we'll go here. Make a compromise with you. We'll go slightly and yeah, we'll just go there. Uh, Kailash, thank you for the hydrate. Yes, I have water. Um, yes, I do. All right, cheers. There you go. You get to see. Look, the invisible, uh, invisible water. It's actually a glass of water right there. Is that going to go? Here it is. Like a peeping tom. <laughs> That's very Tinchian, though, isn't it? Or very Skaven, like spying. Um, so yeah. So do I want to? If I reveal the shroud, um, I'm bad. If I reveal the shroud, does that mean that I will automatically go to war with anybody I see once I've revealed the shroud? 
Or does it only reveal the shroud on, say, like that province for this faction, for example? Do you know? Because I'd love to be able to see like what's happening over here as well at uh, Yjin, like a Yjin and stuff. But I'm not going to do it if it's going to pull me into loads more wars. Yeah, I think we'll I think we'll leave it for now. So right, yeah. So we're friends with Eshin. That's cool. That seems like the way to go. I think you would war declare if they're human. Yeah, if they're order tied. Okay. Um. Just to save a wee amount of cash, let's put you into there, and then let's put you into here. And yeah, let's just save. Let, let, let's just save like a little bit because we, we that was probably a few too many furies. I was only taking furies because it was the only thing we could take. Yeah, and then I think we can move on and see what they do. I would rather not take Nanli. I would rather go across and go and take Ome. There's a way we can do that. So maybe Minds of Nanyang will keep on changing hands, I don't know. I could give it to this guy. And then confederate him down the line anyway. When's the uh, cooldown off? Um, two turns to transfer settlement, but I we're running out of yeah. We're kind of ahead of ourselves on grimoires now. Like we don't we won't have enough grimoires to do that probably. What am I gonna see? What's the worst thing? Because then if we leave them with just that settlement over there, I'm just worried. Really don't want to meet Zhao Ming yet. Um, I'd much rather go and do this and go and take this side of they first and also we're going to get portals in 13 turns um right nangao okay here we go a distraction so i don't need to think about that for a sec so i could get pink horrors if i built this back that's the other thing i could do though i could get pink horrors from here that would be great to have them before we go into the portal so i can get the hidden library in here as well i can start getting walls that would also be pretty good i could get screamers Or I can get the trade goods, which gives me two grimoires per turn by there. Well, how much money are we making here? Like, not a lot. The two grimoires from this. Uh, four grimoires and research rate from that. I think we might get that. And if it's looking a bit rough, like I might change it for the uh, for the walls. Yeah, because screamers like the screamers are anti-large, aren't they? But like, um, they're kind of low model count, and uh, I don't think we need forsaken. I think, I think, yeah, I think we're going to go. We're going to focus on this. We're going to do that as well. And I'll change my minds. We might actually try and hang on to this. So, like, let's try and build this up. And let's uh, get the... Yeah, let's get this building so we can get some more pink horrors. So, I'm bad is... I'm bad's future. Let's come and see what the deal is over here. All right, there's two armies there. Okay. Stay in my province for the replenishment. Or maybe we grab two more blue horrors and sit here and properly replenish them. Hmm. Go stand there and see if they come attack me. Go stand here. Let's uh, replenish. Sorry, let's recruit two. Um, you can come back in now. We know what's going on there. Like, so you embed back in the army. Yeah, screamers seem cool. But I think for now, like, taking the Furies might be uh, just uh, a bit slightly cheaper option. So that I don't need a dedicated building for Screamers just yet. But yeah, I really would like more Pink Horrors, though, before we go, we, before we do anything, like, in the way of the uh, the, the overall story and stuff. To touch a Dragonborn is blasphemy. He's got Jade Warrior crossbows. I, am no one I don't know where he's getting them from. Jade Warrior crossbows, yeah, the dormitory in Nanli. Okay, so he's getting them from there, right? So let's just see if he decides to come attack. Um, and let's go for. If I can get that, then we'll get. Oh, these are both good though. If I can get that though, then we'll get a recruit rank on the pink horrors we're about to recruit. So that seems okay now. And, yeah, is it one more turn, I think, for that general to come back? I think it is, yeah. Okay, let's uh, move on. They might think they've got enough strength combined to come attack me. Nope. Oh, are they running away? No, they've just crossed sides. Okay. Okay. 
There's recruit rank buff ranged units. It does, but what does it actually do? You can hover over and see now, like which I think is really great. I know you can see anyway. Um, so for a ranged unit, so it gives leadership, melee attack, melee defense. It gives reload skill and accuracy. That's right, yeah. So it's really about the reload skill and accuracy. You'll notice if you have a cannon at unit rank 1, the shots will be going everywhere. But then a cannon at unit rank 9, like the Hammer of the Witches, for example, will be... I know I've gone into the... the I, I'll, I'll, I'll come back over here, guys. Um... Yeah, a cannon at unit rank nine, like nine, like say the hammer of the witches, for example, like the accuracy will be much better, which is why you see them used in multiplayer so much for like shooting dinosaurs and other big targets and so on. Tomorrow, come. All right, we got six income, but we do have ten k in the bank. Let's see what they'll do if I'm not visible anymore. Let's see if they'll bring an army over here. Um, I think we probably could take all of this together. But it would be a bit, a bit it definitely be a drawn out fight, and we definitely take more casualties than we need to. So let's see if we can ca at least ambush one of those. What's he up to now? We agree. What are you doing, dude? Like, why is he going down here? Oh, it's our four wheels watchers. No, this is. Uh, what's this guy doing? He's got nine military presence down here now. Like, I think teleporting another team traction in here is kind of fun. They're like, he's actually raising an army down there, which is kind of fun. Yes. Anyway, right, so anything anything of note happening up here? Not really. Oh, we got a... Oh, what do these do? Winds of magic in this province and adjacent provinces will be pushed up to Tempestuous. Adjacent provinces, you say? So, oh no, hang on. Yeah, no, no. So are we adjacent? Like, does this count as adjacent to the province? Yeah, it does, doesn't it? This should count as adjacent to that. Which means that I'd get Winds of Magic. What about this settlement here? Oh, no, that's only adjacent to the gate. I was hoping if that one was adjacent to this province as well, that might be worthwhile. Otherwise, we just get Grimoires from it, don't we? I foresee destruction. So Grimoires 10 per turn. When Winds of Magic is strong, Grimoires 20 per turn. When Winds of Magic is strong or higher, 100 income, or push it up to Tempestuous. I guess we just go for Grimoires, like the base one. Um, food break for you, Kailash. No worries, yeah. I'm just glad you're here. What are you eating? Well, tell me when you come back. I'm sure it wasn't your advice, but rather my execution. I can't take the first settlement of Kislev. Um, did you recruit? So I think... So basically, I'm just trying to think here. Um, I might show you at the very end of the stream. I might do the start as Kislev. Um, and I'll do it on Legendary just to show, like... Because um, that, that will be a bit more difficult. Um, he's eating jellied eels. That sounds uh, very Scandinavian. Although that's a thing in Britain as well. You can get like jellied, uh, jellied deals and stuff. Yeah, so you fight your first fight as Cafe, as Catherine. Move to the edge of your province, recruit two Cossars. Then move into their territory and maybe raid for a turn. Then go for the settlement. And so you should have, you should have your, what will you have in your army? You'll have like a handful of Cossars. You'll have a, what does she start with that's really special? I don't know. Um. And you also should have been able to recruit, because for recru recruiting two units, you get your Frost Maiden as well. So move her into the army too. So you can take that first settlement to your east on turn three, can't you? I'll show it to you quickly later. Like, we could always do that. As a, we could just do, like, ten minutes to start, to start Kiss Left for you later if you're struggling with it. Um, no, it's because I'm trying to hide my, uh, my dematerializing shoulder. For some reason, the camera just doesn't like this jumper I'm wearing. I think it is. So, like, there's a flicker there. So, I'm trying to kind of, like, conceal the flicker. Until I get a new camera sorted out. Alright, changing the ways back in that turn. Right, now let's also... Yeah. Alright, let's bring you back. Magus Sooth Wills Pocus. Let's bring him back. That's going to get me 100 Grimoires. And 750. Don't know if I want him to do anything. Maybe just stand in force march provocatively, like here. To make them think like, oh look at him, he what a fool. And come over and get ambushed, hopefully. Ah, you know what he can do? But I might do it with him next turn. I can use that on No I can't. Do you have to be in enemy territory to use this? Oh, target army belonging to you in enemy territory. It literally says right there. I'm so blind. Yeah, I do. Okay. 
All right, we'll send him somewhere else. Yeah, okay. All right, fine. So we'll see what happens now. <laughs> Is this what I asked you to do? No. No, it definitely isn't. Where's he going now? Ooh, Imperial Wardens. Got to be careful about them. Go for my gate. Aha. Ambush. Close victory. For reals? Yeah, so they're getting Jade Warriors and Jade Warrior crossbows. Okay. Um, all right, fine. Let's go. Yeah, I think that's what it means. You know what, guys? Actually, I'm going to change my top and let's see if that fixes it. All right, so be right back. Best I can do is grey today. See if it's better with a grey t-shirt. This is light enough, I hope. Okay. Right, so. Yeah, that's slightly better. That's already slightly better, I can tell. Um, okay, this is fine. Right then, now. How do we do this as Stinch to stop them all leaving? I think we just want to, we just want them to... I wonder how much damage we can do just shooting them. I have like a block there, a block here. I'll move up in a second. Pink Horrors can go in here, because they'll definitely be able to fire. Soul Grinder hasn't got much HP. He did get a bit beat up. Let's put him here to just shoot at stuff to begin with. And then this guy can go. So this is my very first ambush we've tried as seen. Um, and then the Furies can... Ju yeah, just... I might, what I might do with the Furies, right? What we'll do with the Furies is we'll get them to fly into these from this side. So if they're getting shot, that then that's fine as well. So yeah, let's do that. And then Kairos, we're going to be going for the uh, the big pendulums as quickly as we can. Let's put you on too. I'm not still constantly phasing, exactly. So I'll move myself out then. I'll, I'll come out of the shadows today. There's a, still a bit of flicker there, but it's not quite as bad as it was. Oh. <laughs> I'm sure it's okay. All right. Anyway, um, right. Let's try and stop that general from doing anything in a second. That's quite a few things to focus on here. Right, you go in there. Uh, you just do a pendulum. I'm sure it's going to get casualties. Oh, no. Oh, no, that'll be okay. Yeah, that'll be okay. We'll get those units there. Note to self, though, do it more towards the column. The harpies are... Yeah, the, these guys are doing what I wanted them to do and hold down those guys at the back. Uh, right, Kairos. Could we possibly stop this guy from running away? And then just wrong spell. Then just go here. And then if a couple of us can shoot him, then that would also be pretty awesome. Yeah, so they're trying to leave, aren't they? They have knocked my barriers down here, so if I do want to hang on to the Furies, I should probably be a bit careful. Oh, one of them just... No, 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 that's fine, yeah. You two and you come out. These other two can carry on going. So again, like, hopefully that will just do some work. And then here, right, why don't you carry on down there now? Uh, you guys shoot him. Right, get that, kill that guy. Or actually, no, just let him get away. He's uh, he's wounded, like, he's, he's pretty, pretty badly damaged. Uh, Fury's okay, Fury's all right. Pull him away now. Because I want them down here to kill some more stuff. Um, and the Iridescent Horror can keep on going as well. There we go, victory. Okay, so let's just try and kill as many of these as we can. Oh, if I hadn't moved my Furies... Let's just do that. If I hadn't moved my Furies on there, that probably would have been a great um, pendulum. But yeah, um, just kill as much as we can. From all of this, and from all of this as well. Alright, you guys go and attack there. These guys are doing what they need to do. You just go and, yeah, try and do that. Fine. Alright, this is cool. 
Alton 1 to 5. I've been better doing that with the shift abilities on like the left hand side, like the abilities around uh yeah, around here. I need to get better because I use alt so much. I use it so much for like um force force and um, melee attacking and stuff, but like I need to get better at actually using it for my spells. Yeah, this was cool. Um I think we're probably still killing the odds. Still some stuff here that we can try and go kill. Um Furies, in fact, you could maybe go do that. Save the blue horrors because they that's quick, so let's just pull you out of the way. Yeah, fine. I think that unit's wiped out. No, it's not, actually. Um, right, go and finish that one off as well. Good in it. It's good playing a siege, and ambushes are really good. As I, I was worried that this was going to be a bit tough because they would just burn through the barriers on the blue horrors in melee really fast. Um, but it seems fine. What the fuck is that, a crop circle? Oh yeah, it's a paddy field, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I just saw that undead. Uh, these maps are fantastic, though. Look at the look at the clouds. That's oh, brilliant. Like, some true... Somebody who loves, like, painting, like, watercolours has, like, coloured these clouds. Right, let's call it there, because I'm sure that's enough. Oh, didn't quite want to kill her, but never mind, it's fine. Still got a slight flicker. Still, yeah, it's just having a bad day today. I think if I illuminate my back as well, if I have like a light behind me, that might help. Any more advanced though, guys, on the uh, least favourite and most favourite birds? And if you say Kairos, that's fine. We've already had one Kairos. So, what's your favourite bird in the world? What's your least favourite bird? So I said Vulture for least favourite, and my favourite is probably the Kakapo, like the ground parrot. They're really cool. 17% replenishment or 700. Yeah, if we replenish to full from this, like, well, we nearly will full. Oh, they've got a caravan as well. I wonder if they'll bring the caravan in. Nope, he's backing off. Okay. What are you doing down here, rats? Oh, more rats. We can make friends with them, can't we? I wonder what Eshin thinks of them, though. That's the main question. The chicken from Family Guy is your favourite. That's not bad. A good choice. Right, I know what we can do. Let's give this to Clan Eshin. Let's try and help Clan Eshin actually sort themselves out. Because um, if we can get them established and being our buddy, then like that will be that will be nice. Right, so changing the ways is, is actually active. So let's see. Right, so if we want to give that to... How much is this going to cost? That's the only question, isn't it? Clan Eshin. 12.15. No, I can't do that then, can I? Hmm. How about bringing Scarbrand down to someone he's not at war with? Yeah, that's not going to happen. Okay, what about this? What about Sky Monolith? What kind of costs are we talking? I want. I just want Scarbrand. I just want a major faction down here. 4,500 Grimoires to get um dude down here. So yeah, I don't think it's. I don't think it's going to happen. I think it's too much. Okay then. In which case. You're floating mountain away now, but again, can we give it to somebody who is uh, who is going to not bankrupt them? No, it's still it's still way too much. Bald eagle, America, yeah, bald eagles are cool. Um, right, what about down here? Like, if I can just find a settlement that's got like a rebellion occupying it, like that's really cheap to give that away to somebody. Um, so I don't want to change that, I've only just brought that guy down, but certainly, what about, that's still a ruin. Can't give Nanli away, so I think I can't do anything with this at the moment, unless, yeah, there's literally, I just can't afford to do anything, like, we don't have. It's even 860 to give it to one of the factions who's already here. No, that's a shame, okay. God, I fail to believe that there's nothing I can do, though. The last Sky Castle here, like, what about that, I don't know, like, um... What about getting these guys to start giving me their settlements? That wouldn't be a bad plan. Okay, it's super cheap. It's like zero grimoires to do that. If I were to get them to give me their settlements now. But if I take the settlement next to me, then corn will come for it. That's the only thing. Um, let's take the settlement furthest away. Okay, let's do that. Oh, the wrong faction. It was zero to give it to Sarforial's Watchers. That's fine, though, because I'm going to confederate them. Never mind. 
make sure they're at least not going to get wiped out. That's cool. Damn. Okay, I wanted to give that to me, but never mind. It's uh, it, it wasn't a big mistake, so it's it's okay. Right then. Would they be stupid enough to go for this ambush again with little guy in the background? Because what I can do is the other the other option is yeah that we go and uh, so that guy's pretty damaged. They do have a caravan there. I don't want to. Yeah, I don't want to have to fight that caravan as well. So let's just see if I can move. Like, we don't need to be more replenished than this. But actually, that said, move you to here. They can't move a caravan, can they, to actually come and fight? Like, they can't bring it in. It will reinforce if on the settlement, but they can't, like, move it to come and fight for me, I don't think. So let's move him here. What a Try and get you just into the territory. And he's in enemy territory now, so we can do a... Uh, we can do the Scriveners of Insanity just while he stood there. So let's do that. And then hopefully the ambush will trigger if they come and attack again. So yeah, let's see. Um, so your favourite bird is the Great Poo too. What's a, what's a Poo too? What's a Poo too? What is that? Let's have a look. A great po too. Oh my god! What what is that thing? It's like kill it with fire. Kind of it's kind of horrifying, but like yeah, okay, it's kind of. I guess it's cool. It's called the ghost bird. They're hauntingly cute. Do you guys agree? What do you think about the great po too, guys? My god. I mean, it's kind of yeah. It's a bit. Ooh. There are seven known species of po too, and some of them look quite different. Is that really it? Those really its eyes, like that looks that's kind of horrifying. Look at its mouth, it could, it could swallow your hand. Oh, it's kind of cute here. I like that photo. I like that photo at least. Um yeah, okay, anyway, that's uh, that's enough nature for today. Unless anybody else has any contenders. Like those dogs with tongues hanging out and deformed lol. I don't think so. He was like that his whole life. It's a nightmare bird, perfect for scenes. You are right, yeah, it does fit quite well. Um, anyway, okay, cool, right, so, Kairos, did I have a plan? We can start this, we can start his unique line, a chance for winds of magic to change, uh, barrier replenishment delay, that would be very good to get, so that our barriers, not only will they replenish, replenish more quickly, but the delay for them replenishing will be, will be shorter as well. Physical resistance for him, or barrier for Lord of Change and Winds of Magic cost reduction for Siege. So that's not that good right now because we're using Pendulum a lot. And then barrier plus 20%. That seems like it's probably worthwhile, doesn't it? Okay, we'll try and get Formaturgic Rejuvenation. And then I will get there eventually. We'll try and finish off going down blue. So yeah, cool. We're still about 11 turns away from, uh, from portals and stuff. Right, you can finish that off. Thank you very much. Right, so AI, so just an aggressive little fucker. That's some odd ad adaptation. Seeing those big eyes would be vulnerable. If you got a hold of the winter glove, he was like a pit bull, never letting go. <laughs> okay, so that's fine. So we'll see what they do now. I'd like to, I would like to try and take Nanli if I can, and um, and then I might just leave them alive with like one settlement. Oh, that's a different faction. That's like a completely different faction. I thought it was the same one. Never mind. Okay. All right, these guys are still just... What are you up to now? You are heading over here. You're going to my settlement, are you? Okay. All right, fine. Um, what about you? Oh, Spittle are at war with Eshin, so yeah, we don't want to. We don't want to be friends with Spittle. That's fine. Um, and then this guy down here has got a military presence of ten now, so he's doing all right. He's establishing himself. All right, let's move on. Flaming Scribes, military access. How much? 501. We yeah, let's take it. <laughs> so let's get to our friends, the uh, the rebel the rebels, so they take their turn next. Oh, thank you for the resub, Angry, Angry Kong. Thank you very much. And welcome, man. I hope you're good today. 
Right, here goes a tiny ish. Yeah, welcome, Angry Khan. How are you doing? So we just started. We're only like 19 turns in to um, starting Teach, my first playthrough, on stream. Because I did practice the start of this to see if it was possible to do what we did. So if you want a, a decent tactic for taking out uh, uh, Miao Ying, like quickly, like watch the first kind of hour of this stream. Because we took um, Nangao like on turn 6, um, which I think was pretty good. Oh, look at this. So Sackle raised 6, Kiss Left Cafe, or Empire Settlements. 15k and another and a cultist. That seems pretty good. Sackle raise. Yeah, okay. Right, now, friends. They detected my ambush, didn't they? That's why they didn't go for it. So maybe we'll try that again because it would be ideal to get them out this way. That's a bit too much for us to deal with comfortably. Uh, but I'll stand in front. So I'm a bit closer, so yeah. And um, let's just have a look at Nangao. So this is all fine. What about up here? Uh, I need two growth to get that, so that's not coming for a while unless I change something up. But that's okay. We can just leave that there as it is. What are you doing? Let the bell scream, scream. He's really sending five five units over here to go and take a settlement off uh, the other Skaven. The right, now where are they going? No, you're not going up there. No, you're not. Like, why would you go up there? Like, I gave them this settlement by accident. Which is a bit of a fail, because I wanted to give it to myself. Oh. You can keep doing this, like, and there's just no cooldown on it. I can just keep doing that, like, with this guy. Forever. And just keep on getting loads of grimoires. Why not? Do I get it at the end of the two turns, right? Or did it reset it because... I don't know why it would have done, though. Okay, alright, let's try that again. And let's move on. They're hoping that we'll pull their other army into some kind of rebellion. Don't you dare walk away up there. Oh, he's gone. He's gone over here, actually, yeah. So, may oh, he's going to get attacked now. Uh-oh. If they come out and kill him, he'll take a confederation. But it would need that unit to the uh, this this unit here to actually make the attack. Oh no, they're not going to stand there. That's a shame. What if that unit's going to kill him? Oh, there we go. Or oh, did they kill him? No, the 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 Cafeans won. Yeah, okay. So he would confederate now if I want him to. What are you going to do? I mean, oh, no. Okay, I think they, they detected me again, didn't they? Oh, look! Eshin. Alright, okay, that's enough. Yeah, so he may confederate now. He may, he may not, because he does still have a small force. Do I want Terracotta Graveyard? I think I'd rather keep him around for the minute. I am curious to know if it's a possibility, though. Um, right, Way of Time. Changing of the Wage Track Army. Income from sacking and looting. I think we're going to take that first, and then we'll get that. This was required. Right, uh, let's uh, just do diplomacy. Oh, actually, he won't. Yeah, he still considers himself too strong for a confederation. Um, same with Flaming Scribes, I expect. But they like me, and that's the main thing. Yeah, that's all cool. Uh, let's just see if there's anything else come up. Kurgan Warband. Always ready for a headbutting contest. Every time they get wiped out, we can get money from them again. A non-aggression by the looks of it. Okay, right. Yeah, you do. You just do whatever you're doing. Now then, what happens here? That army seems isolated. So what we're going to do actually is we might just go. Oh, he is being pulled in though. Are Eshin at war with them as well? No, they're not. Oh, that would have been so nice if they were. Okay. One final try, and if not, we're gonna... Right, one final try of, like, tri like getting the ambush to work. Because I'd like that guy not to die before he gets me those grimoires. Um, and if it fails this time, what we'll do is we'll just move around, let them come out towards Mines of Nangao, and then we'll take Nanli, and then we'll take Nangao back if we can't defend it. Yeah, because it'd be great to get that built up properly. Um, so this is all cool. Yeah, okay. Right, reveal shroud. I don't want to do that yet. 
Yeah, that's fine. Um, and Winds of Magic, we don't want to achieve a do we? Oh, it's high though at the moment. High here at least. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Um, whether they detected me or not, like, it's a possibility that an army moved at least. Tekken okay, Warband destroyed again. Yeah, my ambush got detected, so where the heck did they go? Are they ambushing me? Oh, are they trying to ambush me? Or did they simply... Right, he can not move, apparently. But he did get me. That's amazing. Like, can we just keep on doing this indefinitely? It's no, it's gone now. Okay, once it works the first time, it's gone. So actually putting it down a second time means he's had to stand still, but I'm getting no benefit from it, I expect, at least. Right, what about... Have they actually, in fact, left? Not in this reality. Okay, crushing defeat, right. Okay, fine. Yeah, let's uh, let's go. Let's do it. I'll pet you, Battle C. How are you doing, man? We're on about turn twenty now. Four hours to get twenty turns done, but like, there's been a lot of careful, careful scheming, careful cutting scheming. Um, I know this settlement as well. Yeah, this this uh, goes underneath the whole thing, doesn't it? So this like walkway here goes underneath. I think. Oh no, it's not the one I'm thinking of. No, that's a major settlement. That's one with walls. Might have been Nangao, in fact. No, it is the one I'm thinking of. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's see. No, it is, but it's not at the same time because I was thinking of Nangao, where you've got this kind of entrance, but with walls. So we'll simply put the army somewhere out of the way for now, so that they can't be shot by towers and things. Um, and then go and harass them with magic. Go and do enough work with magic. Yo, Kalash. Okay, okay, That's how you say it, isn't it? Sorry, I forgot it right that time. Thank you very much. And you guys, uh, make sure you're hydrating as well and you're drinking enough water today. Yeah, let's put him back here and let's go. And who is that? And thank you, Hectic Tofu, as well. Good to see you. Welcome to the stream. Right, cheers. I am the fate weaver. The fractal threads of their existence. Coffee, like, just makes me feel ill. So, like, I, um, yeah, like, I, it, like, I can't have caffeine. Like, it sounds a bit, I know it sounds a bit lame. Um, let's put him into his stealth mode as well. So I like decaf though. I love the smell of coffee. It's just I love the idea of coffee. I just can't really have it myself though. Okay, if we can get some good pendulums while there's a couple of units moving through here, do that quickly. It wasn't the best hit, but it's going to do a decent. Oh no no no! It's definitely not the best hit. Right? Don't don't do that. Don't do that. Uh, oh, he's going to do it now. Oh, what a waste! I got too close. All right. That is not a, not a cheap spell. Alright, Kairos. Kairos fired a blank. So, he's done okay so far, but yeah, that was a bit lame. Thank you for the uh, hydrate. Yeah, cheers. Okay, here we go again. It's good for me. Thank you very much. Let's drown him. Thank you. That's a kind... Uh, that's a that's a very nice, uh, a nice sentiment there. Oh, thank you, Battlesea. Yeah, I'll have some water as well. The water is going to run out in a second. Hmm. Oh, I do love water, though. The water in, like, my city, where I usually am, like, is, like, kind of just nasty. City water is bad, but, like, I'm in, I'm out in the, uh, in the shires here, so, like, the water is actually kind of nice. It tastes pretty good. Um, what have we got? You're probably something valuable-ish, so let's, uh, let's pendulum you. Didn't perfectly like square on, but still, that was all right. Water for the water god. <laughs> Am I in Cheddar? No, I'm like um, south of the. Uh, I'm quite near Derbyshire, so like I'm in Staffordshire, like uh, but like rural Staffordshire. Um, so next to, next to like Derbyshire on one side, um, with like the Peak District and stuff, and then south of um, south of like Lancashire, I guess. So, yeah, Cheshire and Lancashire are north of me. 
anyway, yeah. Right, let's speed this up and let's um, see. So how, how are our reserves? So we've got 73, so we do have quite a lot that we can do. But let's speed this up, because otherwise it's going to be a lot of uh, watching me replenish my barrier and then use the spell and so on. What's that? That's peasants. Jade warriors there. Let's come and hit them. I hope that that... Yeah, that's fine. Okay, I was going to say. I'm not sure which it, what it bounces off as such. It seems to bounce off like impassable terrain and then the actual edges itself. Um, quite a lot back here as well. Let's move over here and just see if we can get some more stuff. Plus a food you Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've already said, dude. Like, absolutely. Like, I'll definitely find a way. You know, we will find a way at some point. Like, I think we should. Or there might be some kind of, like, thing where you need help, like, with running some tournament or something, and, like, I can come up for, like, the day to do that, like, on, on stream. Um, I'm open to the idea for sure, man. What's my barrier going to do with their barricade? It's going to bounce off, isn't it, I bet you. Sorry, what's my spell going to do with their barricade? Yeah, kind of, and that was all right. That, that, was, that was good, but his barrier's... Uh, sorry, his barrier's gone now, so, like, we need to... Um. <laughs> he might be part of the mob, who knows? I'll have to find out. I'll have to report back, won't I, after uh The issue oh, they're gonna have they're gonna be so well defended by the time I get my army up here. Like we're gonna have so many towers and stuff to kill. Yeah, okay. I'm kind of being very slow at like what I'm actually trying to do here. So his barrier's replenishing though. Oracle of Eternity, that's damage resist. Hidden in time. Right, let's pop the second one of those down. Because it's saying it's in my favour, but we probably shouldn't take all day to actually move. Let's move forwards a little bit. Try and stay out of range of this tower. So let's move to like the edge of its range. Out there. Alright, there's another unit of Celestial Dragon crossbows there. Right, so let's see. We know what that will do this time. Yeah. I only did about half damage to them, but that's okay. What about Seenshi's Firestorm? That's the other spell that we've recently picked up. But that's very... That's 15 wins. That's quite expensive. But if there's a big blob of them, I bet you that's great value, isn't it? Okay. Right, let's see. What is this? Jade Warriors. Okay, that's a decent target. Let's get them. Oh, it's so nice when you get, like, a perfect line of them. It doesn't actually kill models. It just takes off all the health. But then the next cast, or if I did um, a Pink Fire, that would kill. That would get plenty of kills. Let's come over here. We've got Jade Warriors there again. We do have a tower they're building. Um, but, yeah, and then let's think about the actual strategy here. Like, I'm a bit wary about, like, I don't know quite how to... Like, I need these guys to... What's their range like? Yeah, we need to get... We need to start coming up. So, right, let's uh, get some troops in on each side. Hopefully this won't be an absolute disaster. Alright, so let's get a couple more of you that can go in on that side, and you two can come in on this side. Um, Furies... Possibly go and look for, like, targets that we're damaging with Kairos. So let's do this. That tower's up. Hmm. I wonder how long it'll take him to kill that tower in, in melee. Right, well, just while he's sat here. And then we'll bring the army in and we'll actually try and get in here. And the big boy we've forgotten about. And also I forgot about oh, I'm Bad's future. I'm Bad, your future is in peril. Almost permanently at the moment. Yeah, there's plenty to kill, but it's saying the balance is in my favour as long as I don't, you know, get wrecked. What about actually getting the... We could come over here and did this... Yeah, because they're building a tower there, right? Let's actually bring the... Um... Bring the Soul Grinder across. Don't... Yeah, he's going the right way. That's fine. Just to try and take that capture point quickly. And just because I've started, I'll finish with taking this tower down. Don't get shift, bruv. If this one dies too, then I guess the world is telling you something. Why did you have one that was called Iron Bad's Future and it already died? Right, there we go. Tower down. Right, Jade Warriors. Let's come in uh, as soon as we can. 
them and do something to these guys. As long as they don't move. They seem pretty locked in position. Okay, that was decent. Right, fine. So we got some crossbows there. We got some cavalry here. We got jade warriors there. Then we've got jade warrior crossbows there too. Um, I think they'll send the cavalry in. Just wondering what to do. Because they do have a general there as well. Yeah, let's chill out a second. This cooldown is so short. Like, if I could do that, like that would be like, that would be perfect. But I think it's going to get wrecked on that corner. I think it's going to like bounce off. Um, what about slightly more like that? Let's try that. Right, let them do that. That's fine. No, it's actually all right. That was probably one of the best cats we've had. That unit is not having a good time. Right then, so yeah, get inside here is the goal. Right, what about you guys? So you're just getting shot and not actually doing anything yet. So let's try and get you in as well. Go for a double pronged approach. All right, if that stuff is gone, we need to push up. We need to get inside because we really need to come and take this capture point so these towers are gone. Yeah, just get your, get, get your inside. Come on, get inside. Let's go for it. You guys get ready to be next in. Up here we are. Yeah, we're firing now. This is cool. Okay. Nice big blob of something going on in the middle here. So even if it's like routed. No, don't move now. Still okay. Yeah, still okay. That's fine. And then there's... Um, right, I wonder how the Firestorm would perform near a barrier. Near a barricade. Although we can't afford it, so it's not, it's not a question we need to think about right now. Right, so what's going on here then? Yeah, okay, so right, come around. Come and take this. Just come over here. Uh, right, you guys get where they were. Nope, not there, here. I'm bad's future, just fire there. Very well. I don't know if that wall will make us bounce, but that should... Let's try that. No, that's kind of cool. And then it bounced back, amazing. Okay, that's kind of cool. That was nice. Right, cavalry in here. Pink Horrors turn around here, I think. How's my soul grinder? Oh, God. He's getting shot. Uh, yeah, okay, fine. Right, uh, come away and let your barrier. I totally forgot that soul runner for like five minutes there. Fury's come up. So with Nurgle, you just blob. You just go in and just tell your blob to go in and then you don't have to care about anything. With uh, I'm actually playing a faction now where I need to pay attention to what we're doing. Uh, but we are about to take this, so that should knock these towers out at least. Uh, right, so you guys get up as well. And then at some point you guys are going to come in too. Right, so that's all fine. Pyros, we can put that there just to stop them attacking yes. and let's do this as well. Throw down the damage resist. So yeah, I'm Bad's future is fighting there. We do have some Jade Warrior Halberds coming in. That's not a good uh, that's not good for Kairos. Get away from that a second. A lot of them a lot of messiness up there. I've used most of them. Yeah, I, we're out of magic now. So, like, yeah. So, I think we got value from it. All just a bit grindy and messy. These guys firing here is great. Why don't you come and fire over there? Why don't you two go and fire at Yon Rangsi? This unit there, just turn around and fire there. You two just do what you can against that unit right there. Um, and the Soul Grinder is still getting shot. Is that, is that tower really able to reach him all the way down here? Come on. When his barrier's back, he can go and do something useful. So that would have been cool what I was trying with the Soul Grinder, but as you know, I forgot about him, so. Oops. On the way. Oh, I see what you're saying. I'm bad. Further reading had one and you killed, and killed it off. <laughs> oh no. Have mercy. I'll try not to do the same. So I think they're just sending everything that's left at me here, and so we've got to focus some of our efforts to just get onto this blob because there's cavalry there as well um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bring in the Furies I think Furies are going to go and kill this unit of Jade Warrior Halberds and then everything else can focus far on what's happening in the middle looks like we're having a bad time over on that side where's Pyros yes. now? Pyros is getting shot what is that? is that Halberds? right don't fight that then. we went there we went there not them doing so much damage though. Tell you what, if they can't hit you back, then there's no reason we can't go and fight them in melee. 
Oh, this gets a bit messy, doesn't it? But the, the Furies are in here now. So yeah, that's cool. Uh, the Jade Lancers are wrecked. Right, let's sort this uh, horrific mess of stuff out here and get them facing the right way properly as well. Right, Furies have broken that lot. They could do with their barriers going back up, so let's pull them out for a minute. So that I don't lose them. Right, he's got his barrier back, so let's bring him across. Right, we did. We are losing some stuff, and Kairos is having a bad time after all. Let's get that damage resistance down. So if you can shoot over here, you shoot there. You keep shooting at whatever's in front of you. Pink Horrors, why are you deployed like that? Like, Why do so many units not do what you're telling them to do? So that's fine. Some of you lot then are going to have to turn around and face this way now. And then as soon as the Fury barriers are back up, I think we'll go over here and try and kill. I think we've just lost this unit of Blue Horrors, but we'll let them tank for now. Iros, you are... You're, you're okay. You're not in a bad shape. You've got half HP and your barriers replenishing, so that's cool. Right, where's um, where's Soul Grinder? Here he is. He's coming now. Taking a break, Kalosh. Need to let my room cool down. Fair enough. Okay, great to see you here. Thank you very much for stopping by. And I'll catch you later on. Yeah, the balance is, like, slipping away from me, actually. Like, uh... So, what are these in here? We can kill them and let them soak up some of the damage from the, fu from the uh, missiles as well. I don't think that's going to do anything now, is it? No, I've only got two wins forever, so that's it. You know what we'll do, though? What I will do, I will send two Furies um, over here to deal with this pocket as well. There's still quite a lot to kill, include, including characters, so... I might need him to go and tank, actually. But then if I can... Yeah, this is, per this is perfect. Because if I freed up some blue horrors, and we can get them to fire over here at the Celestial Dragon Crossbows. Right, so we've won here. That's okay. Those blue horrors can just chill for the moment. What are they? They're crossbows as well. There's a tower back there. Yeah, so we want to stay away from that tower if we can. Right, Soul Grinder. Yeah, fine. I'm glad to have you here. Right, so let's get the Furies. These two just go here. I'm just trying to work out where everything is. Right, you two go over here a sec. Anything that's still got ammo, i.e. that one there. And you've got ammo? Where are you? You're in the right place. Make sure they're not still on top of each other and they're actually firing properly. Yeah, it's a shooting here. He's Einbad's future is down to... He's, let's move him back because his barrier's gone. Right, you fire there. Furies, these are Jade Warriors. Let's see if we can fire there and then we'll swarm them with the Furies. Right, you need to just chill out. Come back. Right, Solgarn has got carried away, but actually ended up in a good place. Um, go and kill. In fact, yeah, in fact, even better. Go and kill the Jade Warrior. There are some, yeah, some Celestial Dragon Crossbows here, so let's kill them. Where are my Furies now? Right, one's here. Get you over there as well. So it looks like, yeah, it's definitely swung back in our favour now, so it's looking good again. Got anything with ammunition left, i.e. mainly you guys move up. Um, Furies, once, as soon as they break, they are broken. Yeah, so Furies go in here. That might be it, we might have won. Oh, okay, good. I'm Bad's future has survived. I'm Bad has a future, everybody. Uh, so we're happy about that. Kairos is down to half HP, but that's fine. We've done it. We've done all right, guys. We've done okay. Yeah. So five oh seven followers. Thank you so much, guys, for so far today. Um, and thank you for all the hydrates. <laughs> I'm feeling very, uh, very, very, you know, if I, if I move side to side, I can feel the water, like, swishing back and forth. Okay. Yeah, try not to damage it. So take this. Right, that guy's probably going to have something to say about that. Um... But if not, we'll just replace the blue. Oh, what else can we get? Oh, amazing. I could get some Forsaken. A bit expensive. Hmm. Before I demolish that building, we could get some Forsaken. I don't know. 
Oh, Gunpowder Rope. Why are they two turns? Why is everything two turns, in fact? What's going on? Has something happened? Kairos, fate right, we want that built up. That's all good. Right, so here, I have a start building a garrison to try and hold on to this stuff, or we go for the Teach Corruption. Sorry, Nanli. I bet this is going to come under attack, so I'm going to build that straight away. I think for going into the Soul Realm, having a couple of Forsaken might not be a bad idea. But why are they taking two turns, though? I'm bad. Why am I... Why are Forsaken? Why is everything taking two turns to recruit? We've been cursed. Something has cursed me. Anyway, so I want the barrier replenishment there first, and I want the uh, Winter Magic Power Reserve plus three per turn. Yeah, I want this, and I want that, and then I want Bewitching Potency. So let's get that done and out of the way. Right, so Teach's Firestorm, fine. So we've got that now. Oh no, I should have given him Infernal Gateway, because then, because he can't use it, because um, Kairos can't use it while he's got Pendulum. But it's fine. Yeah, it's okay. Alright, so Nanli then. I mean, if it takes two turns, it takes two turns, I guess. But anyway, because we can get Pink Horrors shortly, we want to keep some Blue Horrors for sure. But let's scale them down for now. Let's just sort this out. Because you're in yellow-red territory. Ah, of course, this is red. You're right. Yeah, 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 you're right, you're right. I think um, it's ba It's two turns in red. It's it's still one turn in orange, so... Okay. I suppose we might sell this. Oh, shit. I've met these. Yeah, so I've definitely met these guys now, I'm sure. Yeah, okay. All right, so let's see what I'm doing here, then. I think we'll just take four pink horrors and we'll skip the Forsaken. We'll demolish that. The Mines of Nanyang. Um, try and get this doing something for me, then. So to try and be able to afford our army, I could just get this. Or Pink Horrors. Mm, or we go for Teach Corruption. Or well, the income will help the province overall. Yeah, or we get Growth. Uh, which means I get extra line of sight as well and extra control. How bad is it here? 92 minus... Okay, so we are having a Rebellion. Which I'm going to have to speed back to deal with. So we could turn off money for a turn, so I have to turn time to move. And then let's get the control there. Yeah. It's not so much that they're bad or good or whatever. Like, I don't expect that they'll be brilliant. It was more so just that I'll have something to stop the Blue Horrors not shoot... To, to, to keep the Blue Horrors shooting. Um, but yeah, we're cool. Okay, so I think we can move on now. So let's look at what we get as well. So Grimoire's control might flip it to control first. Yeah, that's fine. Might flip it to control first. And then we can move on. Yeah, let's go. So I expect this guy will come in and try and have his say about what's happening. Oh. Here at victory. I lose all the blue horrors. Yeah, we'll fight. Yeah, fight it. Let's just get it going. Maybe fight him again one more time. Demon Air, welcome, man. How are you? How's it going, dude? I hope you're doing well. We're playing some Teach today. So I didn't think I'd be playing Teach this soon, but like I thought I was going to do a good guy faction next on stream. But then we kind of did, didn't we? Because we didn't kiss left on Saturdays. Yeah, today's going pretty well for me. Um, looking forward to some food. I'm getting quite peckish. It's like 6pm almost for me here. Um, you just started Teach as well. How's it going? How are you finding it? Like It's just insane is my take on it so far. It's just so strong. Um, right, let's just stick. I don't know what Teach's towers are like, though. I have no idea if they're any good or not. But, like, yeah, I mean, we'll just meet them where they are. So, that's, um, so basically you've got... Where's... Have we got an explosive tower anywhere apart from up here? We don't have explosive towers. So we've got four projectiles from that. We've got four from that, but they're, I'm guessing, just a bit weaker. 150, 70, 30 with less armor piercing. This has got one third armor piercing. This has got more than a third armor piercing. And then this has got like 
with just way more power overall. Yeah, so that's 200 total. This is 150 total. Yeah, 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 I see. Okay, so that's 100, 150, 200, and then that's, what, 250? Okay, so it's just, it's just like, sequentially more powerful. Okay, so let's build that one. T3 and 4 towers are insane. Okay, I look forward to it. I look forward to finding that out. So, let's get my pink horrors. Yeah, they can go there, and then we'll get a load of blue horrors just ready to fire and such. Um, so if I get some blue horrors just here to kind of like... You see, they're just too big. There's just too many. There's too many models. Uh, let's try that again with just like three or something. Yeah, let's put three there. Uh, and then let's put that there. And then let's have the soul grinder just stood here, just firing out. So that's cool. And then we'll do the usual thing with our magic and stuff. And he can stand. I'm bad to you. can just stand there. And then everything else can just be close by. Yeah, and then this stuff, I suppose, we could just have that, like, march forwards to, like, stop them. Just so that we can fire. Yeah, and another guy. So he's no... He's a little bit weaker in melee because of his health, but he's fine otherwise. Okay, alright, cool. Bring you out. Bring you guys out. Let's get you all, you all out there. Um, and let's go and uh, see what we can do with magic. E3-4 demolishes corn units. Okay, yeah. Nice. Yeah, they fire fast. They definitely fire fast. Like, that looks pretty cool. It's going to be good to learn how... Um, like, how they all perform compared to Nurgle. Because Nurgle's my, uh, my, um, my uh, benchmark at the moment. Are they going to come in as well? Because I'm just going to put this on my own units. Yeah, let's do that. It's got to do some damage. Okay, very nice. Very nice start. Let's try a... Uh, so what's Firestorm like? Are they going to stand there? Have they just given... The, have they just given... Oh, no, there is my unit on top of them. Okay, I should have moved it on top of it then. Never mind. Anyway, they're firing too, I'm sure. Oh, this is Tinchia's Firestorm, I see. Yeah, so they're kind of running away. That's smart of them, isn't it? Right, fine. Um, can I get my tower, like, firing at... How? What's the range on it? Can I get it firing at their general? Just. I can, yeah. What's going on there? They're coming back. They're shaking, these Jade Warriors here. Right, go on to them. Let's put that through there. Maybe that'll be enough. Not quite. Yeah, the tower's doing work. Yeah, the tower can probably finish itself, you know. Um, but like, yeah, let's uh, speed it up a bit more then. And then just let them come close and then all of our missiles will shoot them. So this was fine. So apart from the garrison, they, they the garrison will probably disagree, but like the rest of it is all good. Um, I'm just going to put that through there, like so. Damn, that guy just does not want to go. Waiting for an army losses that can, that can not be found. He's fighting to the bitter end. Yeah, that's it. That's got to be army losses. Okay, great. Right, we did it. No one's surprised. Or did we? Oh, no. Shit. No. Have they got troops behind? I'm such an idiot. That's why we haven't won yet. Oh, okay. All right. Well, at least we spotted it before like they captured everything. So that's fine. The Furies can go deal with that. Uh, most of these guys. I'm, I'm guessing it's not going to take much uh, to finish them off. But Kairos, if Kairos comes over and just does a... Uh... Shit, they got quite a lot of troops. they got troops there as well. Right, Soul Grinder, go and fire there. Oh, he's done. He's used his ammo. I see, I see. There was me waiting for army losses, which just would not materialise because they've still got loads of troops here. On power per four. Still got loads in the power reserves. Right, I literally said to go there. Like, why is he running? Look at this. Order, order's being ignored. It's like an elastic band. Like, you need to tell them to do stuff twice. Oh, it would have been good to get the charge on the cavalry. 
but it's uh, it, overall it's okay. Right, let's do that through there, and then let's bring the Furies out. The Furies may get replaced, but yeah, that was nice. Let's try and bring the Furies out so that their barriers replenish, and then I might merge them into three instead of four now. Um, and then over here, oh lord, peasant long spears. Let's get them fired on. General's coming back. Might not take much to go. Let's just get those blue horrors to go for him. Alright, so did the Furies kind of get out? Like, two... Yeah, the Furies, like... Not really. Two of them did. But here comes the blue horror brigade. So, if we can just focus on those peasant horsemen. Why don't you guys stay down here? Uh, and then Kairos, I think we're going to want a some kind of spell back here. Yeah, let's do that. You got wrecked on the second fight. A corn army came up from the south, dude. So I've I've done. Um, if you watch the first hour of my stream, if you're curious, like I did a strategy to go straight in and take Cafe out, like really early on, um, and it's worked pretty well. Um. All right, yeah, we need to lick our wins, so we definitely need to sort ourselves out. Yeah, so the Furies are down in number, but we're going to get some more Pink Horrors. So we'll fight these guys one last time, finish them off. And it's going to be time for Portal soon, if I'm, going to, if I'm actually going to participate, if we're going to go in the first one. Alrighty, okay, unit replenishment, let's take it. Oof, Tusk Taker. Every time, they're paying me. Every single time Kurgan Warbank comes back, they are just paying me for non-aggression. Okay. Yeah, turn 23, so it's like seven turns until we get the first portals. Ally mission successful, that's also good. So basically what we did is we like just went, like, legged it down to Nangao, hid. Um, Meow Ying came for Snake Gate. We then went for Nangao, took Nangao. And then over the next few turns, took out we took out Miao Ying on turn twelve. Um, Five seventy. No, he didn't get he didn't get to do it next time. Right, fine. So let's just bring him into this fight then, um, just for some experience. But I want the Oracle and then Bewitching Potency. We might not. Every time I auto resolve, it's smacking my soul grinder really hard. I'll try it one last time and let's just see if it doesn't. Not that bad. That wasn't that bad, actually. Okay, that's all right. Um, let's take the... Yeah, let's take that small amount of replenishment there. So that faction is destroyed. I don't know how aggressive these guys are going to be or how strong they are. Let's have a look. They're about... They're a little bit weaker than I am right now. And they've still got... They've got three settlements down there. So we've got the Imperial Wardens... Western provinces, I have met Xiao Ming. So, yeah, that could be problematic. Um, but yeah, for now, for now we're groovy and we've got our little home base set up. Uh, so that's cool. Right then, you are surplus to requirements, I think. Yeah, let's get rid of him. So let's come to... Do we sit in Nanli? Let's sit in Nanli for a turn. And let's do what we can. So we can't get... Oh, I've turned tax off. No, no, we don't want to sit there. It's bad. It takes too long to recruit. Let's go to mines instead. And if we lose Nanli, so what? Like, we do lose it. Um, trying to get walls built there. Fighting corners, Kairos is pretty rough in the early game. So is there anything else I want from this? Not really. The walls are on the go. If I can get it built, then let's try and go for... With double control building or siege corruption. Let's try and go for siege corruption. And then as soon as this is built, we can get pink horrors. So we can start recruiting them next turn. Yeah, so that's cool. Okay. Right then, reveal shroud. So I've already met I've met I've met him I've met this guy now. So like if we just reveal their shroud so we can see what's going on. Um 
It's a reveal shroud of what are they called? Like the center lords. Reveal shroud perform. Why can't I do it? Why can't I do that? Is that because this is on cooldown and you can only do one thing at a time? No, perform. Oh, why is it? No, it's it's here if I. No, it's just not. Oh, it is letting me do it now. Okay. That's what I wanted, so we can see what they're up to. So there's some caravan there. Ah, there's a caravan there. There's a an Ogre Kingdom's army here. And then their main force is at Shang Yang. Okay, so this is all I needed to know. Just make sure I'm not under immediate attack. You can do this multiple times. You can literally do this as, yeah. And then they've got this settlement here as well. Like I could do it on like these guys, for example. If I went to, yeah, you could do it on multiple. Yeah, you can do it on multiple factions at the same time. By the looks of it, yeah, we don't need to though. Yeah, that's fine. That, that's enough for me. Okay, all right, cool. There are no bugs. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, this is cool. Okay, so we'll um, we'll move on. How many turns was it on the settlement? Three turns. Because I've got plenty of grimoires now. So we can do something uh, something spicy next time. Work with us and your destiny. Snitch wants to put a he does. This is fine, because then he can put a uh, he can put some Skaven into Nangao, he can build an outpost there. Yeah, that's fine. Maybe he'll start constructing an outpost at Nangao. This means I'll get some rats in my garrison um, to help out if we have trouble, if we, yeah, if we're besieged. Right. So how did they move? Right. So we've got an army here, an army there. That is Xiao Ming, isn't it? Yeah, that's Western provinces. Okay, so Xiao Ming is kind of slowly working his way up, but he's at war with them as well. So right. So like they're sandwiched between someone like me and Xiao Ming, uh, which is kind of cool. So yeah, okay, right, so let's start sorting ourselves out then. So I think we're just going to turn on tax here. Um, yeah, turn on tax here. Rebellion is, yeah, is okay now. It's not happening. So yeah, we saved, we stopped it rebelling just for the moment. And let's grab. One, two, three, four, five, six. Something like that? That's heavy on horrors, or we could go. We could. Get, we could actually like because I didn't mean to lose all of them. We could get like one more fury. Well, let's just recruit on local. Let's go something like that. Let's recruit on local. That's all queued up. We'll move if we need to, and if not, we'll just sit here and uh, try and help. Yeah, just try and stabilize the. Uh, yeah, try and stabilize public order and actually Skaven when yeah. So Planeshina here. Which is cool. Have a look at the war coordination panel. So we can't set a target for them yet, nor can we build an outpost. Right, let's see if we can give Planesh in. What's the faction capital? Shang Yang. Let's see if we have the the actual uh, grimoires to give Planesh in Shang Yang or something like that. So that would be cool. Or we'll come and see what we can do on this side. Ah, mines. Mines, mines, mines. Let's go for extra control. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, cool. Just on the general, just generally on diplomacy. Great leader. I don't want to be friendly with Clan Spittle because they're fighting Eshin, so that's cool. So, Defensive Alliance. No. No. No Confederations. And no peace. Not far away, but no peace. Yeah, cool. So he's made no effort, no attempts to take the Volary, uh, which is fine. Oh, it, it is one, because I had tax turned off, so I only got one recruit slot. Yeah, that's why it was one. Oh, I've flipped into the wall again. Right, so Kirk and Warband are gone again. Income from sacking, five turns until we're going to get our portals. So, way of time, spawn stuff, growth. Growth would be nice, but let's get track army, I think. 
and then unlock some stuff over here. Which, where's best to go? Because I can unlock way of scrying, like reveal faction intentions. Lord recruit rank, we got some stuff over here for... Right, so what's that? Charge bonus for screamers. Changing the ways give war coordination target. That seems like it could be powerful. Way of deceit here. Force rebellion, that seems like it could also be pretty fun. Ammunition for, for horrors. Right, I think we should go and get that first, somehow. Yeah, because that's going to help our early game army. So actually, we will have to get Gift of Mutation. Let's work our way, whichever the quick... I can't get there. I can't do it up. But like, we'll, we'll do that first. Force War Rebellion doesn't seem too good. Okay. Um, so yeah, so... Crack Army. Yeah, I think I think it's okay. Okay, so Way of Scrying seems cool. Um, I'll do what I'm doing right now, but we might we might flip over there in a second. Get this recruitment done, and then just see what we see where we end up and how what we end up doing. So these are actually one eight two each. So that's five forty. So we're basically going to be out of cash if I just get three of these. But that's that's fine for now. We can take a very small deficit with five uh, k in the bank. Yeah, so that's cool. Right, let's uh, let's move on again. See what everyone's doing. So this guy, for some reason, is fixated on <laughs> some caravan guy in the distance or whatever. Rebellions aren't strong enough to do anything, but doesn't it? Doesn't it? If they, yeah, someone was saying the other day, it's really strong. You just tried to do the thing where you lock the army so they walk forwards. I manually put them in, but then they all just went random places, not even to where I wanted them to go. Oh, dude. I'll, I'll try and show you. I'll try and show you it again. I'll try and show you again what I, what I was showing you before. Because um, you might need to take... So basically, you might need to manually issue their controls after you've gone in for the first attack. Because otherwise, they might end up going everywhere. Um, yeah, you'll pick it up in time. Okay, wow, the money. The money's 510, even after I have recruited. So, in fact, we can get more pink cards then. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, let's grab one. And that's going to put me at a full stack, isn't it? Yeah. So, actually, then, shall we, in fact, get one more Chaos Fury? Grab one more Chaos Fury, because they are good for going onto the missiles and stuff. In fact, you know what? They have been so helpful for, for like, shutting down missiles. Let's just get... The question is, do I want to downgrade some blue horrors then to some and put them up to pink horrors? I think what we'll do is we'll we'll leapfrog normal pink horrors. So when we're getting exalted pink horrors, like we'll replace blue horrors. Um, so we'll we'll keep the army like this. Yeah, so that's cool, right? Any threats? Not really. Is that what's his face again? That's yeah, Western provinces down there. Mountain Fury. Nangal can be upgraded. Amazing again. So, let's do this then. Siege corruption in adjacent provinces. That seems strong. Yeah, let's do that as well. Hang on, I'm going to go bankrupt now if I've screwed up at all. I think it's okay. Yeah, I think it'll be fine. Alright, let's continue then. Yeah, I'm thinking of going into the Slaanesh realm and not trying to go for the soul first. Because I don't know if our army needs a bit more like meat in it like uh, some flamers and stuff for, uh, for doing that he's paying a thousand this time is he mad oh and he'll pay 1692 for non-aggression i swear this uh, this campaign is just broken and we got a cult all the way up here so let's get probably just a 10 grimoires per turn I can with pink horror stats. Do you think I can? Um, I mean, I probably could. I'm sure I could do it, but like, I think that we might want to carry on sorting Cafe out, skipping the first portal while we take uh, Wage In and stuff. Oh my god, have they taken. What have they done? Oh no, that's outside. Yeah, so we might want to take Wage In um, and just like, yeah, take out most of Cafe and then we can worry about portals later on. So, you probably do it with all blue horrors. Yeah, okay. So this is my army then. So yeah, as you can see, so money's not that tight. So I think that we should go and take Pome because he is not succeeding at that at all. 
Let's go and try and take that for ourselves, and let's see if we can get that army out of there somehow. Um, I wonder if I just go and stand next to his settlement for now. Yeah, let's come over there. So, public order's looking okay, if that's actually up to date. Public order's looking fine now, the corruption's a bit higher, so that's cool. It's looking so fine, in fact, that it makes me think that I don't need that building anymore. But let's leave it a turn, just make sure that's, in fact, accurate. Yeah, fine. And then, hee hee, right, can I do transfer settlement? Right, well, how, what do we do now, guys? Give Turtle Gate to my... I could give Dragon Gate to myself to get that army out of there and then take Pome while he's going for Dragon Gate. That's one option. Um, I could give... Let's see if it's super expensive to give, like... Just a random settlement. Let's just pick a settlement. Okay, what about giving City of Monkeys to... Right, Legion of Chaos. Right, it's six grand. Okay, so that's pretty nuts. But it's six grand for, like, any of these. Exiles of Corn, it's probably the same. Okay, so that's, that's out of the card. That's out of the question. These dissenter lords are doing, they're doing okay. So, right, the, my other thoughts were, what about giving Ming Zhu to someone? So, this is a little bit cheaper, but probably still... Yeah, we, we're not on the... We're not, it's not... We're not strong enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I can give it to Tong. I can give it to some random Chaos faction. Just to get them in play down here. Are they the faction? No, they're not, are they? What factions have we got here? We've got um, Dreaded Wu here. Dreaded Wu there. And then we've got, what are these guys called again? They're called, no, that's Dreaded Woe. Um, these guys are... Azag. Where the hell are Tong? Tong are miles away, but I could in fact just teleport them in. Randomly into this space. Alright, okay. Um, so, or I could give that to someone else. What? Because I'm friendly with them, I wonder what it would cost me to give their settlement to exiles of corn i can do it because they're not at, i'm not at war with them i can do that or the other choice i had was give something to planeshin wasn't it what would it cost to give planeshin this settlement 765 there's too many choices here i could bring scarbrand down i could literally literally bring scarbrand or someone into um yeah, because Flaming Scribes have already benefited from... Yeah, 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 okay. I'm curious, you know. Because then Scarbrand could go and attack these, but, like, it would be better if they had a settlement on the other side of that river space. Hmm, I don't know, guys. Too many choices. Too many choices of fun things we could do, I reckon. I can defeat those Chaos Armies with a blue horror stack. Oh, you're talking about stuff inside still. Yeah, maybe if we want Eshin to be strong, like what about giving Clan Eshin Shrine of the Alchemist? That would cost 765. Would they lose it immediately, I wonder? It might not, you know, because we can see the shroud. So like we... Oh, hang on, wait. Is there anything in here? Yeah, it's a military presence here. I can't actually see that. So that guy might take it straight away. Or we could give Clan Eshin this one. So if I were to give Taitzu to Clan Eshin, let's see... Oh, I can't. Oh, I can't transfer it because... Huh? Yeah, they're at war with them. They're at war with them. They're not at war with the Dissenter Lords. That's why the option's available. So instead, we're going to choose Chaos. We're going to choose, like... Who should we bring down? Should we bring... We don't want Nurgle in here. We don't really want... What about Seducers of Slanesh? Or what about just Scarbrand? What about we just get Scarbrand in here? He might not survive, but if he does, it'll be hilarious. Although we could fuck everything up for ourselves if he doesn't like us and he goes to war with us. Yeah, I think you can choose, like, the chaotic option, but I think uh, I think it might be better to just give Planesh in a settlement here. So, oh, not that one. Yeah, it would have to be that one, wouldn't it? Okay, yeah, right. So, let's do that. That's not that expensive. Yeah, I can see Zhao Ming now. Is that Zhao Ming? No, that's not. I wonder where he is. I wonder if he's got wounded or something. Anyway, yeah, okay, so we've done that. That's fine. So that's cool. Right, so... And then, yeah, we need to move on, don't we? All right, guys, so turn 27. So portals are about to appear. So I think we'll make a bit of a run into um, Slanesh's realm and see how far we can get. 
in terms of getting something uh the bull mallet heads. Right, non-aggression pack with some ogres. Who are at war with the center lords and other ogres. So I don't know enough about who's going to come out on top between all the ogres fighting. Let's not do that. I want to be friends with Scrag and Greasus, and I don't know which factions they'll fight and which ones they'll, which ones they'll befriend and which ones they won't. I bet you I've just lost that settlement straight away. No, I haven't. Look, the, the rats have moved. There. They've come down. Okay, let's have a look. War coordination. So I can select a target for him now. What about? Hmm. I'm going to focus that. Or focus that army itself. Take that army out. Yeah, that's okay. Because if Eshin can get established here and get a province, like, or get a capital, like, that will allow me to recruit some Skaven units down the line. Um, so that's cool. Right, now, have they left their settlement up there? Have they? They've left. Have they moved to the gate? Who cares? Let's go and take Pome. Are they trying to ambush me? We shall soon see. Yeah, I know. I've noticed that. And that's what... Yeah, I've noticed that. Okay, right. So here we go, guys. All right, guys. So coming up to the five-hour mark, it's past 6 p.m. for me. So I'm going to stop here for today. That's been a bloody brilliant stream. Like, really great start, guys. Um, so... Uh, are you still here? Where are Where are you? Where's my, where's my chap I was talking to? Uh, an unskilled human. Are you still here? Because I'm going to come off the mainstream, but I might stream a, a cafe. Oh, sorry, a kiss left start for you in Discord just for like 10, 15 minutes um, if you're still here. So you have like the next minute to say that you're still here. Um, I'll just ask, right? I'll just ask in chat as well. Unskilled human, are you here? Right, just in case they come back from the toilet. Um, yeah, so because he was he was saying he was struggling with a kiss left start. So I might stream that in Discord for um, for, for him if he wants to see that. Um, but yeah, guys, okay, so we're going to stop here. So I've had an awesome day. Yeah, thank you, Einbad. That's been fun, hasn't it? And it's worked quite well. Um, it's worked out quite well. It could have all gone wrong. So yeah, I just want to say thank you. So we've reached 507 followers now, guys. So thank you to... Let's go back a little while. Thank you to Barely Tactical for the raid earlier on. So yeah, check out Barely Tactical, guys, um, if you haven't already. Um, he was streaming uh, some Total Warhammer 3 earlier on. Um... So yeah, go and go and give him some love. So thank you to Betty Tactical for the raid. Thank you to Nox for the follow. Thank you to an unskilled human, Big Z, uh, Z2, Error, Kim, N2, uh, Loki6119. Thank you all for the follows, guys. Um, yeah, I meant that guy. I meant um, an unskilled human. Yeah, 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 that guy. Um, thank you, Noah. Thank you to Angry Cart for the resub, and thank you to Deadly Medic for gifting a sub to Mustelidae earlier on. So yeah, so thanks guys. I've had an awesome stream. Let's go raid somebody now. Let's go and find someone to raid. Um, so yeah, take care. And um, and if you was, are interested in how we started this, I'll probably make it into a YouTube video, like how I started this, um, just so it's there for posterity, like so it can help other people out if they want to try um, try go for an aggressive start. And thank you to Hashit Champion as well um, for the raid earlier on. So there's nothing else. I don't think I've missed anything else. No, Willy T was the other day with some bits. Yeah, that's all I had left to say. Okay, all right, brilliant. So, yeah, cheers, guys. Right, let's go find someone to raid then. Let's go and see what's up and what's going on. So, see who's live and such and so on and uh, all of that good stuff. So, who we got? Um, Let me see. So, someone who's playing Warhammer Total War as well. Alex Jordan, we haven't raided him for a while. Yeah, okay, let's go and raid Alex the voiceover. Let's go and raid Alex the voiceover guy. Because uh, he's quite fun. Oh, I'm bad. I'm sorry about that, dude. I hope it sorts itself out later on. Um, so let's see. Alex Jordan voiceover. Let's go raid him. Okay, guys. All right. So take care. I'll catch you tomorrow. Normal time. And unskilled human, uh, I will do... I will drop you a quick message and just say that I'll do that stuff. I'll, I'll do a little kiss left stream for you just to show you how to start another time. Right, it's that awkward slot at the end where you're just waiting for the raid to uh, go time itself down. Yeah, here we go, guys. All right, so say hi when we get in there. He's a, he's a cool dude. 